Welcome to the Whatever Dating Talk podcast. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Guys, we're coming to you live from Santa Barbara, California, every Sunday and Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. I am your host, Brian Atlas. I'm joined by my co-host, Kiki. She's a bit shy. A few quick announcements before the show begins. This podcast is viewer supported, heavy YouTube demonetization. So please consider donating through Streamlabs instead of super chatting as YouTube takes a brutal 30% cut. So let me do a little quick maths for y'all. So if you super chat 100, YouTube takes 30. If you donate 100, Streamlabs only takes three. A little math there. Streamlabs.com slash whatever. Link is in the description. Donations and Super Chats, $10 and up, will be displayed in Stream Overlay. Donations and Super Chats, $50 and up, will be read and answered. If you want to interact nearly instantly with us and weigh in on the conversation, consider sending a TTS, that is a uh, text-to-speech message, that is $99 and up triggers TTS. TTS is via Streamlabs only. Please see the description for all the other triggers and full details. Guys, please keep the Super Chats donations, TTS respectful, playful roasting is okay, but if you go too far with it, we reserve the right to not show or read it. Guys, we have channel memberships. To become a member, hit the join button. Tier one is just $5 a month. You can also gift memberships. Thank you, FDG, for all the uh, gifted memberships. Uh, speaking of, all right, FDG. Yo, W's in the chat for FDG, thank you. Guys, we're live now on Twitch, right now. Pull up another tab, go to twitch.tv slash whatever, drop us a follow and a prime sub. If you have one, got merch, shop.whatever.com, stuff you can wear to not be make naked, excuse me, don't be a criminal, get some merch. Follow us on Instagram, at whatever. Any girls who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. If you can't catch the full shows, we have three clips channels. Uh, actually, I might be on the lookout for a new editor because um, on one of my, not my primary clips channel, but my second clips channel, I had the guy who's working with me just, I, I gotta get a new person. So if you're a experienced editor, who can show me your previous work. I am looking for one new editor. Uh, links in the description, go subscribe. Without further ado, we're going to have the guests introduce themselves. So please tell us your name, age, and occupation. Thank you, Flan Life for the 20, by the way, thank you. I'm Layla Jenner, I'm 20, and I'm a porn star. Okay, you're 20, any relation to the Kardashians, or is that just like Kinda, you're made up? Like the aesthetic, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean like a genetic relation. You think I look like a genetic? No, like a genetic relation. No. Okay. All right. Was it, I'm assuming that was the inspiration though for your name? Oh, for Jenner. sure. You like it? Do I like the name? Yeah. I feel. I don't really feel strong one way or the other about so you don't about like the it? name. I don't dislike it or like it. I have no strong feelings one way or the okay. other. But uh, I think you like it, but it's okay. You don't have to tell me. C congratulations on your fake name. Okay, Thank you. what about you? Um, my name is Anai, and I am a student, and I do OnlyFans. Age? Oh, I'm 21. All right, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Kate. I'm 18, and I'm a personal assistant, and I do OnlyFans. Okay. I'm her personal assistant. You're her personal assistant. Yes. How much does she pay you? That's none of your business. Thank mm. you. I don't talk about <laughs> my financials. That's fine. Um, <laughs> what does she have you do? Like, do you go run and get coffee for her? No, I'll make her do that with me if that's the case. Yeah. But, um, Wait, you're dictating the term? You're no, like, I'm like, let's go get coffee. Like, you know, I'm oh. not going to be like, go get me a coffee. Yeah. That's what a personal assistant well, does. We well, together. she does a lot <laughs> more. She like, um, uh, sometimes like I, she drives me to all my shoots. Oh yeah. Okay. A lot of times I have to go to a shoot and then go to a meeting like right after. And it's like, I have to like wear a different outfit than what I was like wearing in a porno. Like, you know, so like, oh, she yeah. that I'll have me. to like get her party outfits. I'll have to quite literally like. But talk really to helpful. some weird people, but, but okay. it's helpful. Money's right. amazing. Personal assistant, there you go. What about you? My name's Katie, I'm 23 and I work in marketing. All right, welcome. I'm Allison, I'm 24 and I do PR marketing for uh, Jersey Shore Women's Center. <gasps> that is so cool. Mm -hmm. I'm Rachel, I'm 25, I'm a, y a yoga and fitness instructor and I also work in network marketing. I'm Billy Ray, I'm 25, and I support the patriarchy for a living. <laughs> there you go. I'm Dan, I go by DM Dating on all socials. I am a dating expert and men's attraction coach. All right, welcome everybody. We're gonna go around the table once more, and I do have a couple questions about your guys' uh, 
careers, especially Billy there with the, uh, <laughs> you're the, what was it? The, I told you it was going to be a good one. It was, it was good. It was good. Um, I support the patriarchy. You, you support the patriarchy. Full, I'm like, is that part-time or full-time? Full-time. I'm full like time. the real life can. FTG, thank you for the 50. Um, so we're going to go around the table once more. So what is your current relationship status? So are you single? Talking stage, situationship, friends with benefits, relationship, married, in a polycule, sex cult. How long have you been uh, a harem? Even how long have you been single? And what's if you if you are single? And what's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Go ahead. Okay, so I have a husband. He's Mormon, but I'm dating Zerka. Talking to the mic. Oh yeah, thank you. Okay, I have a husband. He's Mormon. Um, he's great, but I'm dating Zerka. Um, okay, hold on just a sec here. So you, are you just trolling? I'm not trolling. No. So I you really you are me. legally married to... It's honestly helpful because he's like, he's like supportive. So he's like, have fun in your 20s, like type thing. She's not lying. No. I he's wish actually really great. I wish he was. He lives in Utah. I visit <laughs> him. Was. But it's where, like... Where are you from? I'm originally from a small town in Texas. Okay. How did you meet the guy? How... What's the story with the Mormon guy? I met him in college. He's on a mission. Isn't that cute? I met him in college. He was on a Mormon mission. Okay. Yeah. How old is he? He's 21. He's 21. Okay. Uh, when did you guys get married? We got married. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't a real marriage. It was like I, we just signed it because like. So he, okay, he's Mormon and he wanted to be a bishop, but you have to be <laughs> married before you become a bishop. So it was like for that. I'm calling bullshit on this story because you can call bullshit. You can. Are you Mormon? Look it up. Look are it you up. Mormon? I, I live with her. Are you I, she's telling the truth. Was like she very baptized much is. Mormon. To but if you signed her. it, how is it not a real marriage? Well, it is legally, Wait, but we didn't have we didn't have our wedding. Bit. We just signed the papers. Okay, but that's a real marriage. Yeah. You don't need a wedding to have a. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Wait, did you have? Some okay, people don't yeah. agree. Do you have a marriage license from a courthouse? Yeah. And did you have a like a religious wedding ceremony too? Well, we got married in the temple. Okay, so you had a religious ceremony. Yeah. Why? But I just don't, I just don't consider it marriage marriage for me Nick. until I get, have like a real wedding. Yeah, nor do we. So. Why did you get married? Why? Because I love him and we're going to be married no matter what, but he needed it to become a bishop. So it's but, an arranged marriage for him. Yeah. I'm a helpful girl. And, so you're t- and, what do you, and what do you get out of it? I love him. I do love him. What, what, what's the purpose of you being married to him? I can always get divorced. I signed a prenup. Like, it's not a big, you know, like. Why not get married? This this story is It's like bullshit. Vegas. So a mo- you're telling me, where did he meet you? This would be really normal in Vegas. It's not crazy. This, yeah, it would be. In, he in met Vegas. This is in Vegas. No, no, no. He, he met me in my college town as in a Mormon. Texas mission. and California? Yeah, in Texas. I went to Tech. Okay, so you're telling me a deeply religious Mormon man who wants to have a position in the church, who he's currently a bishop? And or? he's dating me, and I'm a porn star, and he's okay with that. I don't, I mean, you your, story's, your story's cute, but I don't buy it. That's fine. You can look it up. Like, There's different I can people look everywhere. It up. Like, I've said this ever since I've ever started. Like, we've been together. If like, you go into the June archive of any of her socials, you'll see all of it. See yeah. what? Like, well, you see like, all photos? Like, like, yeah, like, you'll that, see. I don't, like, post him, I, didn't, like, I don't think. Like, everything fo- she posted about it. it was you like don't have whole, to believe it. It's not crazy to be, like, married. Like, are you, I'm not, are I'm you, not like, saying it's crazy. Well, What's I am, unbelievable about well, it? In Texas, it's yeah, normal. Yeah. yeah. What's unbelievable about it? I think you just haven't met that with, like, a Mormon weird would, like, people. Maybe she wasn't a porn star yet. Deeply I wasn't. Well, I wasn't see? a porn star when we met. And he, in Texas, he knows I'm fucked up. And so he's like, you know, like, let me live my journey. Okay, that's, so he's yeah. like, Let's, that's let me, let me use this girl and then drop her later? No, he wants to be married to me forever. I'm the one that's like, I can go fuck whoever I want, you know? Did you guys consummate the marriage? What do you mean? Was the marriage consummated? Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I don't know what that word means. You guys have that sex. checks out. Um, uh, we couldn't have, have sex, sex until we, we didn't have sex until the, we got legally married. Well, okay, but you con- so you consummated the marriage. Yeah, but I would still fuck other people. I okay. So He's the fact that it was Thank before yeah. the fact that you got married before you started doing s work makes it a little bit more believable. However, I me personally, I find it hard to believe that a deeply religious Mormon man That's fine. You would hard to believe. marry someone and then tolerate... What's like crazy to believe about it? That's like... Well, I just... 
That it's never, absurd. Have you it's never absurd. met someone that's like? Have you never met someone that's like married and fucking someone else? Like, have you ever heard of cucks? We I call mean, that cheating. That's though. pretty haram, but like, it's haram. probably there's cucks and shit. It's probably there's cheating. There's cucks out there in people's heads, but in mine, like, it's just like <laughs> yeah, that's what I. You can be much with someone him. that's okay with cheating. Yeah, what you do for a living creates a lot of them, actually. Yeah. When you what? What'd you say? What you do for a living actually creates a lot of those cucks. I was going to yeah. say that. Yeah. Creates a lot of what? A lot of the cucks Cheaters. that she's talking about. Yeah. 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 It yeah. does. I've had many I think about that too. I'm like, wow, you really enjoy watching me get fucked. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Yo, yeah. chat. Yeah, Hold on. Let's doing? ask the chat. Chat, do you buy her story? One in the chat, chat if you that, believe it. Chat that Two knows the me chat. from Zerka's stream will all comment and say that this is all true. One in the chat if you believe her story. Two in the chat if you think it's yes, like Yes, isn't that Zerka's girl? Cat. Yes, everyone from Zerka's stream, tell them that I'm not lying. Uh, we don't We don't deny that you're Zerka's girl. We are denying no, look, that this I is... I had just, to it's drive just her to Utah. Like, but that's not the Mormon too. husband, right? Zerka's I had to drive her to Utah. Like, I, it was so random. It was you just absolutely random. But Why hasn't he divorced you? You're sleeping with other men. Dude, he loves me. Have you never met someone that's in love with someone that's cheating on them? A lot of just be okay that. with it. Yeah, yeah I had to this guy, be progressive. Block people off my I feel like he would have been even more interesting to have on this. And he gets to. Yeah, fuck we should me. have this guy on. Yeah, why don't you bring guys on here? Why is we got, what are you talking about? We got yeah, two but right like, here. why don't you bring like, like I'll tell you, I'll guys. tell you exactly why. I different types of all guys. guys. Oh I told God. you I was like you shouldn't. I want to invite my friends on here. Well, I'll tell you why I don't yeah. invite. And I wanted guys. Eric on here too. Okay, I'll tell it you why. It was good. It was juicy. Yeah, yeah, and you I, didn't you, want it. You ready? Okay. <laughs> so most guys, they they claim that they oh if if a girl says this, I'll be able to rebut her, and I'm gonna own I'm gonna own like I'm a really good debater. I'm a really good arguer. I'm really entertaining. You should put me on your show. And we've accepted those guys to come be on the show. And they sit there and they don't say shit and they cower and they choke. Because Aww. it's one thing to Being be, nervous. hold on, let me finish. It's one mm -hmm. thing to be sitting behind your computer oh, watching the stream like, oh yeah, I would say this when they say this and I'd be able to, it's very different when you're live in person, we got lights, we got four cameras, you're sitting across from people who disagree with you. There's 3,000 people watching. People talk a real big game, but when, they're, when it comes down to being on the show, a lot of people fucking choke, both men and women. You guys hear that? Men and Brian said No, I've, I've brought on, I've given so many guys chance. Like I, the first time a guy choked, I should have been like, unless the guy has a proven track record of public speaking or content creation, they cannot come on the show because ev almost, with the exception of very few guys, most of them choke. Would you say we've we've had on good guys. We've had like Chase is good, Adam Twenty Two was good. I'm Adam Twenty Two was good. Who else? But I mean, he's like a content creator. You're yeah. good. Would you um, say that girls are like more? I, I would outspoken or like you know like bring more well, to the table. Girls are, are less saying, logical. Are you, are you saying that they bring more to the table uh -oh. to your podcast? No, girls are less they logical. Get, they get, they're more get willing better to speak content. Up and make uh, no, that you get depends. Better content off we girls. are wired. You get better content off girls. That's well, true. Because the, they're more emotional based, it's not logical not, like men. Yes. I've met some very emotional men, <laughs> and that recently went viral on no. TikTok. <laughs> I've with had a MLD. twenty-five year old man cry in the shower. No, men have emotions. They tend to suppress them because they come out pretty aggressively. That's why we shut down. And then you're like, why aren't you speaking up? Because if we spoke up, it would come out very angry. Men are more aggressive and angry when I'm they express too. emotions. I'm insane. Yeah, but it doesn't, <laughs> but it doesn't come Agreed. out in the form of anger. It comes out I, in the form mine of, has come out in the form of anger. No, but it comes out in the form of things yeah, like gaslighting. Gaslighting? Right? You yes. think I gaslight? That's not real. No, every single Men gaslight. Men gaslighting. Men gaslighting. Men gaslighting. Okay. Literally, Men gaslighting. Isn't that gaslighting? Like, like, like completely. I've been That's gaslit on this word. own show. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> I've been gaslit by Brian. You're a gaslighter. I got a gaslighter. Okay, okay. So, so, so there is an actual... Okay, I'm going to actually teach a little bit of a lesson here. Okay? Do it. All right. There's a thing called the argument from intimidation. Do you know what that is? No, that's but when people. Can explain it. That's when people will look at you and be like, Oh, don't be ridiculous. Or, no, you couldn't possibly believe that. This is what girls do all the time. Men do not do it nearly as much. If you're dealing with a guy who does that kind of thing, what he's doing is he's depending or he's relying on your own benevolence, your own kindness to not rebut him. Okay? This is what girls will do. They'll look at a guy, and because men have been told their entire lives, you're toxic, you're cruel, you're aggressive. Basically, men I are told. I love that. Basically, yeah. basically <laughs> men are told from the moment they're born, get on your knees and beg for forgiveness, you dirty, dirty man. When? That is what men are told from the, from the moment, the moment they are born. So when we do something and a girl feels like 
they're being attacked. When really we're just speaking our mind, talking about our feelings, you come back and you can't stand the fact that you might have pissed us off. So you go, I cannot believe that you would insinuate that you would do something. That's something that girls do. So many Girls do this, okay? This is not something guys you do. Guys are much more to the point. You did something that bothered me. Can you please apologize for what you did? That's what guys do. Girls just completely beat around the bush and they never, ever apologize. I've apologized. I apologize. I love apologize. I'm always the first right. to apologize. Like Starting out fiery tonight. I've, I've apologized before. I know when I'm wrong, I admit to my mistakes. Same. That's how you yeah. grow as a person. Would you like to apologize to me right now? I feel deeply hurt by all the things what you've did I done do? to me and said to me what throughout the years. What did I do? What did I do? We'll get into it later. <laughs> Let, just, oh just on the whole thing with no guys really quick. So what I would say also in addition to just us having experience of men absolutely choking on the show. I would say most men have very oppressed, uh, excuse me, suppressed opinions about the current social dating climate, but they fear the shame and ridicule that would oh, come if they chose, be hold on, let me finish. Sorry, yeah. If they chose to voice those opinions publicly. I agreed. Valid. So like, oh, FTG, thank you very much for the 50 memberships. Also, if I bring on one like blue pilled guy, the girls will just desperately latch on to whatever he says and use his opinion to invalidate what I say on the panel where I'm usually already like outnumbered. So why not just like a neutral dude? Like yeah. one that's like neutral. Neutrals, 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 I know some. A neutral guy is going to choke. No. He's going to say nothing. Person. I know. I, I need a guy who's you. like really strong. Oh, they're making like good points on both I, sides. What I, the hell is that? I told you. <laughs> I, I know a few guys that would be like you interested. Should, you yeah. say that. You say that. But I guarantee they show up. It's their first time ever doing they're something like this. They're friends with Eric. This, and they're going to Bring Eric like, on too. They're going to Why don't you do Zerka? He's really so red pill. Y'all are the same person. Y'all are We'll see. We'll see. Okay. So anyways. Um. Also, just men are on the losing side of the culture war, so men can't really truly be honest with their thoughts. It always gets met, like, when it comes to, like, dating preferences, standards, and boundaries, those things always typically get shamed, so. He's a dating course, so. Okay, all right. We see. <laughs> Mike Davis donated $100. Bring it on. I don't get what's so hard to believe. This goofy try-hard porno star found the low-T Christian cyclist simp. Oh. Most Christians especially those weirdo Mormons, are pretentious fakes. What's hard to believe? Thank you. This I have is a, Mike Davis, by the way. He's a simp. Like, That's thank you. Davis. That's what oh, I'm saying. You. Like, you think that, like, Aww. there's so many of my fans that would let me cheat on them every day. Like, what's different about this guy? That's disgusting, but okay. There's literal, like, Mormon porn, too. Yeah, That's there is. There's Amish porn. You have a they bunch suck. of friends with benefits. Really? That's what you have. But I love some of them. Again, it's nothing but friends with benefits. There's nothing yeah. but, a, that, like, there's zero commitment. Yeah. How do you get fulfilled from this? I am wired so differently because I have so many, like, trauma. Cra no, not trauma. I'm going to take a like, guess. Crazy little things in my head, and they just make me feel so loved. I'm going to take a shot in the dark. Daddy issues? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mommy. Saw that coming from a mile away. Divorce? Was there divorce? There Are was there so much. Multiple divorces? There, yeah, I mean, but, like, you know what? I feel loved how I feel loved. If that's with too many dicks, like, so be it. Just because it's not, like, Aww. normal to you <laughs> and, like, too what you dicks. expect. It's okay. Other people yeah. are happy doing different things. We shouldn't shame yeah. it. We should all love each Some other. Some people get filled with love. I think we should shame things. We were What's wrong with that? Bring shame back? No, is that what you're saying? Bring shame back for sure. Like, for example, this is on a very low level, but we shamed cigarettes for years. It was disgusting if somebody smoked cigarettes. We socially ostracized it, and now nobody really smokes cigarettes. We should do the same with sex what happened to the What happened to the word we gay? Sex we should, oh, like yeah, no, no, yeah. no, we should do the same things to sex workers because they're destroying society. How is it Here. hurting? How is it destroying society? Can Wait, I like get you, a little I mean, more this is gonna get deep. Do you want to keep going around and do the relationship? Yeah, thing? yeah, yeah, we're, we're, yeah, 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 yeah. we can come back to it. We can come back to it. Wait, but let me um, say, I, I agree with you, but at the end of the day, they're still giving me money, so I'm still going to do it. But I mean, like, <laughs> true. You know it's, what? Never gonna, it's never going to go away. I heard so you money live runs your life the world. For money and sex. Yes. Fuck yeah. That's yeah. what money runs the world. You know what else pays really well? Murder for hire. I don't have sex at all, and I still make money. There are things that are objectively immoral. But I like sex. I'm wrong. You're making money off of sex. So it's at the end of the day, it's an immoral way to make money. It's an immoral way to make money. Guys, one at a time, one at a time, please. Okay, go ahead. Do you want to respond? Then we got to move on. You, yeah, then you, go ahead. My favorite thing is sex. I love sex. I love performing, and it makes me so happy. So when you, it's like, 
I'm not just doing it for money and sex. I'm doing it for what makes me the happiest in the fucking world, which is fucking. It's sex. That's yeah. what makes you the happiest. I love so what fucking. age did you find that out? Um, I didn't lose my virginity to like 17. And that's started, when you found that out? I mean, I feel like I yourself? found that out when I started porn. I was doing OnlyFans and I was like, I fucking love performing. What else do you enjoy in life? Um, I play video games. Yes. Okay, go ahead. Are you guys religious? No. I'm going to answer that very simply. No. Okay. Are you religious? I mean, we believe in God. We don't mm-hmm. actively go to church. Mm. But you guys, like, do you guys believe in, like, Jesus and, like, all that? Yes, we have yes. a good relationship with God. Mm. Okay. Makes sense. So, <laughs> did you answer your relationship status? No, uh, I did not. So, wait, uh, just to go back to you really quick. Um, you, okay, so there's the, the, you're married to a Mormon bishop? Yes. And he's hot. And I'm dating Zerka. Wait, he's, he's what? Too. He's he's hot. hot. The Mormon guy? They're all hot. Yeah, I love. Do you Mormons. still hook up with him or? Yeah, not that much, but yeah, we do a lot of anal. What? <laughs> well, this is. I'm calling bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that whole. Story, you know that Mormons can only do anal before marriage? That's not. I'm not a Mormon, but th- that's, that's not true. That's true. That's true. Look it up right now. That's look up on your phone. Like it's a lot not. of religions. Look up. Look it up right well, now. This is like the it. soaking thing. No, that's a it, trope. Uh, yeah, it's they're all real things, this is why but the it's still six hours. We people's don't get religion. The that's what they I do. That takes a while. Um, <laughs> okay, and you're currently dating John Zerka. Yes. Hold on, just a sec. Ben to the offender donated ninety nine. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Dan, I mean no disrespect, but you look like you have resting pee wanst face. <laughs> He's Dan. Into the mic, into the mic. Yeah, when I'm talking about this stuff, definitely. He's got resting Ryan, really Ryan Reynolds voice. face. <laughs> and Heath Ledger. Yeah. Combined. Oh, yeah. Um, I don't okay, think so. Okay, so you're dating John Zerka. Um, mm-hmm. Are you guys, well, you're not loyal, right, to him? I'm honestly pretty loyal right now, actually. No, you do porn. No, I haven't been shooting lately. Like, for lately? the past, like, since I've been with him, been in for, like, a few weeks. So, so you're on a good streak of loyalty. <laughs> a few weeks. Yeah. Setting a career high here. When he goes to Miami, I'll probably go back, and then we'll co- he'll come back, and I'll get back with him. Right. Like, you know. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So you guys will break up for a little bit, and then you'll... I want to say break up. Like, just do your thing. I'm doing my thing. Come back. Be my Right. Thing. So, like, don't date, and then go date other people, it's and then good come for back publicity. and date. Publicity. I like fucking yeah. him, and then having time to fuck the other guys. You like, like fucking a lot of guys. Yeah, I do. Right. So, yeah. in other words, you don't have a boyfriend. I have a few. No, you don't. Well, Wait, you have multiple... Lot of boyfriends. Yeah, she's a husband. <laughs> she's a whole husband. You have multiple guys... I have multiple relationships. How many are we talking here? Two. Well, and then there's people I fuck, but... For work or for... Usually for work. Fun. Usually for work. Yeah. Like her Uber driver over here. No, No. I think she drove you, right? Yeah, she drove me. Your personal assistant drove you. Wait, okay, hold on. Uh, My tummy hurts. (laughs) Thank you. Do you want a Tums or some shit? No, it's okay. Nick, toss her a Tums. Um, Okay, just kidding. I'm okay. I don't need one. Okay, so you have two boyfriends. Well, you have one husband and a boyfriend who's John Zerka. Yeah, you want to meet him? What? Now? Sure. Was nice. he downstairs? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In uh, my pocket. <laughs> so, let's see. Do you have any other guys that you're seeing not related to work? Oh, uh, how am I supposed to, like, think? Like, With your probably. brain? Would be helpful? There's a couple. A couple? Like, sometimes, yeah. Like, you know. Like, whenever. If so, I think so, is Zerka only seeing you, or does he have other women, too? I'm not fucking other people besides him right now. For right now. But it's not going to be a long right now. It's, you're, well, hold on. So, like you're in this only hour, fucking him yes. temp for the time being. Yeah. But you're going to continue seeing him, but then you're going to fuck other men. No, it's a little different. Because he's going to go back it. to Miami soon, and then I'm going to be, like, fucking whoever I want to fuck. And when he comes back, I'll probably be, like... Isn't he in Miami? He was... He was just in Florida, what, a, no, two yet. days ago? Not yet. No, he was in Miami. Is he in Miami already? You don't even... Bro, this chick's so full of shit. Okay. Do you want me to call him right now? No, he was on the uh, FNF podcast. I mean, I don't, like, suck his, like, every move. Every what? I don't, Mode? like, suck his every move. That was a Freudian slip. I mean, slip. Your, your boyfriend... Uh, is he your boyfriend? Yeah. You don't know if your boyfriend is Unless he's in Miami, then no. In this. <laughs> Okay, so he's not here, so you're. I assume you're gonna be with other. There's this other little guy I'm fucking with, but I don't wanna. I almost fucking like guarantee you, like, she. I, I don't know if it was today or some other day. She was on the phone with Zerka. 
hey, John, I'm going to be on the whatever podcast. How can I get the most attention while I'm on the whatever podcast? Cap. Okay, let me just say, here. let me just say all this bullshit. You want to so say this like, is bullshit? I can show you clips of everything. This is all true. Like, okay. I don't know why you think <laughs> like, having a relationship pretty, that's crazy in LA is not weird. It's just like, like you're pre-planning all this. It feels a little pre-planned. I but, mean, look, maybe hey, it's fine, because fine, I fine, stream a lot fine, and I'm used to talking, like but like that might be the only reason you think that. I have to say, I do it's believe just, she has a husband. No. Thank you. Okay, fine, fine, I fine. feel like it's such a weird story that you it know. Has and to people be true. say I can call up anyone right now and be like, tell them, like I have a husband. I mean, people think it's weird. People think it's weird, but they're more like, oh, huh, cool. Not like, holy so, balls. Wait, what do you mean? It is, sounds like a South you know? Park episode, but I believe her. Like, Thank I you. Totally it's not like weird <laughs> okay, to believe. Fine. Like, also fine. I'll taxes, just take your word for it. Like, I'll just take your word for it. They help a lot. <laughs> so, is John Zerka just seeing you? Not if he's in Miami. He's being in Miami. Wait, John Zerka has a dating course. Yeah, he does. That's why y'all should go. Isn't on. he like, be like a thing. he claims to be very Christian? He is. He's he's Catholic. He's okay. He's making a lot of okay. money off of that right. dating course. And he has a dating course, right? Hmm? The dating course teaches. It's actually pretty good. Does it teach men to manipulate how to, women? Hold on. Does it? It <laughs> teaches men how to get women who are involved in sex work and who do porn and won't be loyal to you? No. He, that sounds like he preaches what that, a lot that, of guys he want. He preaches that that's not really what he wants and he would rather that's have some what like, he has, he'd rather have some like third world, third world country like girl that's a virgin. Like, then you why know? is he involved with you? Because you want him to go to fucking some third world country and get a girl like he's here in LA. He's gonna There's fuck There's plenty me. of girls in LA that don't and do fuck porn. I good. Like you might as well have someone that's fucking good. Like you know. Do you take pride <laughs> in that? Yeah. I do. Do you think men feel really good about themselves when they fuck a girl like you? I make Ooh, really okay, good. it's king yeah. size. <laughs> I think I make them feel so good that they're like, all that pride just goes out the window. No, they like things that are earned. No, I make them. I usually, easy. I don't even fuck guys the first night. Like, I like try good to like pretend I wait. Like, you know, you <laughs> pretend to wait. Yeah. It makes them like I feel like feel more like, oh, like she's Nina. so sweet. And we, want, and we wonder why the sexual market value is so low. Why do you guys make sex so taboo? Yeah. I know. Why do you guys, I know. It's not a taboo. It's not taboo. It's not you tab guys are making it's it It's not weird. taboo. We have sex, okay? Yeah, we but don't guys have are anything like... against sex. What we do have something against have is, some, is something where girls like you and you, I have no idea how much porn you do. I know you have an OnlyFans. You, do you think porn. I do porn? Porn, what? <laughs> porn <laughs> is so different than OnlyFans. Yeah. Yeah. So. <laughs> She's got a lot more respect for her than me. Curtis Reynolds donated $200. Unfucking believable. SMFH 304. Yo, thank you, Curtis Reynolds. This this show is uh, it's get it's pretty wild. Um, go ahead. Do you guys think that there's a problem with hookup culture? Yes. No. Okay. They do. Uh, do whatever you want. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I still want to answer the question that we haven't got past. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, we'll but, get um, there. Do we'll I think there. there's there. a problem with? I don't know. I guess that depends on what you're uh, referring to. Do you think that? Do you think that people? Are no. Thank you, FTG. Thank you, FTG, for the gift of memberships. Whoever that is. Who do you think is to blame for the existence of hookup culture, men or women? Men. It's both. Why? It's a two-sided thing. <laughs> I'm who, just against who men right now. Who controls the who controls no. the access to <laughs> sex? She's against women. Them, you open right? your legs. Right. Like, so who's to blame? The women. Men. The women. But the men also has the intention to do it, so it's it's a two-sided thing. It's two-lane road. Men are per, just, men are pursuing sex. They're going to act in a way. That they're going to act in accordance to achieve sex. That is correct. Okay. But we are all when girls like in a her way. exist. Okay. All that says is there are women out there who will just give it up for for nothing. Some okay? women can't escape yeah. like, the mindset that we were all hardwired in, that we should be giving a lot and receiving a lot and be treated like this, but it's up to the woman or the man to break that mindset. Are you going to get like shit done for yourself or not? Like, are you going to be a yeah, social but not media? by not through sex work, like yeah, not through those. giving up my pussy on camera. Exactly, no. like you don't have to find love either. like that. <laughs> you don't have to make your entire relationship around sex. But if some people choose to do so, then they choose to do so, and that's what that's what makes them happy. That really does. And I'm not a sexual person at all, and she knows that. And no, yet, she's not. like, I'm not like, going to hate on her for that, I or like, like only... disagree with her because it's not really something to disagree with. It's just her life. That's how she lives it. And you got to get over yeah. it, buddy. You don't like murder, get over murdering what? people. <laughs> Wait, over her doing sex with you. Don't be hurt about it. Don't be hurt about it. No, no, no. She's free to do it. What I'm saying is then don't it's shame absolutely her. catastrophic for society then don't if, shame this, her. if that gets normalized. But okay, I feel like it shouldn't be normalized. Shame it, it in the shamed. privacy of your own home. You said it That's shouldn't not. be normalized? It should not be normalized, but it should not be shamed in a way of why? making people feel bad. Why? If it shouldn't well, be normalized. He's also voicing his opinion. If it shouldn't be normalized, then why shouldn't we be shaming it? 
then how do things get someone, normalized? I don't think you should be doing this. That's not shaming. You could be like, oh, you doing all this is disgusting. I think it's ruining society. Or you can say, I just don't think it's good for everybody to do. Saying it's ruining But I don't. I think it's sex catastrophic work, for society. Sex work is the oldest profession. It's literally in the Bible. Like, it's the yeah. oldest profession. Sex work will always I'm look pretty, patriarchy I'm straight sure. in the eye. What? Okay, there, there's definitely older professions than sex work. And like, it's one of the oldest like, and most demanding. Like <laughs> it's the most. Hunter. One because of the be, most demanding professions. One of the most demanding. The Fisherman. barrier to entry to become a That's sex true. worker. What is it? Huh? Be a woman. Open your legs. Oh, okay. That's what you need to do. Uh, to I feel like how it is. Okay. <laughs> what? What do you want me to do? What do you? How do you want no, me to respond? No, you said it's one of the most demanding. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's demanding. How is it? How is it demanding? Okay, what work did you have to we some make. people can't get it. Some no, people it's live, in it's not, demand. It's not a demanding no, thing. Have you some ever watched people porn? are in unhappy marriages, so they go to like massage parlors or to like Ew. they go places. Right. They go sure. get yeah, a hooker. I mean, I know. It's people, normal. It happens. It's happens. Wouldn't call that a marriage. Oh. No, they end up yeah, it's not, each and they shouldn't be in the marriage. Just, I think what I'm hearing from you is that there's more female sex workers than there are male, and that's why yeah. you're saying it's demanding. It's very right? hard for a man to get into sex work. Wait, that have no you sense. watched porn? You honestly, that, that there's more females in, life, in sex work porn, yes. Yes. Yeah, than there are males. How does that like? Then it's more so. Well, it's more demanding for females. Why, how did you make that concept? What do you mean? How did I make like that? How did, you, how did you get her saying like there's more females in sex work? I think that's what she's getting at. How did you get that for females? But how did you get that to the no, I How said sex you? is demanding. Oh, okay. And that people look oh, okay. for sex. Okay, like, what? So, what's your question sex for her? Sells. Hold on, let her go ahead. What's it your was, question for it was, her? Sorry, I don't remember your name. Anai. Anai. Um, that there's more, you can agree there's more female sex workers yes, than there are male. It's definitely oversaturated. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Cool. You that's, just, that's what I'm clarifying. Did you want her? Okay. Um, did you, you had a question for him, then we have to keep things moving. Um, go ahead. Yeah, so you said you've watched porn. So, it's obviously demanded somewhere in anyone's life it's out there you've it's watched it did she said it's demanding yes i mean okay. sorry i meant demanded it's demanding Ooh. you when you watch it sorry i mean demanding and demanded you demanded it because i mean at the time you were demanding it so uh well I don't okay know to let's say not about that into moving, discussion moving on okay yeah. uh bangs what's your relationship situation single soltera how long have you been single <laughs> i've been single for two years now um, I am not talking to anybody. Nobody. I have my eye on somebody, but it's not I'm really sorry. talking. What do you <laughs> explain that? What do you mean? I don't want to. He might see this. <laughs> what do you mean you have your eyes on somebody? Are I'm you like, talking to him? Are uh, you? Yeah, occasionally I do talk to him, but I, it's like more of a crush that I have, and I haven't had a really, I haven't had a crush in a while, so, so it's, it's exciting. <laughs> no, it's yeah, I think they might have a crush on me too. They? Him. Okay. Sorry, I say they I wasn't a sure lot. If it was like non no, I say they a lot. Something. Sorry. Okay. Uh, longest relationship? Uh, a year. One year. Okay. What about you? Um, I'm single. Uh, I haven't dated in about two years, like an actual relationship. But I was also under the age of eighteen at the time, so I don't count that. So. Right, because you're you're eighteen. Yeah. Uh, so you've been single for two years. But come on, there's but a guy. That, in the, there's a guy him. in the picture. I was living with him, and so yeah, I was. It was a two-year relationship. So. But okay, but that ended two years ago. Yeah, it was bad. You were living him with him from fourteen to sixteen. I graduated at sixteen. Yes. Okay. Same. You weren't. You weren't living with your parents. No, I was not. I was living with her actually. Okay. Um, well, so you've been single though for two years, but. Let's talk about right now. There's no guy in the picture. There is a guy in the picture. Is there so more than one in the picture? No, I do not just do that. One singular. I, I don't play men like that. It's not in my heart to do that. I mean, people make money. Stop the cap. Things. Wait. Okay. So hold on. I I can like swear by it. Like I do not bring men over, and I actually did end up bringing one over. And like I'm not gonna play him after that. That's my peace place. Like I'm not. I don't Your ruin that. Peace place. Like what? my house. My our apartment is a peace place. Oh, Why would okay. I like ruin oh, that? Oh, peace place. Okay, I thought you were talking. The guy was a peace. Oh no, he's place. really nice. Side piece or something. Oh, okay. never that. So you're seeing. You're kind of sort of seeing one guy. Yeah. Right. Right now. Yes. How long have you, sort of been not sort of seeing him, but seeing him? Um, really not that long. Like a few weeks, and that's about it. A couple weeks. Yeah, but I've known him for like couple months I just don't fill my void of loneliness with men fill it with food and money <laughs> food and money that's okay. it okay um do you want a long-term thing with this one guy yeah or? definitely okay does but, he want the same or yeah okay but you're single you said you're single yeah I 
do, I mean, once you say you're dating, like, then, then I'm not single. Talking really isn't. So you could. I have every right. My grandma always told me, never stay with one man until you are dating the one person you want to be with. You can talk to as many people as you want until you find the right Erroneous. one. Erroneous. Erroneous. You can, but. My grandma's a teacher <laughs> at a Christian private school. She was my teacher. That's Haram. Okay, so you can, but like, do you think that leads to good relationships if just before you, let's say the day before you have the conversation with the guy that you want to be in a relationship with, you fucked another dude? Oh, I don't fuck them. I'm not like active like that. I mean, I can okay, talk, I, mean, I can you. flirt to another man or like flirt with another man, but I don't. I choose not to. But if I feel as if this man is not worth my time, I can see if there's another guy. I feel like you just keep your options open. Yeah. yeah. You keep your options yeah. options open. You don't want to end... Like, I don't ever want to end up in a relationship like Haram! I was. Like I don't who? even know what that means, man. <laughs> you don't want to end up in a relationship like who was? Like I was two years ago. It was not okay. something that I should have been in ever. And so I didn't keep my options open. And... What does it mean to keep your options open? Like, you have... Like, obviously, if a bunch of people like you, you're going to... Um, not everyone is going to stay with all of them yeah i'm not going to sleep with all of them but if they text me i might text back and i might out with them no i don't hang out with anybody at all except for like her and that one man like i don't leave the apartment i work from home okay so there's not really any reason for me to hang out with men okay well perhaps that's the case for you but there's definitely women who keep their options open i used to be like that hold on let me finish and they're going on multiple dates a week with different people. They're sleeping with multiple men at the same time. And then two months in, they finally f- decide, okay, this is the guy I want. And the entire time they've been seeing that guy, they're fucking other dudes, talking to other dudes. I don't think it particularly leads to good, healthy relationships. Well, but. I'm personally scared of STDs. If I ever contract one, I may go ballistic. That's awful. But... If other women want to do that and ruin their mental health, they can go right ahead. But mental is everything for me. And if I decide to let a man get or because no one can make you feel any type of way, you allow people to make you feel a type of way. Mm -hmm. So if I were to allow a man or a man to ever make me feel any less than what I've made myself be, then that's where I know I've like fucked up bad. Okay. that's not how your life should be. You shouldn't revolve your life around someone else. So you stay loyal to one man and you try to hold your body for that one man for the sake of your mental health? Yeah. And yet you're a personal assistant for a porn star? Well, I'm not fucking everyone she's working with. I'm not going into her shoots. We do. Are you are you uh, thinking you'll ever venture into that world? No. I don't. Yeah, I will not even allow a man onto my OnlyFans. Do you do OF, though? I do. You, you do do OF. Okay. I do. What, I kind, of, what kind of content do you do on lingerie OF? Lingerie and... BG? Any boy-girl content? No, I do not have men on girl, my girl OnlyFans. Girl-girl content? No. Okay. It's just all me. Anae, what about you? Are you BG, girl-girl, solo? Yeah, just I just shoot whatever by myself. Okay. Uh, what about you? Well, now I don't feel as exciting, but <laughs> <laughs> I am in a three-year relationship, and we're very healthy, I feel like, and That's happy. That's awesome. <laughs> Three-year relationship. That's awesome. Wow. That's good. You said you're 23, right? I'm 23, yeah. Did you guys meet in college or? It was kind of like a weird situation because I was like, I'm going to be single in college. Like, I'm not going like, to do hide much. The chat, please. And then I was like, oh, COVID happened. So I had to go back home and I was like really bummed. And then he lived in my hometown. We went to high school together, but we didn't really like talk. And he was like, hey. And I was like, I'm not getting into a relationship. And he made quite the effort to like visit me when I came back to college and eventually Mm -hmm. moved here so gotcha and while she was talking about this you kind of it seemed like you almost echoed a little bit what she said of yeah keep your options open so before you got into your three-year relationship with your now boyfriend were you keeping your options open during the early stages of when you started dating him absolutely not like the second we started talking we both like didn't like entertain anybody else Mm -hmm. so you know, I'm not practicing what I preach, but I do get like keeping your options open as in like dating around, like try something new, like try this person, try this person, like see what you like because I don't know, I feel like that's your time, your early 20s to like, I'm talking about like date around, but once we started talking, it was just like him in the picture. That's awesome. That's like so wrong cute. person or like I'm gonna right person, wrong time kind of thing. No, but they're Wait, still together. Yeah, they're yeah, still yeah. together. Yeah. No, they're right, but that's why we keep our options open. Because yeah. in case it's like, okay, this isn't going to work right now. Yeah, I wasn't keeping future. my options open like with him. Right. Because I was like, 
okay, yeah, like, this is it, you know? Yes. <laughs> but before him, I was like, okay, maybe this is my type. Maybe this is my type. I'll go on this date even though I don't know if I'm going to like this person. You know, just right. mm. date and figure out what sense. you like. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Um, actually, on that note, so you said you, you'll go on a date, but you might not be super set on the guy. Yeah, like, honestly, even, like, my boyfriend now, like, I tell him, too, I was like, you honestly weren't my regular type. And he ended up being, like, my soulmate in my eyes because I was into, like, douchebags before him. So it's like, I would not have given him a chance, but I was like, oh, he's nice, he's funny. And then I was like, oh, shoot, like, I just took a chance on a good guy, even though that wasn't my type before, what, you know? What was your type before? FTG, thank you, 50. Um, I'd say guys with like huge egos. Oh, yeah, I didn't and he's know a very like was gonna follow humble person. <laughs> um, wait, okay, huge egos. Yeah, like that's like that was my boys. type before him. Like fuck boys, huge egos, like not good intentions. And then my boyfriend now is very like humble, amazing intentions. Qu- question for you. So, and you say your boyfriend now he's a good guy, nice, nice guy, good guy. Like he's not like you know how some people say, oh, he's a nice guy, and like. It's kind of yeah. like a turn off. Like, he's not that. He's just genuinely a good person, and he has great intentions. So, question. Before you finally found your soulmate, this guy who you say is a good guy, mm-hmm. who you've been in a three-year relationship with, how many of the jerks, assholes, and fuckboys <laughs> did you have to go through before <laughs> you gave him a shot? Honestly, I'd say quite a lot, like, in that time span. And that's why I kind of, like, nodded when... Um, I'm, I, is it Brandon? I'm so Damn. sorry. Dan. 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 Yeah, Dan the man. He, sorry. <laughs> he was like, is hookup culture toxic? And I like nodded immediately because it was toxic. It was so bad for my mental health. The guys were terrible, you know, mm. and it's refreshing not to have that anymore. But why do you think you were attracted to them? I don't know. I don't know. I think part of it was like validation. Like I think I was a lot more insecure and I was also young. Um, I lost my virginity at 16. So... I was young, I think I needed a lot of validation and that's why I went for men like that. At least that's how I perceived it. But aren't those the types of guys to not give validation? Exactly, (laughs) exactly. Wait, that doesn't make any sense though. You said you need a lot of validation though. Yeah, I I was looking for validation by like sleeping with them and stuff. I don't know. Okay, okay. Um, You wanted them because a lot of girls wanted them. You also wanted them because they weren't nice. Probably, yeah. Honestly, that makes total sense. They had authority. (laughs) They were hyper masculine, and yeah. like I, I think about something really, really simple. Why is it that every single dude, for the most part, that gets girls today seems to have a type fade and a tattoo? <laughs> yeah. so because that's what hey with the tattoos. Because, Come on. because that's what every fucking girl goes for. Every single one. Remember when I said you're all the same? You all want the exact same thing. You want a man of authority, right? Men in uniform. This is a big thing. I'm sure you shoot a lot of scenes with them. And you get just a constant, constant chase of this leader, this masculine guy who has a masculine frame, who isn't chasing you all the time, who you can't control, who has these, like, be- like he's like a beast that you have to tame. It's literally Beauty and the Beast. That's what women actually desire. You don't want a nice guy. You need someone who isn't going to give you attention all the time because you need to long for them. You need to miss them, right? Like this guy, you said that he, you knew him during your time in high school? So we didn't like talk, we were just, I always saw him like we went to the same elementary school even and we just did not like pay attention to each other. And then you said <laughs> so. you were, t- then you said that when oh. you went off to school you were texting for periods of time but then he would make the effort to come see you, right? So he texted me while I was in school and I kind of like ignored it and then I went back home and he reached out again and I was like, I'll give this a shot. And then I was like, I can't do long distance. Like, I don't, I don't know, I like you but I can't get into a relationship and he came every single weekend and we lived four hours away to like make it a point to be there and make it work. And then so there was a pattern interruption. Here. You had a week where you didn't see him and then a day or two where you had a great time. Then a week where you didn't see him and then a day or two of having a great time. It's, this is the same exact dopamine cycle as when you're like, I wonder if they're going to text me. Or like, mm-hmm. there, I actually saw a great clip from a guy named Andrew Huberman. I have no idea if you guys have seen his stuff before. There are actual cultures around the world where they have laws but basically tribal laws where you're not allowed to touch your spouse for two weeks out of the month. What that does is it creates excitement. It maintains attraction and they have extremely long-standing, long-term relationships. I so will the say, I, could, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I was gonna say, I see how that works because like when we first started dating, we were like, 
rabbits like literally having sex like rabbits and now even though we live together for the first time it's like we don't have sex every night you know we pace it out a little bit and it does still like build that anticipation three years in wait is it a, no. you got a dead bedroom is it the dead bedroom what dead bedroom no that's like there, there's no sex no we don't okay. do that we just like skip Not a day you know what i mean we oh, still we okay. just pace it out Not every day i can get it still like builds excitement and anticipation just skipping yeah. a couple yeah, days fine. even I, though i, I don't want to harp on it too long because i know we yeah, got to yeah, keep yeah, it going yeah. but the, but the whole point is the reason why it worked out with him the reason why he's a genuinely good guy who you ended up falling in love with is because he wasn't if you were just at home with him all the time given who your type was it probably wouldn't have worked out but it was good to occasionally talk to him and then see him over short stints. That's actually yeah. the formula for being successful in the dating market. This is why the whole like, wait a few days to text, that's kind of shitty advice because it's, there's actually an art to doing this the right way, these pattern interruptions to build attraction with people. It doesn't just happen, but that's the reason why it worked. That's the reason why you were able to escape your type. And I would say I honestly agree with that, too, because I liked the chase. So, you know, it yeah. was a healthy way of still getting that. You guys are all the same. <laughs> Seven deadly simps uh, okay. donated $100. I am tired of seeing all these beautiful women on the Whatever podcast. Thanks for changing things up with tonight's show, Brian. Okay. My sprinkler goes like this. <laughs> Seven hundred and seventy-seven decillion. Seven hundred and seventy-seven no nice. million. Seven hundred and seventy-seven um, octillion. Thank you, seven hundred uh, and seventy-seven septillion. Seven hundred and seventy-seven <laughs> sextillion. Seven hundred and seventy-seven so quintillion. So seven hundred and seventy-seven uh, quadrillion. Seven hundred and seventy-seven yeah. trillion. Wait, seven hundred and seventy-seven billion. Seven hundred and seventy-seven million. Seven hundred and seventy-seven thousand. Seven hundred and seventy-seven. Yeah, I think we're close. All right, thank you, thank you there. Uh, you, you said that prior to your current boyfriend, there was quite a few fuck boys, jerks, whatever, assholes, whatever. Um, what are we talking here? What are we talking? Do you like a baker's like... dozen? What are we talking? <laughs> um, and like too much, like for, I don't know, too much. Like when I look at myself then, I'm like, why? You know what I mean? Like I'm yeah. like little Katie, like you need to like stop like enough to where I'm like, you didn't have to do that, you know. But not like Wait, a did, shit ton. Did you go to UCSB? Yes. Okay. But I started dating Jared um, my first year of college. So, like, I've been in a relationship most of my college career. Important question. You know how you talked about you believe in keeping hey, your options open? Can you see yes. If you're thinking back on that being like, oh, why? Why did I do that? Why are you encouraging girls to keep their options open the same way you did? Well, when I say keep options open, I mean, like, going on dates. Like, very, like wholesome things like go on a date with this guy even if you don't know you know like see what you like I don't mean like fuck get sorry I don't know if I can say that I don't mean like have sex with everybody I meet I just mean like it. dating around that's what I mean okay like on a very casually ca like wholesome casual level <laughs> this is just like figuring out what kind of personality you like what kind but of that's person you kind like. of why men are afraid to now like pay on dates or even take girls on dates because the girls aren't serious about it they're just dating around right I don't know and why they probably, feel obligated yeah. to pay, that though, because... Because if, you guys would be repulsed if no, they didn't pay. No, I'm not. I refuse Wait, so to I, I'm pay. Curious, she what, what way would you guys I'd go about out. it? Like, uh, like, I don't necessarily 100% agree with, like, the dating around, but, like, getting to know people, figuring out what you like, um, what kind of personality do you like? Yeah, I mean, Do they I have the same political I views? Like, does that all, like, come into play for you guys when and that's you're what I'm going to be with across. someone? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I... I I would say don't expect a nice dinner. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't really yeah. go on dinners when I like, even like with the few guys I've been interested with, I've never right. been like, oh, like, let's go out to eat. Mm. Because I get so shy to like eat in front of a guy, even though I know I shouldn't, but I just feel like I look ugly. Yeah. And I okay. personally wouldn't even be comfortable with that if someone wanted to like spend a bunch of money on me and I'm like, this is our first date. I don't even like know yeah, you. Be like, we're not to, like, doing that. Fair. It yeah. makes or, like, us even feel go to obligated. The movies, it's almost like awkward. Like I'd rather like sit yeah. down with them or like even in a car, just like talk to them, hang yeah. out, see a pretty view. I've yeah. done that a few times. I feel yeah. as if when they pay big amounts on the first date, it makes me feel obligated to stay with them, and I hate that. Like especially with like family having like issues in the past with that happening. Like people Indian giving saying, "Oh well, I got you this though," so. Okay, and you decided to spend that money on me. Thank you. 
Well, yeah, that's weird if a guy has an expectation because he paid for a date that he's. That's what a lot of guys weird. expect yeah. too. Like they expect that woman to stay because they have money. Money does not mean anything if you do not have a good personality or mental health. That is actually stable. all the more reason that women should pay for the date, but um, but so that seriously. the guy doesn't have any expectations. Although, uh, look, it's I think it is probably best practice, generally speaking, as a man. Uh, me personally, I have some qualms with paying for the first date, but generally speaking, across the board, I. I do think recommended the guy should pay because you're gonna. There's definitely women you're gonna lose if you don't pay for the. You should be date. going on fewer dates and spending as little money as possible if you're a man. Like that. That's that what is, you should be like doing. One hundred percent true. Like, like a date walk. For you? Go to the I, beach. Most first date. dates that I've been on, I don't spend a dime because I, I go. Right. I'm gonna go. Wa- I'm gonna walk my dog. Do you want to come with me? I feel like Boring. I would even prefer really? that. Like, yeah. I don't want well, you, you, you don't, you don't, like, you don't like a good conversation. You don't like be well, out, out no, Yeah, I've done that, but I wouldn't be like, oh, let's go walk my dog. I'd be like, I'd <laughs> rather stay home, <laughs> to be honest. If it was like, oh, let's go walk down the park. Let's yeah, like go get so. ice cream. I'd be like, Y'all yeah, are in a relationship, yeah. correct? Yeah. I feel as if y'all are a very healthy, strong couple due to that mindset because that is exactly a really healthy mindset to have. Not spending as much money as you can and enjoying things that are free in life. Like literally going to the beach, go smoke a blunt. I don't know. Do yeah. something rather than going shopping or like. Sure. Like what is that? I, let me just come in. I do have to move things along. But uh, one thing about what you said, you said, well, like I'll go on a date, but I'm not really sure about the guy. I think this is an interesting difference between men and women. But uh, maybe really quick, just a yes or no from all the girls here at the table. Have you ever gone on a date with a guy without knowing ahead of time? if you wanted to sleep with him? Yeah. I honestly have no idea. I don't know. No. I, no. S- wait. Yes. Could you really like, word that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, can, okay. yeah, I so don't have really ever So have you ever gone on a date with a guy where you weren't quite sure on him yet, you wanted to, okay. in terms of, you haven't yet decided if you want to sleep with him yet? Yes. That's how, yeah. 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 I guess, yeah. Like you're undecided. It's not like you're going on the date and you're like, I know I'm going to like this. No, like, that's how no. I was with this guy. And I ended like, up absolutely adoring him. I don't like sleep here's with what, here's people what, here's on the first date. So. Here's what Brian's asking. It is a little confusing. Here's what Brian's asking. I think it's asking. assuming that have you ever, Have people. you ever gone on a date with a guy who visually and upon immediate interaction, you you weren't like, I would fuck him. I would. It's a little bit what I'm getting at, but... Yeah. You're asking me if I've ever felt that way, if I'd be like... In other words, is he he currently in a position to succeed or a position to fail? Like, is he having to now earn your... Does he have to Uh, prove and earn your attraction? Yes. Or are you already attracted to him? Have you gone on dates that you... I work really weird. Have you gone on dates with guys who you aren't already attracted to? Yeah. Like he has to prove He now has to prove himself. Yes, they have to prove it. That's what I'm saying. no attraction at all, then like... I honestly don't know. My brain works really different. I feel Clearly. like when I like somebody, mm-hmm. I like them. I can't okay, that's like That's not someone. the question, but okay. This is the difference the, the, because because every guy who goes on a date, he's only going a da- on a date with a girl who he is already down to fuck. He's already decided. He's already decided. He's already decided. I, decided. I, I so want to true. sleep with her. So now I'm going to see, like, it, basically it's yours to lose at this point. That's how guys date. She's gorgeous and she seems pretty cool up front. Guys are looking for a reason to say yes. Brian's point is that women are looking for a reason to say no. Um, that's that's the dynamic. So are you how it saying works. like women are the deciders? Is that what you're saying? No, what I'm saying. The, the, do you ever hear a guy say, "Oh my God!" Like there's these things that give me the ick. Uh, no, not, usually girls say that. Yeah, because <laughs> guys are looking at the situation, going, "Yeah, she she does all these she does all these things that really piss me off, but she's really beautiful and she's kind of fun to talk to." Whereas for whereas it's the opposite Thank for you. girls. Girls would be like, he's super sweet, he's super nice, he's really handsome, but and they'll convince themselves not to sleep with a guy. Yeah, actually, I've been doing that with my friend. I'm like, you gotta humble the guy. For, sorry, you gotta humble him first. You yeah, can't go. You can't put him oh, on no, a pedestal. Yes. I was oh, coming from where I'm like, you need to, like, I want to know that you're worthy of, like, me giving it up to you. Like, prove yeah. it as in, like, yeah. a way, like, I want right, to make sure women I'm into you, you. I'm sexually to attracted sex. to you. Yeah, yeah I I'm just, and, and I'm not disagreeing with that, but I'm saying, like, not in a sense where I'm, like, um, very, like, feminist view on it, but I, I do want a guy to prove that, you know, he's you worthy of being out. with me and that I'm worthy of being with him, and I hope he has the same mindset towards me. This also goes to the point that men and women are fundamentally attracted to different things. Men are attracted to your physical beauty. That is the right. biggest thing that draws us in. For you guys, you're like, 
I, he seems kind of cute, but I wonder if he also makes good money, also makes me laugh, also seems to be really intelligent, also has a lot of ambition, also listens to my stories. Like all Is this, this a bad or stuff. good thing? I'm saying that it's just the way things work. Yeah, no, women, I can agree with that. Women, women are selecting on so many more things than men are up front. Men are looking for beauty up front. We're auditioning so first, you're auditioning official. second. Mm -hmm. Like, you ever notice how... So what? It's so true. superficial. Are you going to be with someone well, that okay, you don't even talk with? About, we can talk about superficiality when it comes to looks a little bit. Um, so what is superficial about it? That men are attracted... Ooh, she's pretty. I want to marry her. Are you like, no, you're not, she's you don't pretty. Wanna, I want to go see yeah. okay, how she is. So let me you don't want to like, see uh, what's, how her brain works. You don't see I'm going it. around the table. Everybody has an opportunity to answer on this, and we will come back to the relationship status. <laughs> um, do you think men are superficial? No, not most of them. Wait, can you speak straight into the mic? Not most of them. Yeah, I wouldn't say most of them, but the guys that do think that way are superficial, and I haven't really met a lot of guys like that think God that yeah. I haven't because then they'd be superficial. And well, I this is be precisely what we were talking about earlier, how men are not able to speak candidly <laughs> about things related to dating. Hold on, uh, Mike Davis, let me read this one. Um, do you all not see how demented and screwed up these women are? Oh, wow, okay, Mike Davis going in. Mike Davis is the resident roaster. I secured the bag and I'm a genuine a-hole, just what these degenerates want, but I want no part of STDs. I'll hire any one of you, you hobos that commits to coming overseas, passport bros, okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, that's Mike Davis. He likes to roast people. Okay, thank you, Mike Davis. Appreciate it. Um, do you think men are superficial, generally speaking? Um, to be honest, it's again, be honest. A two, be very honest. it's a two-lane road. Are you, you are literally not going to sleep with someone or be with someone that you are not physically attracted to. No absolute way that you are going to marry that person. You got to be serious. Like that. This is kind of like a very easy question. It's not like no, no one should be offended by it either. Like. Men are superficial. Yes, women are too. You're not going to be with a man that you don't find attractive. Based. I would say, I don't know. I guess the only thing I have to add is I've never thought about like money and status and job until I've like, I was also like dating really young, but until I was like, I want to marry this person. That's like when my current boyfriend, I was like, oh, I have to start thinking about these things. Like right. some money, like do our lifestyles. Like that's when I thought about all like well, deeper stuff. I, like how's this going to okay. work? I mean, so money status these sort of things can be related to superficiality but i was trying i was more so trying to approach it from just purely physical things um do you think men are superficial yeah i do i think so mm. no I know. okay no but i'm still confused I'm okay confused. okay okay do you think i'm gonna come back around starting with you do you think women are superficial yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I do. Oh, okay. Now that I understand the question, I'd say both. I'd say Tulane. Yeah, I like her response. Okay. So, look, you, this ways. originally yeah. stemmed from you saying, because he was saying men care about women's physical appearance, you're like, that's so superficial. Yeah. But, okay, would you date a guy who's shorter than you? Fuck no. <laughs> <He's so short. laughs> like, that's superficial. But really okay, but that's the superficial. Thing is, let me say this. Let me say this. My ex was six foot two. If I were to date a guy younger than that, I'm gonna get clowned on, younger? okay? Wait, I mean, taller, sorry. Taller than that, I'm gonna get clowned Nobody's on. Nobody's gonna shorter. clown on you for uh, dating yes. a taller guy. <laughs> Wait, yes. you say t taller than you or shorter than you? Or sorry, shorter than six two. Yeah, oh. shorter than six two, Wait, I'm gonna you're, get clowned on. Wait, what, hold on. You're gonna get clowned on if you date a guy shorter than six two. <laughs> Yeah, what? because my ex was tall. Nobody gives a fuck about your okay, ex. I do. Yeah. Oh, you do. <laughs> Not that I care so you're about gonna my ex, but I'm like, always got to do bigger, better, more money, got to improve, you know? So this imaginary <laughs> group of people is going to be clowning on you because your ex, who probably <laughs> most people, like... No. Some women I want a man to inspire them. Taller and more money was what she talked about. I and said taller, more money. And you called cuter. me superficial for meeting a beautiful girl. Because <laughs> I do, I need it. I need something better than my ex. Why would I want to go lower than my ex? Well, Hello. someone, some women want a man to inspire them physically and mentally. Might like have more money, so they want to work to get more money. They have good looks. They want to. They have good hygiene. They work towards that, so they can stay with this man on his level. Some women like that. Are some you saying women, women date up? I don't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. They do. I, do. I don't but object to women liking tall men. There's just a biological basis for that. But you cannot but sit like, there. Hold on. You cannot sit there and say men are superficial. Well, I think for men and hold on. women are. You cannot sit there and say men are superficial for liking physically attractive women when one of the 
markers that women look for in men is height, which is something that men have absolutely zero control over. All right, you got me, Brian. Physical... You're right, you're right. <laughs> you're right. It's not, it's, it's, not a, it's not a gotcha. It's, it's just like... You see how you're mean for bringing it up? I'm, I am yeah. a toxic, toxic masculinity. How dare you caress yeah, me? Is. Okay, all right. Um, what about penis size? Let's talk about that. That's out of <laughs> I don't really control. care, actually. You don't care? Yeah, I'm a small person. Small pelvic bone. So you <laughs> saying you got like a gorilla grip? What the fuck are you talking? Yeah, that what you're talking <laughs> no, about? Just, yeah, like yeah. you're small. Sometimes like your pelvic bone can't handle a lot, you know? Yeah, that's so true. I'm 90 pounds. Like I also have endometriosis, I had, so it doesn't yeah, matter. I had to go to I had sex to doesn't it. matter at all. Like, yeah, I had a lot to of people. see a specialist because my reproductive was a little messed up. Yeah, so, I, so that's why I don't have it. Smaller is better. Okay, guys, their DMs are open. <laughs> if you're lacking in the bulge. Okay. Um, <laughs> all right, let's keep it moving. Uh, your relationship status, please. Um, I am currently in a relationship. Okay. My longest relationship, I think, was like four ish years. I'd say. Currently in a relationship. How old are you now? I'm 24. 24. It was a high school relationship. Got it. Right out. What's your, uh, how long have you been in this current relationship? It's new. We've been together oh, since like brand May. Brand new. Yeah. Since May. Okay. Yeah. All right. What about you? I'm single. Uh, my longest relationship was like five to six years, I'd say, somewhere in between there. And uh, what were the other questions I was supposed to answer? How long have you been single for? Did you say that? Like two months. Two two months. Yeah. And the five to six year relationship, is that the one that just ended? No, no. That was the one prior to this relationship. Okay, gotcha. So single for two months. Um, My last relationship that I just got out of was two and a half years. Gotcha. Has there been a rebound? Um, <laughs> uh, I don't know. No. No. <laughs> No. There's come on. There's. Been Why are you hesitating? She's still stuck up on well, the other guy. Well, because I'm not gonna jump in. Like, I'm absolutely not. I was actually checked out of that relationship. Did like, you, you a dumped year. him? Uh, no, we actually mutually agreed. Like, this isn't working. Neither Who of us are him? happy. No, no, genuinely, genuinely, it was a mutual agreement. Okay. I, I, I can yeah. say that with my chest. Like, yeah. we both looked at each other, and it was like. We, I, I was loyal to the point where I was yeah. like, I don't want to give up. I want to keep trying. And he was like, you know, like it's hard for me to leave you, I love you. And then we looked, it was like, this isn't gonna get better. It was hard, because like both of our families are very intertwined. We, um, yeah, but no. It was no. time. It was, it was time. time. It, we'd been checked out Wait, for a while. both of your families were intertwined, so we're talking like incest, or what do we? Okay, <laughs> what the fuck? No. Absolutely Wait, no, not. Sorry, sorry, like, not, what? Uh, uh, that is just far-reached. What's the no. other one? What's the other, there's, uh... <laughs> just like, I, I, like I had a good cousins? relationship with his family, and second I would cousins? hang out with his No, no, not incest oh, okay. and not second cousins. Um, no, we had... In, we had inbreeding, had, inbreeding. No, we we're were not in red. Right? Yeah, we were family friends. Okay. And whatnot, and it just wasn't working out. It was a genuinely the first mutual breakup I've ever had in my life. So I also so would good. ask oh. who broke up with who, but okay. that was, right. yeah. Uh, and then you two are in a relationship. Yes, we are. How long have you guys been dating? <laughs> we dated twice. Twice? <laughs> oh, there's a breakup and they get back together? It was kind of a logistical breakup after the first two like months. A distance thing? I was, well, I was about to move. Ah, uh, okay. Um, she at the time was, I don't think I can move. and. Mm. I, I was know. never going to move. Like I was Did you never though? leaving Jersey. Did you end up? I, li I live in Florida now. <laughs> New Jersey. Hold on, just Mount a second. underscore whatever is yeah. donated ninety nine dollars. Bangs is back and blonde. Bro, you gotta send these when she's Didn't here. Think that would be the hairstyle change. Uh, yo, Mount whatever. I'll re-trigger when she's back. Um, let me get through a couple chats here. One sec. Uh, oh, Mike Davis is about to uh, come in here really quick. Hold on, guys. One sec. Yo, Bangs. Mount Whateverist said, Bangs is back and blonde. Didn't think that would be the hairstyle change. Mike Davis donated $100. I'm headed out, but Mexico should be lucky if a face transplant recipient would want her busted face. Wait, and what? give the attention seeking narcissist wannabe porno star some more airtime. She's dying inside. The table a little bit. She's Thai, not Mexican. She's but what? She's I'm Thai. Thai. Who? We're talking about. Are they talking oh, about me. her? Yeah, uh, I'm Mexican. Mike Davis. Mexico right, you guys. should be lucky if a face transplant. Shut up. Show your face, Mike Davis. Oh wait, we already have a picture of him, huh? We really? do. Nick, can you pull it up? <laughs> is he, is he 
Do you want to? I mean, you, a he's a very comforting smile, to be honest. He has a comforting smile. Look at that. Yeah, you're working at Burger do you, King. Do you want me to link you up with Mike Davis oh, if it doesn't work? No. What, you don't take black eyes? Are you racist? They remind me of my brother, so no, actually. Your brother's. It's not racist. Is your brother. I can take Yes, him. they are black. Yo, FDG, thank you very much for the 50. Here. Are you half? Or? No, the, my um, parents cheated. Oh, good times. Slay. Good times. Awesome. <laughs> Um, Mac, I mean, Mike Davis. Do you, do you want to say something? Yeah, too? Mike Davis, you just donated $100 and you're working at a fucking Burger King. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> He's the proprietor of hundreds of Burger King. I, I love Burger King. <laughs> the chicken fries are the best. She be does not give a shit. Okay, all right. Diesel Daddy here. It blows my mind how people's minds can be so warped. Why can't 304s screw your heads on straight? Your lifestyles are so ass backwards. It's insane, bro. Dude, the chats are going are pretty ruthless tonight. Okay, great to see Dan and Billy Ray back on. Please tear the three on the right apart this whole episode. Wow. What's the right? That side? What am I uh, saying wrong? Yes, I'm not right. even doing they anything. Yeah, right. so that's just right. Not like the political. <laughs> I didn't do it. Like, if anything, I have their mindset. I just do OnlyFans. Like, You're just sitting next to these. Like, boo hoo. Like, I just wanted a job. I can't work at Hooters. There's not one close to me. What? I, I used mean, to work at Hooters and Twin Peaks. What about like a bookkeeping job? What about? Ew. Are you good with numbers or? Ew. I like customer service. I enjoy customer service. Customer service. You don't want to get an engineering okay. degree, go work for like Google or something like that? Christ, no. I love making people happy yeah. and asking how their day is. Yeah. What, what about being like a carpenter, like working with your hands? I am She'd be good with some 90 wood. pounds. I will literally and she does only hurt somebody. What about somebody. going to like work like the sewers or something like that? That's Sewer. what my dad used the to do. Sewers. I'd rather not. Yeah. Your dad's a legend. My dad, yeah, no, yeah, he's in the yeah. army. What about being like a teacher or something like that? Oh yeah, I would definitely be a teacher or something sense. like that. I would love to, like a psychiatrist or a therapist. Oh, okay, all right. So you'd rather work with people. But than I just need the money to get up to it because, again, my dad <laughs> is awful. He used my college fund. Got it. OnlyFans can get a college fund. Got it. Nice. Only okay. What? Help me pay for school. And it does. You're welcome. It helps me pay for my car. Thank you. I don't yeah, have any friends. You yeah, you're welcome. All right. Do you guys feel like? Support. Support. Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'll move it along. I Hold on. Um, Okay, guys, we have Alex P here. What's the cheap plastic crap you're riding with? You have better options. Shame okay. on you. Yo, this is Alex. Alex, um, I haven't... We have your pens. Everybody here at the table used your... Alex sent us uh, some custom whatever pens. Oh, dope. You're those were, those were good pens. Yo, it's shout out to shame. Alex. Good, good um, weight on those. Some great weight. They were fantastic pens. Um, <laughs> so thank you, Alex, for sending us those free pens. Really appreciate it. Everybody here, like, first time using them, they signed the releases so appreciate it folly with the ugandan knuckles thank you man hey brian just <laughs> wanted to let you know after watching two viral clips from two separate episodes and then watching the full episodes both clips came from this is officially one of my favorite visual podcasts started from episode one earlier today awesome and controversial well dude hey welcome to the family really appreciate it thank you for tuning in uh the earlier episodes are a little more tame um but uh Episode one's kind of, eh, but it, it gets better. So uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. I uh, hope you enjoy watching. Thank you, man. And then we have uh, Dave. Hey, thank you for the membership. Appreciate it, guys. Guys, get your TTSs in. Get your Super Chats in. We will check back in on those uh, in a little bit. Okay, so you guys were so kind to provide some pre-show notes to us. So I'm going to ask you guys a couple questions here. We got, uh, let me see. Uh, so you do adult content, traditional content. How many scenes have you done? Um, maybe less than fif 50. Less than 50, okay. Yeah. And are these with, is there like, it's a new guy every scene or is it like you'll no. do repeat? Sometimes it's repeating. Okay. And you do scenes with men, with women or? I don't do girls, I just do men. Got it, okay. Sometimes I'll do a boy, girl, girl if it's like a girl I know and like she's like my friend. Cause sure. Like it's fun. Okay. And when did your 20 now, did you start at 19? I started in May, so I was 19. Okay, May. so it's been... A few months. Oh, just a couple months. Yeah. Okay, got it. And before that, were you doing OF or it yeah, started about the same in, time? I was in nursing school and I was doing OF in my senior year of college because it was like, I couldn't be a CNA anymore because it was like long shifts and like nursing school's hard. Okay. So I started OnlyFans and then I liked it and then I graduated and I was like, being a nurse and I was like this is so 30 year old woman I was like I'm gonna go do porn you know wait <laughs> being a nurse is th I, 30 year old woman it was just like um yeah it was like hard hours and it's something I would love to do when I'm like married with like seven kids and like you taught 30 
but like well, you are I'm married to and somebody in Utah. <laughs> yeah, but you know that's like she still doesn't have seven gonna, kids, and she's, she's not go, living like, in Utah. In, I'm 30. She's working like, on the kids. Yes. Yeah, n- like later, but like right now I'm like 20, and like I have such a lovely time performing that it's like sometimes I think I was like destined to do porn. Like I just love it so much. Got it. Okay, yeah. um, I have something here from. Allison, you said your relationship is complicated, but it's a three-year relationship. No. Wait, what? <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> wait, hold on. Sorry. Oh, wait. Sorry. You're currently in a relationship, correct? Mm-hmm. How long is the relationship in? Uh, we got together in like May. Oh, May. sorry, sorry. Okay, I mixed I mixed up my notes here. No um, so you've been together for three. Wait, May. May, June, May. July, August, September, four months. <laughs> three to four months. Oh, uh, it <laughs> says here that it's complicated, though. I didn't put that. Oh. I think you're talking about me. I think you're talking about me. Oh, okay. Because remember, I was in, I was messaging you about Allison. Right, but you're single. I'm single. Somebody said something about. It's complicated for me. Yes, yes. No, yeah. Wait, not why, Allison. Why is it complicated? Why is what complicated? The not being in a relationship, or what, what is the context that we used it in? I mean, I could pull up the messages here to confirm what was. Wait, my Instagram on to this? No, I'm just pulling. Oh, it up okay, here. okay. <laughs> I'm like, please don't. Yeah. Uh, let's see. One sec here, guys. I mean, the only thing I think we no wait. This is a better way to phrase it. What did what was the question you asked when we said it was? Are you in a relationship? Are you in a situation? What what what? So it was the pre-show notes. You were talking about your friend Allison. She is conservative and traditional. She is in a relationship that is complicated. Oh. Based on views of what they both want for their future. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, the only thing oh. that's complicated about that is I'm from California, Central Coast. He lives in Jersey. I moved to New Jersey to be with him because I really want to see if this works out. But I know in my gut that I don't want to be in New Jersey forever. Uh, that's what's complicated. So she's struggling to be like, I want to be with this person, but, but I don't want to be in this location. He has a job that is demanding very stable. in that state. Yeah. And it works there. And so she's... But the relationship itself, I mean, it's very it new. Love it so far, except I don't want to be in New Jersey forever, Are the you, long term. So you're just visiting California right now, but you currently live in Jersey? Yes. With him? I don't live with him, no. I, oh. But he lives there. She's, she's visiting Wait, for a week. She's from here. We don't live together. But we, you live in Jersey? I do, currently. Wait, so he asked you to move to Jersey, but you don't live together? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I just moved back to New Jersey. She went, she, she went to school in Jersey. You're from Jersey. They met. They started talking. We're interested in one another. And then she had moved back. Moved back. Based on what was that? Like a, a break? Like a Christmas? Not break. Yeah, 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 yeah. I finished school in December. Yeah. I moved back home okay. to see my family. I stuck around for a while because I was like, what am I doing with my life? Um, yes. Missed him a ton and said I wanted to make this work. So I decided to move back Missing to New Jersey. Missing yet again. I huh? knew that was coming. But that's not a bad thing, right? Like, you can miss someone no, and be... No, it's a great thing for attraction. Yeah, I miss yeah, him. Yeah, I no, miss him a, a lot. Thing. And we was still keep in contact, but it wasn't like an everyday thing. We were not texting every day, every few weeks. And then, um, yeah, missed him, wanted to move back. So, and then but he, you, he, okay, he so you don't want to move to Jersey? I don't love New Jersey. I'm going to... She lives to, in New Jersey right now. But I'm going to try it. What, do you guys live in Camden or something? <laughs> I don't <laughs> no, even know where that no. is. How did you know what that is? <laughs> I, listen, I'm a, I'm a traveled man. I'm a cultured <laughs> man. I know about the shitty that, places. That's where his home is. <laughs> in the United States. Yeah. Um, no, I don't live in a desirable place in New Jersey. What's another shitty place in Jersey? Galloway. There's a lot of them. <laughs> Galloway. Yeah, Galloway is not that great. <laughs> okay. Um, but how are you guys handling this? Like, does he know that you don't want to be in Jersey? He does. I make it like, very hi, clear. I vocalize that all of the time. And what does he say back? He he does not want to stay in New Jersey forever either, but he just scored this job, and he wants to see how it plays no, out. No, he worked for the job. He had a commitment to this job, and he has the commitment to this job. And she, when she went back into moving there, she wasn't sure if she was going to want to live there or not. She now has decided, like, I don't want to be here forever, um, but he is committed to this job. So... But I would say that. he's very receptive. Before, before very I, receptive. He's all, yeah, always has been. Yes. But before I moved back to New, Jer- New Jersey, he he agreed that we would not be there forever. It was a temporary mm-hmm. kind of thing. Do you okay. do you think that you could get to the point where you love him so much that you will stay there? I don't think so. She loves herself more. I think. I can't. My my family. You have to. Lo- you have to take care of it. Yeah. Know? Yeah. She was never going to leave New Jersey. Really? Now she's been oh, in Florida damn, you're for, screwed. And what? Now she's <laughs> been in Florida for a year. 
I was never leaving New Jersey. Never. Like, nothing like could ever convince me to leave New Jersey. And not because I liked it. It's because my family's there. That's the thing. My family's here. But she lives in Florida now with him, is what they're saying. Oh, oh. Yeah, my family's oh, in oh. Jersey. Got it. So maybe, uh, maybe, maybe. Who knows? I, I want to make a, just a, a really quick point about this. Like, and and, and I, you know what? I lost everything coming to Florida. <laughs> I really did. I lost my whole family. I yeah. really did. Nobody Let's knows that. that. Yeah. We'll talk yeah. about that. I don't want to get into Let's that here. Are you done but soon? No, okay. I don't want to get into that What changed here, your mind? Just missing him so like much? Because you guys were together and then you broke up. I don't want to be without him. Okay. So, is it like too personal to talk on? Wait, how how long did I just that take? I actually don't want to give whatever the platform to do that. I'll talk about it on my own pages. Yeah, I understand. I can respect that. What? How long did it take for you to feel like that? Like, what was when you were like, shit, the day that you woke up and you're like, I want to be with him. I'll do whatever. So when we got back together, uh, he was living in Florida at that point. So the only way to see him once we started talking again was to go to Florida. Mm-hmm. So I would buy like, the first time I went, I bought a ticket for like three days. And then I went a couple more times for like maybe a week. And then um, by the third time I was going, I was buying one way tickets and only coming back oh. when I had like a doctor's appointment. And now I live there. And, and again, just to, to make the point about sort of the dynamics, bet- because I was commenting earlier when you were talking about the dynamics between men and women and what makes a good, healthy, attractive relationship especially early on. Bender the offender donated $99. Girl directly opposite of Brian gives off Grand Canyon energy, dry, wide and deep, and not much to look at. Which one? That's that's you. you. But um, Me? <laughs> I'm listening to what you're saying. No. Um, dry, wide and deep, and not much to look at. I don't know. Thank Talk you. Hmm. That's so yeah. unique. What I was gonna say was. Um, there's something to be said. Uh, have you heard, if you've listened to anybody talk in what's considered the red pill space, you've heard them talk about how it's more important that the girl adores the guy more than the reverse. And the reason for that is because there has to be, they're, they're, basically men are working, uh, like women are working from a deficit. We don't know what red pill is. I, I'm, okay. I'm leaning yeah. towards like for, conservative for, Republican. The, the, this, the, the, this, but. No, it's, it, it's mostly like, the truth about the dynamics between men and women. Fresh, okay. and, fresh and fit, you know, there's Tate, there's Rolla Tomasi, there's Rich, there's Rich Cooper, there's all these different guys who, are, who are, are sort of like linked to it. But it's very, very important that the man is the one holding the frame that the woman wants to step into. Women, why you, why you say Do you agree women, with it? This, yes, okay. because again, there's a deficit that men are working from. Men will love girls very, very idealistically because they're very few and far between for men. Women have so many options that they're not always chomp, champing at the bit to just step in and commit to one of them. So women need to adore the man because they're more likely to remain loyal and stick around. That's a huge piece of it. But on top of that, women look for authority, they look for leadership. And a man who is set in his ways, set in his principles, knows what he wants out of life, she will actually be attracted and likely to step into that frame to experience that frame with him. They so don't true. like. They so don't true. like. That's very logical. They don't like Literally when. It, they don't like when it's the other way around. When a girl is the one making all the decisions, doing all the moving around, like she's the one who like wants to work, wants to move, do this, and, and the guy is just following like a puppy dog. What do you want? What do you no. want? Yeah. You, it's very not masculine. Yeah. You want to talk about dry, right? Like that is that is literally it's what happens. It's appalling and it's very mentally tolling. <laughs> Right. It's so, totally so every I don't think that's mentally tolling. I no, think that that's very, that's very that attractive. Like a, a man is like assertive in his way. No, no you're saying it's draining wants. for the girl. Yes. Why? It is very draining for the girl to be the one who is way more above the man, especially. Yeah. I will oh, never. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So 100%. Yeah. 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 I thought you were going to I would up, so yeah. never, ever do that. A lot of my again. clients, um, they, one of the biggest things that they struggle with is how to actually act on a first date. They go into, <laughs> they go into dates so nervous. And they, they, they have all these things in the back of their head, like, oh, I don't want to talk too much. I want to, like, let her speak. I want to, like, ask her a lot of questions. I don't want to, like, make her feel too uncomfortable. Like, this is what's going through most guys' heads. And I have to tell them, you're the one who needs to make the conversation interesting. They want you to drive the conversation. Yeah. They want you yes. to be joking. That's they want hot. you to take risks. They want you Love to maybe say, maybe say something offensive that they're either going to, like, 
jump um, back or I don't know about no all I'm serious because no, no it's true I'm dead serious say something offensive I say offensive things to my man all the time and that's why we wait work this out is so the opposite well. of what wait no 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 geez, no what, no, what I'm saying is you oh. have to say things that could potentially be taken the wrong way so that you can then be like I'm just kidding or like no, yeah just or discuss like, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah, it, yeah it's a joke I agree and then you have to be the one who's willing to break the touch barrier are you going to grab her hand are you going to put your arm around her are you going to just do something like because we're sure as hell are you going to do something just like I'm going to use the bathroom I'll be right back something as simple as that men are the ones who always have to take the lead early in a relationship yes. we're the ones off, we are the ones auditioning first and then the like moment that. that you actually like us we're seeking like that. that we're seeking yeah, that. yeah we and, guess, that. and guess what the moment that i pass that test guess what you start doing hey can i come over and cook us dinner hey uh, do you mind if I, i'm just gonna can clean I up clean the dishes the real quick hey i'm just gonna tidy this up for you you start making the bed when i get out of bed to do the shower you just yeah. fall right yes. into place and I don't mean to be like, I put you in your place. I mean, women will just naturally start that's to like submit. Do you think be. that's bad? No, I think it's amazing. I think that's no, exactly that's how coaches. relationships are designed to be. So I help men pass those tests first date. And how did you It comes even this? to like biological because it's this profession. What'd you well, say? Well, yes, but like, yeah, you went to you went to school for this? Like you got a no. degree? No, you went to Santa Monica Community College. <laughs> I ge- no, I genuinely think you are a very intelligent man. So that's like, you're making very good points. I just wanted to know where you got all this information No, this is from. something, I, I mean, listen, well, like I've been in, I, I, I was in one relationship for four years in my early 20s. Then I dated one other girl for about a year. Mm-hmm. Outside of that, I've been single. I've, I've mentioned this to her before, like, she, she asked me, how do you know so much? I'm like, I've been on a million first dates, very few second dates. I have, like, like the way that I operate in the dating space is I'm so good at passing those early tests and establishing what you guys would consider a good vibe yes. with a girl, <laughs> yeah, right? I understand. That they basically just get to the point where it's like, oh, okay, like now I want to spend more time with mm. him. I want to spend, so I'm the one who has seen girls go through the process of I'm not so sure to I'm obsessed like it's happened time and time again where girls are just app that they're, they're champing at the bit to see me. They're champing so at the bit to text me. Is that so, how you got Billy? Like, she's a good one. But no, she's a good one. And, thank, and, you, and, thank you, FTG. And and once you've been, I'm not saying been around the block in terms of sleeping with girls. I'm saying okay. once you've been around the block in terms of watching the change in emotion and the change of behavior in women, you just start to take note of it. And I've always been a very pensive guy yeah, so say, all so of a sudden observing. guys are coming to me my friends guys in my network saying asking me really silly questions about dating and i'm like how the fuck do you not know this then that's when i started to realize oh i just know more about this than they do i'm able to reverse engineer it and make it repeatable i have a very repeatable process mm-hmm. to being successful early in the dating stage with women and at that point one of my buddies just said dude you got to stop giving the advice away for free so i've been kind of i was sort of an on the side dating coach for a number of years now for probably about 12 to 18 months I've been doing it full time yeah you're one of like one of what about the girl wa- girl boss women though like I'm, I'm not necessarily being one, I'm not one of them but that are very like naturally dominant like run a business have a net worth whatever it might be that makes them more established or on top would you say that you still think that like I'm genuinely curious quick quick yeah. response and then I do have to move on go ahead um yeah, the problem is your dating pool is very small because you're only yeah. going to date guys who can out masculine you. True. With with I those with those like top one percenters. Uh, not even the top one percenters. I just mean the guys who are have a greater degree of masculine dominant energy than you do. Every, so not financially, not anything else. Finances just, could be a part of it, but, okay. but but I think money is a byproduct of a lot of masculine Absolutely. traits. Yes, I would say I'm a little bit Agreed. more dominant, and I want to be the breadwinner. Like I would, Let's go. he can like try to make more money with me, but that's my goal. Like I want to be that girl, but I still want a man who can lead. That doesn't mean he needs to be like the opposite. I want us to be like. I want us to both you're exist so in that space. So you're but not a feminist. You think, so you're not a feminist. But don't and I you like think? That. Don't you think that? If you're the breadwinner, bread it's going to be harder for you to find a guy to fall into the leadership position. I don't know. I don't know exactly like exactly how our dynamic worked out, but it just worked out Wait, where like what? he lets me shine, but he's he's like okay with me taking dominance where I want to take dominance, but he's also like like where do you masculine. Wanna, where do you want to take dominance? What do you mean? Um, not in the bedroom. Can I offer no, a, not in the bedroom. <laughs> can I offer a hypothetical? Not, not in the bedroom. I just so mean like I I feel like I am guy in the bedroom. No, 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 no. That's what we're saying. We don't want. It's yeah. funny they never want it in the bedroom, but they don't want to submit in real life. No, no, no. Yeah. I, I no. That, I don't I do mind not. being I, like, submissive. I'd be, what's your anyway. like? 
Hold, hold on, let's finish with this thread. Go ahead. I think the difference is like, I went to school for four years and I want my master's degree and stuff. And he kind of knows what he wants to do and he's, but he can do that anywhere. So he's like, hey, if you want to mm -hmm. go to this school, your dream school, I will go with you because I can do what I do wherever. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like a pullback. So it's not like he can chase me, but just in that aspect, like he's okay with following me. That's not a dominance thing. I mean, that's, that's yeah. a very logical that's decision very on his part. Logical. Okay, I consider yeah. that as like I'm making wait, some, but, okay, a big decision so for us. You, you, want, is, to, you is, want to be the breadwinner. So what, do we, what kind of line of work do you want to go into? Um, I don't know yet. I might like freelance because right now I like... Freelance what? Um, social media management. I'm thinking of it, but I also work like... That's what I do on the side right now. Yeah. And then I'm going to marketing, but I wish... I, I want a business degree at some point and... Wait, so you want to... Okay, you have your bachelor's. Yes. You're, are you currently in school for your master's? No, but I want to. And your master's would be a business degree or that would be a separate degree than from your master's? It, I would go to business school, yes. And probably get it some... And get a master's in... Probably in something like school. marketing management or something. Okay. Can I offer you a hypothetical? Sure. You're 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 in a, you're working full time. You're also in a master's pro. You're, Not or, yet. That's sorry, the sorry. Sorry. Let let let's say you're working and you're in a master's program, hypothetically mm -hmm. speaking, and your boyfriend is doing exactly the same thing that he's currently doing. He's making money the same way. He's on the same schedule. He's got the same everything. All of a sudden, you are working, you know, similar hours. Then you also have your schoolwork. There are going to be some times where you have to work a little bit overtime. There's going to be times where late at night you're having to do homework, do a lot of reading, and you're looking, and all of a sudden he's the one who needs to keep the place tidy. He's the one who needs to do the cooking. He's the one who needs to do all the cleaning. He's the one Unattractive. who is, he's the one who's chauffeuring you around. He's the one taking time out of his busy schedule to support you. How are you going to view him? Um, I wouldn't view him negatively, but I would also never ask all of that stuff for him because I make sure I have enough time to do a lot of stuff. But what happens? As well. But what happens when all of a sudden the apartment is a little bit untidy? What if you guys aren't having dinner at a, at a nice time? Are you going to look at him and be like, "Hey, I could use your help cooking. Yeah, I, could I could use wear your help down on you. cleaning." I've never had to really ask, but he's never been in the position where he has to like catch up. Like I was very busy during school. Like I was doing a thesis program as an undergrad. Like it was like that where I'm like, I don't even have time to eat, and I'd never had to be like. Hey, could you please cook dinner for once? It was just he was like, here, like here's food. Oh, he, I made dinner oh, already. Did you guys live together? We do now, now as of okay. like a couple months. But this okay. was just we lived across the street. All about compromising. Yeah. I don't want to make and it helping I, each other out. Well, happiness without. Well, I mean, like if Billy's no, working no, hard and you know she had a hard day on, and you're just time, guys, I, one at a time. You're gonna cook her dinner, right? And you're gonna be like out of an act of love. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, so you said it was unattractive, like helping out. Like, is that what you meant? I have a question for you. Well, let's rephrase. I don't know. What did I say unattractive to? I'm not sure. He, he was talking and he was like, oh, like if a guy. Oh, yeah. If it's expected that a, that a male is going to like cook, clean, do all those things. Yeah, that's very unattractive to me. I'd be like, that's, I got that. Even though you were really busy and it was like taking a toll on you mentally. And yeah, you were, yeah. You I would can juggle all of those balls at once. Yeah, I would say it's very unattractive. Like, go do your thing. My point is. Yeah, that and I would also never ask him to do all that because he also has his goals. And I don't think it would get to a place where I'm like, hey, you're doing all the housework and right. I'm doing. Yeah. Like, well, he is still if, doing his own thing. Me, if if you were, but willing, he doesn't mind absolutely. picking up where yeah. Yeah. That's Please, one mic at a time. Go ahead. <laughs> If they're willing to actually put in the work, I think that's great. The guy I'm with now is like, I don't have to ask him to get me food. He literally just is like, okay, I'm going to get you food. He knows I don't want to order because I have anxiety. So he orders for me and I'm not a picky eater. So they, it's all a part is, do you, do you want to accept the help or not? What's funny about that? Yeah. Do you want to accept the help or not? Wait, that's the, the guy, real question. The guy do you want to accept the guy's help or not? It's you food? Yes. Are you the, do you wear I have the, the one of the worst mental health, but I'm not going to let that dominate my entire life. But he can see that I, sh I juggle so much with being so young, being a personal assistant, dropping my entire family behind. And he's just like, oh, you look very like stressed. Let me do this for you. So Thank does being you. her personal assistant stress you out? Is that is that is that the like sole purpose of the stress and mm -hmm. anxiety? No. Or is okay. it? No. I think she no. just I think okay, 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 okay. Let's stick to this. Do you want uh, kids? Um... <laughs> I've thought about that, maybe like one or two, but not yeah. until I'm like well established and I'm at a good point in my career. Like not anytime soon, for sure. Well, uh, so in your late twenties. I'm thinking late twenties, thirty late, maybe, at, maybe uh, okay. at the latest. And you, you said know. maybe one or two. Yeah, I've always wanted one, but he was an only child, so I think we're going to it when we do. Well, yeah, okay, He's against you, an only child. Did you talk about it. Okay. Did you guys talk about it together? I mean, we do just because I know I'm going to marry him. 
Like I, I just do. So like, are you guys engaged it's, or? We're not engaged. No okay, but, yet. but okay, you have you to talk about those things. Make sure really like each other. Page. Um, yeah. So okay, you do <laughs> want kids. When you're pregnant, do you want to be still in the breadwinner role even throughout your pregnancy, I've or would thought you about, like to take some time off? Yeah. I've thought about that a little bit, and like. I don't know exactly how I'll be feeling at the time, but I hope I have, we both have enough saved or I can stay at home, he can keep working. Like, okay. I would like to stay home. Okay, I don't so think I would keep working through my pregnancy and when I have my first kid. I'd get back into my work though, but I do want that like family time is how I imagine it. Okay. I think we'll allow it as long as you don't complain about the wage gap when you come back. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, here, let me get a couple chats and then we'll come back. All right, we have Tariq. Layla is full of lies. Do you want to address oh, that, Layla? He's a stalker. He's a stalker. I'm going to talk about that, sorry. Yeah, He's no. one of my stalkers. Fuck you, Tariq. Suck my dick. <laughs> T- he's a stalker? He's, he's awful. Like, Stop, I don't like, want to talk about that. Is he just like? No, he's like a stalker for real. He's like oh, he's proper like stalker, creepy. not just like a. Sp- he like is obsessed with like figuring out my personal information. Like, Yikes. Yeah. All right. Weird. Awkward. Okay, Tariq. Um, just a viewer, Miss Ninety Pounds didn't hear your name. You being so light gives me self confidence about only being 135 pounds. Thank you for existing, and I wish you <laughs> happiness going forward. Thank you That's so sweet. much. That's I nice. actually love that. I am also 100 pounds, and I get that. Like I've been told, like, have you eaten stuff? So. No, I'm, I'm just I'm dealing with stuff myself. That so yeah. that makes me so happy. Thank you. I assume I I guess this is a guy. I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, let's see. We have Mr. Doodle Doodler. Excuse me. Hey Brian. Thank you for the ki- merci beaucoup for the Canadian fifty. Love the show. Please get Asmund Gold on. I've reached out to Asmund Gold's people. It's we'll see. We'll see. You know he never leaves Texas. He's a he uh, just hangs out there and plays video games, but we'll try. We'll try. No, um, John Stellato. Hey, thank you, man. Brian W. Podcast. Shout out. Souped up ghetto ass car. <laughs> also, I want to slide in the first girl's DMs, but first ask her if she would ever be loyal to a guy and ask what would make them want to be. Thanks. John, thanks for the very early support. Dark times. Souped up ghetto ass car was a early, mm. early Billy Ray two brand. Two years ago. Yeah. Oh, Wait, okay. Is he talking about you guys? Yeah, it was like a videos I used to make about cars. Oh, okay. Oh. She would she would make fun of cars. Yeah. So this is directed to you. Cool. Um, would you ever be loyal to a guy? I would be. I feel like I am sometimes. I am right now. Well, you can't. It's like no, loyal sometimes. Which <laughs> one? <laughs> what does that mean? Both. But what about the husband? I mean, I'm not fucking him. She's physically loyal. She's fucking John Zerka while married to a Mormon <laughs> bishop. And she shoots and porn. You couldn't set it any sex. better. And it's amazing. But you're not loyal to your I husband. I am loyal to his penis right now. You're loyal to John Zerka's penis, but you yeah. have a fucking husband. Okay. She's physically loyal. And also, like, like, and also did you go to work yesterday? She has today? a no. husband. I haven't been working right now because I've been fucking him. And, and he's in, like, he actually doesn't let me know. cheat on him. Like he's very, he's like super red pill. So he's like, when you fuck me, like you're fucking me only. And I think yeah, but so now bad. he's gone for two weeks in Miami and now you can fuck because he's, his proximity is not in LA. Well, because you know he's like he's like super like. Uh, what's the he's like super what's the <laughs> word like um, entertainment and so I know he's gonna go over there and like um, have bitches on him for stream and shit and like he won't fuck them but like you know like if he wants to fuck someone like fuck them like you're always gonna come back to me so it's like so your Mormon husband if he was mm-hmm. watching this and heard everything he probably how, is watching so how does he feel about John Zerka? He's like is he supportive? I mean, is he proud of you? He's not like he's not like oh my god, please fuck my girlfriend. But he's like yeah. you're in your twenties, like get it out now so I can like marry you when you're loyal when you're thirty and I won't like fuck my cool boy. Do you think he's secure god. in god. himself? I know. Oh I've yeah, heard he that word because yeah. he knows so I'm gonna be. Times. He knows yeah. I'm gonna be with him. When that I'm sounds 30. like a man that's very secure in himself. Yo, uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Is he watching right now? What's his name? He's first name. I don't know if he is. His name's Carter. Oh my god, fuck. Wait, I wasn't supposed to say that. Carter. Fuck. Carter the. Mormon bishop. The Mormon <laughs> cuck. Have, <laughs> have, some, have some fucking dignity. Divorce your supposed wife. I promise wife. you if I gave you head right now, you would understand. Bro, no. I promise. You're so, okay, first off, 
Like you Please just stay don't away get from it. my penis, okay? You just don't get stay it. Stay away from my penis. You just don't get it. But, okay, here's what you th- you guys think that like the Gluck Gluck uh, 9000. No, it's you not the Gluck Gluck. Like, I don't give a wait, fuck. Wait, wait, I don't wait, give Brian? a fuck. Yeah, that no, is the most unattractive. I could tell you from any guy that follows me would probably agree with this. That is the most unattractive thing wait, to Wait, girl, a man. I do not wait, go that way. Do. I don't go that way. I'm not like, I'm not trying to fuck you. Stuff. Okay. No, it's the most she unattractive do thing girl. to She doesn't do girl man. content. I don't do girl content. When you flaunt your sexuality <laughs> like that to the Bro. world. The man that is that extremely unattractive. Well, hey, I wasn't trying to make you horny though, so like, you see I'm how not, this like, is dismissive. Okay. This is actually what, what Zerka does. I see why they get along. This is like very like dismissive game. It's a very uh, masculine exactly. thing, actually. Thank you. Okay, I can see why you like sex so much. Do you, do you think like you're the, basically the, a man? Do you think the ultimate? She says thing that. She thinks she's that. a gay man. Like that's, that's like cool. how she would describe herself. Do you do you think that the ultimate thing that men are preoccupied with is the ability with which you can suck their dick? Do you think that's, that's the only thing I care about? Do you think that's I don't what, like care well, too you, much about you? I just want to like have your penis in my throat. Bro, you're weird. Yeah. Okay. It's a pleasure no. thing. It is. No. That's so I'll cook I mean, yeah, for you, too. Thing. It like, is. It is. I'll cook for you. Yeah. Wait, you're saying currently, right now, you want my penis in your mouth. No, not no. yours. You have a fucking boyfriend, Not yours. Bro. What the fuck? Why I are you know. cheating on it John Zerka? <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. Not oh only God. are you cheating on your no. fucking husband, it was for, you just solicited a blowjob. <laughs> what the fuck? It was for an experiment. How it was for an you? experiment to show you to prove a point. What was the experiment? He would understand. Explain the experiment. Proving my point. Scientific method. Proving my point. How am I proving Zerka would point? understand. I would be like, I what had to suck his dick. I had to prove my point. Uh-uh. And he'd be like, valid. I'm still not following. I could not. My sleep point with my was like, if night. would it's like if you if I'd suck your dick, you would understand why. Understand what would I understand after you sucked my dick? You'd be like, damn, no wonder these guys stay with her. That's some crazy head. <laughs> Yes, because not, based on your mindset, it's not it's not giving anyone would stay. But based if the head's not good, I mean, maybe like, be, I don't know. I don't, Yo, oh no, they send the asteroids. Send I don't. I mean, I understand Holy like y'all shit. would probably never be able to understand because I mean like I could never like I, mean, I genuinely if your head, yeah. if your head game's not bad, understand. like that's fine. You guys but, think like, sex is fine, taboo. Like, Some people don't think sex. Is I don't think I don't sex is taboo, sex but I just cannot rationalize with what you're talking about. It genuinely sounds like a fourth group. But it's like. I can't. Not, not, not a personal dick, but I just cannot. It's not taboo. It's, it's just, not on the same wavelength as what I think on fine. at all. Go ahead, when Billy. you make it your whole personality is when it's the problem and when it's really star. extremely unattractive. Dude, I'm literally, I know, but job. even in person, like, as she's talking about it, you, you said it's the only thing you care about. It's the only thing you care yeah, about. Yeah, I mean, like, I love you and, like, whatever. I guess they say chase your passions, right? Can you move your mic that way? Yeah. Um... It might be the only thing she cares about for her dating life, but to be honest, it is. It, she cares about so. She graduated nursing school, like but from you're college answering for. Do you have to say that because you're a sister? No, I don't. That's what her no life revolves around. I just don't care. What you think my about life does not like, revolve around her. If you wanted me to flex on you, like I could. Um, okay. I mean, like, what degree do you have? I'm gonna finish that hmm? statement what? though. Dignity, respect, degree. A husband. I don't degree. Degree. in a Mormon. Wait, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I have degrees. I know, I do too. But which one do you have? Tell me. I have a business degree and a pre-law degree. Okay, I have a nursing degree. And she's only. 20, so we're not any different. Like, so don't I don't act like want a like nursing degree. Oh no, she's very different. No, yeah, yeah. I mean, different. like education-wise, like you know, you're like, oh my god, who? How do you think like that? Is like there's I a difference between like getting the like, education, right? Like we can all cheat our way through classes and be like broads or whatever. Girl, you can't cheat your way through do nursing whatever. school. Pardon me? Nursing school, you cannot cheat your way through it. That well, is you like didn't end up doing course. that, right? No, I did. I had my degree. You said that was for a 30-year-old married cheated. woman, which you're married. I, I had my nursing degree. I became a nurse, and I was like, let me do this okay. when I'm 30. The, let me, let right. me wait for a little bit. Exactly. That's Go ahead. The, 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 also, <laughs> when you sat down, one of the first things you said was to him, do you know John Zerka? And how yeah. many times have you dropped his name here the entire... Is that like, weird? He's my no, boyfriend. No, it's, again, it's like the... Are you have a husband. You have a husband. The only thing you've been flexing is like... She's trolling the husband. Oh, this is your husband? Y'all are married? Dope. Good for y'all. That's awesome. Okay. Wait, am I correct? What's your no, point? No, he's moving. So hold on. Sorry, sorry. Make that's your point. That was Stop. Me. Make your point. They genuinely like how they think we're saying sex is super taboo. I am literally a sex worker and I will not sleep with a guy on the first date and I will need to see their true intentions if they actually want to be with me or not. So they might absolutely Why do you it. help her do what she does? Because she would do anything in the world okay, for let's me. Okay, that. my point. Finish your point. Go ahead. She would do anything, but... Like just because, oh, learn that. just yeah, right. because ahead, other point. people right. love sex, it's I swear, and I'm not even trying to say it in a shitty way. It is a trauma thing. 
I, it, it's a trauma thing. They did not get enough male validation growing up. No, they did not. And they, they. Wait, it's traumatic to not get enough ma male validation. Their father validation. did not was not there, and that is a lot. So why don't you help her get on the right path? Wait, why don't you help her get on the right path then? Who am I if you tell, care am about I her, then help her get on the right wait, path. Open up a foundation you're, you're, to like help men stay in the home. Wait, let's I'm helping a foundation for mental health. I'm not. I'm not here to help like sex workers. I'm here to help people who actually have a mental health that is exploding like she said at the beginning she was fucked up my, which i'm not judging but she said she was fucked up. i tell her but all you're, the time like you're allowing can, this to happen like, in fact you're making it easier she's a grown woman she i don't is think a it's your responsibility and you're the one and you're enabling her daily. i'm her enabling work everything. assistant i take then her to leave. work leave why would hold i leave on. her whoa, whoa whoa we got a chat here hold on uh okay she's a weird troll y'all saying the most outlandish things to piss people off we can see through her like a glass window is the surprise that she's with zirka that's a match made in heaven, or Thank she's you. just a blank. <laughs> Who is Zerka? I want to put out there, first okay. off and foremost, I hope y'all know really that good. just because I work under her, it does not define my life at all. I am a human outside of working for her. If I was, okay, if I, if I was, an, if I was an assassin and you were my assistant, I would go home and sleep at night and wash stop. my face and eat. Yo, stop. Let's not derail Got the conversation. So no principles, Wait, no real morals that you can stand by. If I'm taking her to work, that is how you make money. If she, if she would take me anywhere if I wrecked my car, and she used to, yeah, she would, would. She okay, would let fine, me stand her her personal assistant. Okay, that's cool. Okay. Wait, but can I say something? So, like, this might be a little relevant, but, like, literally, like, Zerka looks just like my dad, and he has the same name and, like, smokes the same cigarettes, and I genuinely think that's why I'm so attracted to him. Because like, he also abuses like, you a little like, bit? Like, verbally in, like, a hot way. Like, you know, he's like, shut the fuck up, you, like, oh, I can't say those words, but, like, you know, like, you bitch, blah, 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 and I'm right. like, Right, oh, because you have like, no standards, but you think really like, low of yourself. He doesn't mean it in, like, that type, you need a type guy that of way. That. He says it for, like, just, like, to be kind of funny. And then like, he'll the buy moment. her, like, $300 worth of food, and then yeah. Yeah. call yeah. her, like, You're the lowest of the low, and you need that to be your reality, so you need a man to remind you of it. Wait, so it's all a joke to him? To him? No, like, saying all those words. No, her whole life is a joke. That's what this is really come down to. You're miserable. You're miserable, Dan. Yeah, we're not roasting. You're miserable. Why? It is. It's a sad Stop, 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 stop. One person speaking at a time. Say your thing, then you guys can respond. Go ahead. Uh, no personal attacks, mister. We already discussed that at the beginning. No personal attacks, and you're over here. Co She's the one literally trying to flex on people. All right? <laughs> you're, you're she that, offered you're me, she did dude. offer a blowjob. It's crazy because okay. the one thing. I'm deeply hurt by <laughs> the blowjob offer. You're hurt? I'm deeply offended. I feel like I'm that's a friendly offended. gesture. <laughs> Just a BJ. Anyways, you're like, miserable. Both of you are miserable. <laughs> like this, but it's Dab me up good. after a VJ dog. I just don't get this whole, like, you wouldn't understand because of my blowjob skills. Like, if I gave you a blowjob, you'd be like, all right. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you. Like, you know? I almost <laughs> want it to happen so that you can disagree. Like, I almost need <laughs> it to happen. Let's all right, it. right here. Let's go. I can duck into the table. Nah, that's, <laughs> I'm a pass on that, but... Uh, you, it's just funny to me. You think like the ultimate thing that's going to motivate a guy to be like, whoa, I, I, I can't get guys, enough. Yeah. Hold on, let me finish. I can't get enough of this, guy, uh, of this girl uh, because she just sucks a dick really well. Like maybe <laughs> yeah. that works for a guy who's sex starved or it's difficult but for I him to get sex. Sorry, but like most addict. guys, <laughs> like sex is cool, but like that's not going to be what makes us want to... It's not okay, enough. No, it's not enough. I, I, I agree. Let me say, I literally, I, I cook for them. I rub their back. I like so hold why them. So why don't you them. say that shit? But I, I mean, I do that, but I'm like, I want to fuck. Like, you know? Oh I'm trying to get in your pants. Like, I'm going to rub your back. I'm going to cook you a meal. And, like, you're going to give me amazing back shots. And we're going to call I, it But night. here's the thing, right? I don't care how good you are in bed, how good you suck dick. If you are a quarrelsome woman, if you bring co conflict into my life, if you don't add yeah. value beyond just the sex that you're yeah. bringing I don't care how fucking good well, you no, are in I mean, bed I'm a good girlfriend and shit but imagine you're like stressed out and like you're just like oh you're dust like oh I'm so stressed and like your girl just gets on her knees and she's like baby come here and you, you know like it's gonna give you a nice like he's gonna think about every other <laughs> dick you're <laughs> sucking it's also short term Can I he's it's gonna not, think about every no, other dick you know, you're, you're sucking you're laughing because you're true like, no it's not you're like, ah. it's really not you're gonna be like thank you so much for that head like I'm much more relaxed actually when I'm stressed out like, you don't want head when you're stressed what about like do you I go on the walk yeah. on the beach and yeah. like Such talk cat. about it. <laughs> if if like I'm every man wants head when they're stressed out, I'm sucking the stress out of you. <laughs> sex, you okay. You're gonna get like hold some on. type of like testicle. Look, sex can't hold on. Stuff is stop. gonna happen. Sex can be a way to get stress relief. However, I, there's certainly other things like that's not gonna be like. 
oh yeah, I'm like going through fucking a court case. Thanks for sucking my <laughs> dick. Like I'm much uh, better. Now. I disagree. I disagree. I feel like oh, like mm. my you know like I'm going through a court case, baby. Just you know like let's talk about this together. Just before like let me just and then like after you have a good conversation. But I promise that conversation is gonna go a lot more relaxed <laughs> after some good night. Dude, I. <laughs> You don't think, you think we would be, we, we would, if we were in an argument, like if we were about to lead up to an argument and then I sucked your dick and then you'd be like, okay, baby, let's talk. You know, let's, let's no. pre, pre-argument, I can <laughs> get behind. She's got a point. I, I have a point, behind, you know, it's true. I can get behind pre-argument sex, okay? Yeah. I can get argument behind sex. This sounds like some Section 8 behavior. <laughs> Confirm or deny, are you on Section 8 or have you ever mean? been on Section I'm 8? I'm so sorry, what does that mean? Uh, government housing. Government No, I, She's actually, familiar. I did. When I got kicked out, section. I got food stamps for a little bit. That was dope. Based. Okay, cool. All right, we have a chat here from Alex. Uh, Bender the Offender, first off. Thank you very much for the TTS. Much appreciated. Oh, Nick, can you go to Twitch really quick? Then I have one super chat to read. Uh, yo, guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub. Uh, uh, Mediocrity, thank for the prime. Maki, thank for the prime. Cross, crossy, thank for the prime. Ramp, thank for the prime. Sings, thank for the prime. Ashy, thank for the prime. Why, uh, Carnivore Wife, thank for the prime. Appreciate it. Guys, drop us a follow on the Prime Sub if you have one. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Okay, we have one chat here from Alex Hard with the Australian 200. Do you want to read it? Go ahead. I'll let yeah, you read yeah. it. Uh, as a father of two boys and a husband to an amazing wife for 10 years, you ladies are so insane. If you were my only choices for dating, I'd put my beef in a blender before I touch any of you. Legend, wow. Brian. Keep up the good work exposing the crazies. Wait, <laughs> also, can, go get some. Wait, can I read it? Can we have a difference of like the way I would read yes. that? Uh, for the next chat, we can do okay, it. Yo, okay, wait. Alex Heard. Damn it, no, it was that one. <laughs> well, we got another one here. Alex Heard, thank you very much for the... Uh, Australian 200. Where are you from, man? Perth, New South Wales. The what are the other? uh, Perth, New South. I don't know. Uh, Gold Coast. I don't know. Okay, thank you, man. Appreciate it. Queensland. Okay, we have Chico Papa here with the 50. Go ahead if you want to read it. No, no, no. I was just gonna compare the way she would read that one, and this is about her, and I don't want to read it. So I don't want to. I don't want to read that. All right. I'm taking requests. Depends on who you are. Layla, are you taking open recs on that sure. BJ? Ladies, Ladies, one by one, how do you season a cast iron? Ooh. She Let me tell uh, you. <laughs> three course meal from scratch, Wait, what? no assistance. Any, can that? you make? How so do you lemon season? Lemon pepper, garlic, yeah. butter. No, it's not seasoned. Mm. What's your go to meal that you cook? Pasta. Soup. Eros con leche. What? Eros con leche. Ooh. That's it, That's I swear. Okay. okay. It's like our like favorite like guilty pleasure meals. Like, I know like crock pots have a bad rep. Put some chicken in the crock pot and so then buffalo good. mozzarella. That's amazing. And you Tank. make <laughs> buffalo mozzarella tacos, and it's like oh, fast good. food, but like better and at home. You're gonna be such a good mom. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You're gonna be a lovely mom. That's beautiful. I'm a potato girly. I'll make some mashed potatoes, veggies, steak, the whole thing. Dope. Chicken and salad. You want me to answer? We make a lot of things. Yeah, let me go down the list. Um, <laughs> a homemade, a homemade Mongolian beef. That's your favorite. That's my, that's my favorite one that she cooks. The uh, chicken one was good last week. Uh, she makes an, a delicious chicken piccata. Oh, she God. makes she she makes an amazing shakshuka for breakfast. Give us a cooking show. Um, shakshuka. Yeah, okay. she does. No, you make that. I've made it before. Um, she makes the best meatballs in history. Um, passed down I'll recipe take, that I'll she, that she has that. mastered. She makes an amazing chicken marsala. She makes amazing Italian food. Uh, she makes uh, okay, homemade chicken lettuce you're wraps. Going. This Based. sounds good. You're making yeah. me hungry. Like, yeah, yeah, she's, uh, a lovely couple. Yeah, she knows her way around a kitchen. All right, there you have it, And folks. we do have a cast iron. And she uh-huh. knows how to season it. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody, for your uh, soup chats and things there. Okay, so uh, question for you, Rachel, right? That's me. Okay, yeah. so Uh-oh. you know Raw Raw. Oh man! Because you messaged, I do. you messaged no, I do. us, I and you're like, I do. "I do, I know her from high school." Um, yeah. Should I just start talking, or do you have something you want to ask about it? Well, I mean, you you mentioned it in your pre-show messages to us. That's kind of how I guess you, I suppose, yeah, you so discovered the show. Okay, so Ra Ra, this was like, t- yeah. Wait, give them all the the, three, yeah, the like, Basically, right it was three or four shows ago. I love um, Ra Ra. Me too. But we're gonna get there. Hold on. <laughs> just had to put that out there. Uh, sh- she was being pretty rude during the show, so me and her got into a little, uh, little argument. Tiff. Let's just say. Um, but did you have? Do you okay, like her? Yeah. You dislike her? What? Okay, so I love the shit out of her. Shout out if she's watching. I'm sure she's Haram. not. But um, 
disavow, strongly disavow. <laughs> and that's okay. I can respect that. Um, yeah, so she is one of my, like, I would, I would honestly call her sister more than a best friend because we don't talk as much anymore. But in high school, um, we played on oh, the same. are you a plant? Pardon me? Are you a plant she sent you? Plant? I, no, no. Okay. No, she's going to be, she's going to shit her pants when she sees this. But anyways, um, no, 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 no. We'll get into this. So, um, I'm sorry, I'm not near the mic. Um, no, so I knew her in high school. We were best friends in high school. She um, played on the same soccer team as me. Am I close enough? And um, that's why I met her on the same club soccer team. We were friends. We would hang out. We would go to concerts together. Okay, um, I... Do you is, want? Do you is, want it? Do you is, want the deeper shit about the show? Is there anything interesting? Or? Yes. No. I think that I, I do. I do have Congrats, some shit you to say. Congrats. soccer with her. <laughs> ah, is that supposed to be rude? I care. It's don't just worry. like I okay. We don't we need want the background. like. If, well, wait. But if you want, if I'm gonna talk on it and speak on it on, but on is, this, is like, there, I'm gonna give the background. Arriving? I am arriving. Okay, I'm you, right, you I'm arriving. High school, so she was a normal girl, and then. Okay, so at least you're picking up what I'm putting down. But also, um, I don't have any disrespect towards her, but on the show, we were actually, we were discussing this before. If you want to hop in on this, that's fine. Um, but I think what, so what you're asking me, like, about the show, and I think I said to you, like, I have a different perspective, so I think it would be funny if, like, we could um, discuss that on the show. A different perspective. Yeah, so, like, I'm not a porn star. I oh, don't okay, believe okay, that, okay. like, being a porn star is any, like, logical job I'm so sorry, but ladies. Not, I have not, respect for you. Don't be sorry. sorry. But I, it's honestly yeah. not. It's not I can something agree, to be sorry but, like, about. Okay, about. but I, that's my opinion. I think yeah. you guys are out of your fucking mind, but I know that you're women and you're doing whatever you need to do. Oh, I'm going to go back to that. No, that's valid. Do you have a no, response? That's, that's totally valid. I am out of my fucking mind, but my bank account is better than yours. So, <laughs> And that's also, probably a fact. I'm only <laughs> doing this. It's so so probably a fact, but, it, but like, so valid, is know? that what it comes like, down you know? to, though? Because I'm like, my kids are going to see my pussy perform. on the internet one day. I have an amazing vagina. I'm never going to have to say that. I don't. That literally so means nothing to me. Congratulations for your amazing vagina. What's up? I can truly say I'm only doing this until I'm probably about 21 and I'm going right back to Twin Peaks or Hooters. I absolutely love... Twin Peaks what? Twin Peaks is a sports bar. I used to work at a sports bar. Two sports bars. Is that your professional this is left I love talking to Twin people Peaks and telling, like talking around a bunch of girls. I, li I like that uniform too. It makes my, my body confidence go up. Being so small and working at Hooters in Twin Peaks, you really don't expect that from me whatsoever. Oh, the Hooters at Twin Peaks? No, Hooters and Twin Peaks are both really big sports bars. Uh -huh. They're two different ones, but Twin Peaks is just more high class than Hooters. Okay. They don't See, wear spandex. That's they kind of what shorts. I don't get is the girls that like get into it kind of. That's how I got into like, OnlyFans. Not really. that I'm encouraging it, but if you're going to do fucking porn and OnlyFans, you might as well, like if you're going to cross that threshold, you might as well do it the whole way. be a fucking, you can't be half a gangster. Come like on, you have God. to be. Do it the whole way. Do that not, anal scene. No, 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 no. I'm not saying that, but at least like. If you're gonna fucking cross that threshold, make sure you make a fuck ton of money. Don't oh, do yeah, this I'm shit. Jessa Rhodes. We're talking oh, Jessa Rhodes. Oh, Jessa Rhodes. You're like team, half ass in it. My and team you make hasn't launched me. Bucks. And What's I up? have my team hasn't even launched me. And I've Your only team? been yeah, I have a whole management like team. Okay. They haven't even launched me. My launch is tomorrow. Uh, and I have already made it nearly into the top five percent in five days. What is that? Days. The top five percent. You're out of a hundred. It's all about mean? money. It it's all about how much why. money you've made. It doesn't mean much. It when doesn't mean much. Like point, that just means you've made a lot of money. And if you can do that in five days without any management. But doesn't doesn't like with all these girls that claim top one percent OnlyFans? They have management, that, and they're no, all no, 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 AI no, no, bots like I am. Doesn't that include AI every single stop? Stop, please. Let me finish my. Okay. When we're talking about the percentages on OnlyFans, doesn't that include? Like normal people that just have an account that mm -mm. they're. No. Mm -mm. It does. It's all about money. No, it doesn't. No, it it only, does not. It's only the money. You no, will not see it go up yeah. unless you. You the will creators? not see it go down. Ryan, you're how much, right how much on money this. you get? It's I'm like pretty sure the top five percent. No, it does not. It's, it's all about the money. Your it's subscription really the goes point. towards Someone the money. Put it to no, you're right. Everyone you're right. She's completely right on that. It's I'm like in the top like point like one. Look, I used to play. I used to play Hearthstone. Do you guys know Hearthstone? I played Hearthstone. It's you know Blizzard Entertainment, and I was like. In order to get to the top five percent, you only need to make it to like rank five or ten, that's, that's true. which is like yeah. poverty shit. Like I hit legend in Hearthstone. Like I'm a fucking legend in like legendary ranking in Hearthstone. What's Hearthstone? That's that puts me in like the top zero point zero 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 one percent of players. Like when I used to play that shit. I don't like talking about my financials. So like, I don't like bragging up? about it because money does not mean shit to me. I used to play Warlock. I'm only doing this to have that is so cute. I'm like. I used to live in a car. I played Warlock I, I want a and Pirate life. Warrior. Pirate did, Warrior was like do. pretty good. I played what I need to do. That's cool. Yeah, it is. Okay. Um, well, 
I don't know where we were. I don't either. We're talking about Rara. I don't know where we're. Rara. Like our. Yeah, we're talking about Rara. Yeah, the tea. What was the tea? Um, here, moving on. So, uh, you are a part-time sugar baby. Really? Okay, so wait, I, I, we've got it. We've got to, we've got to get this down. What, what does sugar baby mean before we talk about it? Like getting You're money. Us? Platonic, or were you platonic, or was it an you actual can be like? No, by by sexual. definition, like let's talk getting by definition. Getting money. Getting money. Getting money for what? Getting, getting money, money for men. men. That's it. I would say I'm a sugar oh. baby. Okay. That's it. Yes. It can be platonic, which means line. non-sexual, no, no, no connection. The, no, sugar baby. Everyone's blurred the lines yeah, between no. prostitution it does not mean sex. No. and sh- and you can and, be a prostitute and, and be a sugar baby. Pardon? You can be a prostitute and be a sugar baby, but you can right. Be but let's say society has blurred, blurred the lines of what that means. Yeah, but you can be a sugar yes. baby without being a prostitute. Right. So, are you? Have you ever been a sugar baby before porn? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And, so and did you did you prostitute yourself? I'll tell you. Um. No, I didn't have sex with them. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cool. So but I would hang out with them. I genuinely like older men, though. So it was like it was like nice for me. You didn't like what? I genuinely like older men. So it was like nice for me. I liked it. I like older men too. I also yeah. like men. So this is a fetish where men like to take care of younger girls with financially. I think yeah. it's okay. Crazy. So it's so I could agree. Yeah. Like that that would naturally be when I heard about that when I was younger. Yes, I absolutely agree. And I also blurred the line between like prostitution and receiving money but i'm going to tell you right now this is why this is why that was something i brought up i think it's very um like porn has fucked up society only fans has fucked up society a lot i'm so sorry mm-hmm. ladies good, I'm, I'm not actually sorry but i, I do apologize hasn't i don't want to be rude sh- to you being rude, it's but, bad. stop apologizing yes but this has too but i agree so but i had a conversation with someone and they were like so you're a sugar baby and i'm like well am i and i look it up i'm like okay so a sugar baby i do i have and I currently do receive income from a male, one person, who genuinely, um, we're friends, um, we've been friends, we've known each other for, I'd say, five years. Um, and he gives me money, at, not in exchange for any sexual act, anything in between. Um, but I do, I do talk to him, I ask him about how to become more of an entrepreneur, how to grow my business, how to do ABC. And so I wanna know like everyone's opinion on what a sugar baby looks like, because by yeah. definition, that would be me. Yeah, you yeah, are That would be me, but, but, technically. But, but hang on, are you, are you paying him for entrepreneurial advice as a consultant, or are you simply accepting his gifts he's giving you the money right well i mean fuck yeah it's all so, so you're, so you're not paying so you're not paying him no, you're, you're, no but it's the same way like let's that they have you have to talk here that's the relationship that they have like, yes, still take yes. Advice from them. it would it's be the same like, it would be the same way essentially like my father could be that figure and and let's say i was 25 and my dad still wanted to offer me money and that's obviously not what's going on but it would be the same thing why do you think he's doing it um, because he cares about me. We have a genuine relationship. I've learned a lot from him. Um, I'm grateful for him. It's a, it's mutually beneficial in no sexual orientation or anything like that. Hold on. Before, before I have you respond to that, I want to just go around the table on this. And we, Please, we will, no, yeah, we no. will uh, focus a little m- more on the sugar baby, sugar daddy thing. Um, I want to get everyone in on this. So have you ever had, going around the table here, uh, sugar daddy or had some sort of arrangement and have you been on there's a website called seeking i guess it used to be called seeking arrangement have you have you used the website have you ever had a sugar daddy what if you did what was the arrangement that you had i did like i said like i said when i was in nursing school like i had to stop doing my shifts and i did like only fans but i mainly did seeking arrangements and like these guys like where I'm from, like, rent was, like, $500 a month. So, like, when I would hang out with them, like, they would go get coffee with me or something and give me, like, $300. And just, like, and I don't know. They just, like, genuinely enjoyed. A lot of them were divorced and just, like, wanted a pretty girl to, like, act like they're into them. And, yeah, they would just what? pay me for dates. But and I wouldn't fuck them. You just, like, kind of I spend would time. fuck them, like, if I got to know them. Like, I thought from, they were hot. You would fuck them for money? Like, I mean, if, if I fucked them and, like, they threw me some hundreds, I'd be like, whatever. But, like... I would think I like actually like older men, so like I w- I didn't fuck them. I didn't fuck any of them, but like there is a few of them that like were low key kind of hot, but they okay. didn't want a relationship like that. They just wanted to. They just wanted to take me out. Okay, and, like, feel so nice, I guess your base rate for like a Starbucks date would be three hundred. Um, they would like very honestly like I was down for like to go like I wouldn't say base rate, but like, like usually a, they a would 20? pay. 
No, not, not a too, 20. Okay. Not, not um, <laughs> no, but they usually would pay me around like 300 Around th- is like average. Usually, yeah. You can say it's 300. Like I know like, but here I know they would pay like so much more. But oh, like, this was back in Texas? Yeah. Okay. In like a small Are town. You still so it was kind of nice. No, I don't do it anymore. Reason, I don't need okay. to. Um, what's the most you've ever been paid for like a one-time One time one guy paid beer. me 2K just to like watch movies with him all day. No physical contact? No, no, we would like, we were like cuddling, but we weren't Kissing? fucking. No. Okay. 2000 to just, okay. Um, and this was before you started doing OF, correct? Yeah. This no, was no, no, no. I was doing OF during this, but okay. I, it wasn't like pop in. I was just doing it for like Brennan. And this was at 18 or 19? What age This were was you? like 19 ish, 18 ish. Maybe late 18. But were, did you start getting sugar daddies prior to doing OF? No, it was kind of around the same time. Same time, okay. Yeah, I think I started OF like the day I turned 18, so like... And so you had a couple 300 dates. Did you have any repeat customers? Yeah, of course. They would take me to lunch like every week. Like, yeah. Okay, so if... What's the most in total that you would say one guy spent on you? Oh, God. I don't even know. Um, I don't even know. Like, uh, I don't even know. I don't even know. If you had to estimate... I mean... 5,000, 10,000, more than 10,000? Well, okay, repeat. I would get kind of bored. So I would say, like, maybe 5,000 for one guy. I think I hung out with him, like, six or seven times. And you were... Did you have multiple sugar daddies at once? Yeah. What was the most amount of sugar daddies that you had at one time? I mean, I would just kind of go, like, eat lunch with whoever wanted to go, like, hang out with me. So, like, maybe at the... Like, in one week, like, I think I hung out with, like, th- three at the most, like, a week, if three. I, like, really, like, had time. What, uh, if you had to total up everything from the multiple different sugar daddies oh, that you God. saw in a month, how much are we, um, how much do you think you, you were making from the sugar daddies? I would say, I, once I got to, like, once I got to, like, four grand, like, I would stop, because I was in nursing school, so all I cared about was, like, rent and, like, paying for, like, stuff for my dogs, and, like, that was it. Mm-hmm. So I, I didn't really need to go overboard. Like, I just wanted to, like, so pay you were, for rent and, you like, were go to school. making, f- you said like 4, four grand, yeah. from your various different... Just from, like, that, yeah. Okay. It wasn't too hard to make. If you had wanted to make more without, without doing anything physical, but if you amped up how many times you would go get dinner or go I get coffee... I think I can make as much as I want. Do you, do you think you can make more than 10... Th- you could yeah. have made more than 10,000? yeah. And For then sure. that was in Texas. You're saying here in California you can make. I, would, what, I can make that? more, but I make more doing what I do now. So like, there's no like the, a need. Yeah, yeah. Right, sure. But okay. I mean, if I wanted to, like, I would. Okay. Um, if I didn't, I don't know. Would you get gifts too, or just? Yeah, they, they would just give, give me money? gifts. But actually, I get way more gifts now than I did when I had sugar daddy. You get gifts. Yeah, from like just like your Amazon wish list or? stuff like oh, okay. that. Yeah. Sure. Uh, Bangs, what about you? Um, I've never had a sugar daddy. I've never been on seeking arrangements. Okay. But I might look into it now. <laughs> you should. <laughs> you I think I should. Any guys in Santa Barbara area. But you told us out. a story one time about like you were on your way here and then the guys offered to pay your gas. Oh money. yeah. Do you have any other stories like that where just like random stranger, here you go, here's a favor, here's uh, some money yeah. type of thing? Yeah. Like if I'm like at the give us give us an, one or two a- anecdotes on that. Um, like if I'm at the farmers market and then I see some pretty flowers or something, and the guy will be like, "Oh, just keep it." Oh, and then actually when oh, I was the guy ba- who works there, yeah, That's okay. Sweet. Or when I was babysitting, I would always go into this one burrito. Simp. Okay. I would always go into Not this you, one burrito guy. place, and I would always have the kids in the stroller, and they'd be like, "Oh, is are these your kids?" And I'd be like, "No, I'm just the babysitter." And they'd be like, "Oh, well, you're the most beautiful babysitter I've ever Aww. seen." And then they would give me free burritos. And then they would give candy to the kids that I was taking care of. So, yeah. I've gotten a lot of sweet gestures. That's just a I always nice guy. I feel like I yeah. I feel like I radiate really good energy when I'm out in public. So people so people like naturally att- like come to me and it's really so weird energy. because I feel I feel like I almost manifest it. Like that Chat, one time thoughts on Banks' energy. That one time when um <laughs> what's it called? When I when the guy paid for my gas and like asked me to hang out all with him up. and his, put all the ways um, his nephew, I was like, oh, that would be so funny if like something like that kind of happened. Not like if they like paid for my gas, but I was kind of thinking that before I like even went there. I was like, oh, it'd be nice if somebody paid for my gas, and it ended up happening. That's awesome. So I feel wow. like I, ma- I mani- yeah, I feel secret. like I manifested it. That's huh? Some good energy. What's what's that called? There's the secret. There's like it's bullshit, but um, 
the uh, manifesting. The law of manifestation. Yeah, the art the of attraction, attraction or the law yeah. of attraction. Yeah, that's bullshit. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, there's some like, okay, then, well, there. It's not like you're putting out things into the universe and like the universe is rewarding you. you I don't think say that. that. I think I think it has more to do with like your mindset. Yeah, it's a mindset. If you have a positive affectation, that's gonna manifest itself in ways that are sure. beneficial to you. Like if you just, anyways. Um, so you have a, you said you had a good positive disposition is that what you said yeah i feel like i when i'm like out in public like i feel like i'm always smiling i'm always like mm. happy i'm like making conversations with people is it was earlier you said you're she's against men you're against when did i say that earlier in the conversation you're like yeah i'm kind of against men right now (laughs) watch it back i I remember you saying (laughs) i remember saying it i remember saying it why i've just been dealing with some sassy men lately recently okay we'll come back to that later okay so no seeking what about you any seeking sugar daddies oh yeah i actually have like were you on seeking yeah so basically um it was actually the time of my life and not too long ago i was on seeking arrangements with her and we were in texas and when i tell you all i did was go on seeking arrangements and ask them to facetime me for two minutes i got my entire trip to from my hometown to Dallas to Austin to San Antonio back to Austin and then San Marcos for a party back up to Dallas for a photo shoot and back to our hometown. That was a two Ooh, week trip. That was a solid completely sentence covered. you put together there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm a very well spoken woman. But, anyways, um, I got that entire trip paid for and all I did was FaceTime and like, be like, hi, how are you doing? And then they, they're all from LA too, which was crazy. I didn't ever expect to be living out here. Wait, but so you say you do two minute, hold on, I'll come Tariq back to this. Tariq I donated $100. Layla Yo, got Tariq, 6K thank you, man. from her stalker. But she's a layer, I am not a stalker. She's not, she bro, has no she feelings, left. And she has issues. I was her sweet guy, but then she started telling me that I am a stalker because I knew things about her. She shared them on her line. No, she didn't. You found out her government name, and you also found out her address without it being known, and you send us personal gifts, and then you try to find it out through my OnlyFans. So if you could kindly stop, it would be well appreciated. I blocked you, and she did too. Thank you. Keep donating money, but Thank t- you, though. don't talk. <laughs> Just okay. stop talking about her. Just, Thank you. Yeah. Also, you like if if you like, how did you find out her government name? If you are a like sixty-year-old okay, man. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, okay, so uh, you said you do these two-minute FaceTimes. Yeah, I would, and I would hang, hang up fast, but they would have to pay me for like a certain amount of time, and then I'd be like, oh, sorry, I got to do this, and we'd be in the Airbnb already, and then we'd find another Airbnb. Like it was honestly really, really fun. Well, how much would you get paid for the two-minute? About like five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars for two minute phone call. These are men that like really like men that lived in very very big houses. They would try to flaunt it and they would show their closets. Like I oh, cared. Like calls. I don't care about what you do. Like I just wanted to get that trip paid for. Cause at the time okay. I was I was young. Um. So okay, you did the two minute phone calls for five hundred dollars. Did you do any like in person? Oh no, I nothing never. in person. Never. Even just like how she was doing. Like it was there wasn't any hooking up. It was Mm-mm. just. No, if, I wouldn't. I would wouldn't. you send pictures? No. Would they ask for pictures? Send me feet pics, it's, that kind of weird I'm just shit. a very platonic person. No offense, guys, with the foot fetishes. Yeah, if you don't... If you don't <laughs> make, uh, no, I am, I'm a very platonic person. I can keep it that way. I'm very good at making intellectual conversations, and some men actually like that. What's the... Okay, so um, s- kind of my similar line of questioning to her. Uh, how many... Uh, what's the most that one guy paid you total? Like you, I'm sure you had a regular. Like two. No, I've gotten two thousand from one total oh, from good. everything that whole trip. Yeah. Like that bad. one man that. Yeah. Paid so for there was the a one. Wait. So there was a one-time two thousand dollar payment. Mm, it was like over the span of. Okay. The couple days, and he would just keep sending it. And so the most, it. the most any one guy oh, most, in total has ever yeah, spent. Yeah, it would be a thousand. Two thousand. One thousand. One thousands, plural? No, just one thousand. One thousand dollars. You mean at one At time. one time. No, I know, yes. but I'm asking like total. Is there a guy who spent total ten thousand, for example? Oh, Jesus, no. And I wouldn't accept that. I don't need that help. You I would go really? get a job. A I worked at like, Sonic for two years. I worked at a nursing home as a dishwasher <laughs> for Wait, six so months. Wait, so if a guy, hold on, just to be clear. So you don't have any problem asking for five hundred dollars for two minutes to have a FaceTime. But if a guy was like, I just want to give you 10K, you'd turn it down? Well, first of all, where are you getting that money? 
Second of all, where like what 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 are did you I do for that? Are you doing a background check on where like, every <laughs> single dollar comes from? You don't know how like bad money laundering can get though, especially oh, if no, you live I in do. a ghetto city, like a very 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 ghetto city. So what if it was only a two dollar donation? Clearly, it wasn't laundered. No, clearly not. I, they're not going to spend there's the two dollars that they just stole from somebody yeah, on me. Okay, so if it's too much, there's a. A concern about money. Laundering. You don't take it after a certain amount because you feel bad at that point. I do. I, I, I still don't, I don't even ask my family for money. I can't even ask I her for gas know. money, yeah. even though I, I drive her everywhere. Yeah. And I'm like, um, do you, do you think I could like, and she's like, I'll just don't, like, stop asking me. Just I'll okay. send it to you. All right. Um, and how many sugar daddies did you have at one time? Um, two. That's the most. Really? Okay. What about you? No. And you see, were you on Seeking? Has no. a guy ever just like I hate DM'd to be boring, you? but like, no. That's no, okay. It's, that's fine. No. It's not boring. Please. It's very respectable. Please, for the love <laughs> of amazing. Jesus, Lord. It's not boring. Be I wish boring I could have been boring relative like to this. <laughs> I, I never have. I haven't really had the thought. Has a guy ever simped for you? How about that? <laughs> yes. Define like, what do you mean? Like. Maybe one of these first dates where you're kind of on the fence about the guy and he takes you to like, go get really expensive sushi or some shit like that. Spends a lot of money on the first date. No, honestly, but I think it's also because, like, I don't know. I started dating is Jared Nicola when I was very young, Bolt? so. <laughs> is Nick a little It wasn't like Terry the Paul age we were taking each other dates. Her Amazon wish list had oh, her yeah, real my... name. I told her to change it. Her address went live and they showed her apartment complex while she was her. drunk. I asked her before I sent a personal gift on her of unless she was not the person who responded to her of. Our apartment complex actually doesn't have the name of it yeah, on it, which is crazy. Okay, all right, there you have it. Um, kind of getting a little sussed out by it. Yeah. I told you. Yeah. Um, no sugar daddies. Yeah. I didn't even know of that website. No, I haven't had anything like that. Have you ever had a guy simp for you? I mean, yeah, like take me out to dinner and stuff, but like I've never, they've never given me money or gifts, like anything expensive. No. Any gift worth having? No, I'm kidding. Mm. Boring. <laughs> me? What are we, what are no, we at? Billy Ray. Oh. Oh, you didn't answer? Well, the, the whole thing's about the... her. Right. About me? Wait. The sugar baby. The whole sugar baby. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So oh, okay. Um, yeah, but I have a very definitive line. I, I, I think it's very misconstrued. But. So, but did uh, he was just asking all the girls about their experiences like there's, with it? How much? Uh, so you're okay. You would meet them in person or like? Yeah, I met him them? strictly through business. Strictly. And there's business. no sexual anything involved. It's literally a man. Yes, he is older than me. Yes, he owns a company, and gives me advice on business on when I'm having a bad day if we chat it's almost like an uncle and that that still supports That's me awesome. just in some ways financially it's not all the time it's not because I put out it's not because I wow. do anything it's Got genuinely a a, He's a good guy Wait, so a couple questions call on that. that. Sugar then. But by definition, that is a sugar baby. Yeah, yeah. by definition, it is. I just think Don't. he's a very good guy. I'm too. still confused. Is it just a nice guy who you met who then decided he'd like to help you out with things, and when you show up, he pays for things? Or is this a stated, official? sugar daddy sugar baby relationship I, I see i don't know because by definition essentially it would be sugar baby if you look online it would be but it's someone that i met through business and i've conversed with them i've talked to them we built a relationship and eventually they're like i would like to help you um like chase your dreams or do the things that you want to do um or get these experience for like um he paid if for a seminar for me that i was like this would be something that would be beneficial for me and work if okay you decided quick quick not, point it wasn't arranged nobody planned it if you decided to not have these very intellectual conversations with you or, or if you, with him and you decided to not be there as much for him, would he still be offering this money? If I decided not to Not have to be as close. Him? Not to be as mm, close. I don't know because that would be dependent on the relationship and that's so not how the relationship is. Like or, or it, friendship, essentially. It's just like a platonic relationship then. It's not really sugar babying at that point. He's a really good guy. By definition, it yeah. is. But I don't think I'm okay, doing any... Look, I think it's... I the think definition, it's if it's a... If, I don't think trying to categorize whether you're a sugar baby or not is really the ultimate thing. Yeah. Ultimate, what is it? What well, is it? Ultimately, <laughs> you you have a guy who's paying you money. Yes. Um, how long have you known him for? How long has he been paying you money? Oh, uh, it's got to be 
four and a half years now? 4.5 years. And is it like... Well, it's not. Let's give or take. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is he... And his payments have been like, what, monthly or... No. No. Just, just um, here and there. Just here and there. Yeah. D d dependent on where I'm at, where I'm at, and what I need, and what he thinks I need. That's sweet. He, so, he's, like, he's literally like a father, but isn't related to me in any way. And okay. looks out for me, makes sure I'm okay, and says, if you need money, here's, here's money. Here's a question. Um, yeah. From the moment that you met him, how soon after meeting him did he start paying you money? Um, Is it immediately? Like nine months. Mm. Nine months. That's crazy. So for that first month period, what was the context of the... Friendship? Association. Um, I ask him all the questions. This person owns a business that I won't <laughs> name, but okay. um, a very successful business. Sure. And I... Um, I went to school for business, so I would ask him questions. I would ask him um, all sorts of things about business and what I should do, what I could do, okay. his past experiences. And this person was kind enough to take me under his wing and help me. Does it occur to you that he has any romantic interest in you? Is it possible? <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that, like, I think. Has he expressed that, any? Yes, a lot of that. I would no. He has not expressed it, but I'm gonna. I mean, I don't think he looks at me and if is you like, gave "Ew." The opportunity, he would probably take it up. Mm, I, but I, yeah, but I think he knows where like I stand, yeah. and so, I have the boundaries yeah. that I'm like, but it's not gonna work. Be like, Are you sure? You're it's double like, my age. If, if you're gonna speak, you gotta do it into the mic. Um, so okay, you've known him for 4.5 years. Mm -hmm. It started out as friends. He, from time to time. Have you ever requested money? Mm, what does request look like? Let's be real. I don't hey, know. Hey, can you spot me 300? No. So every time he just... No. He's no. just like... So, okay, just to... So, so... He's paid you multiple times. Yes, oh, yes. So he's just like, hey, can I give you money? No. Not at all. Go ahead. Was so, it more like... You, there has to be an exchange of... I'll let you come in here in just a sec, Billy. There ha you have to give him your though. your Venmo. Your has he pay you cash app Venmo? Zal direct deposit. Pay, okay, so somehow <laughs> that conversation had to uh, transpire. Yeah, so that doesn't just well, magically. Let her go, and then, and then we'll clear. A this couple up. things. It, it was probably if I could, if I'm guessing correctly, it was probably along the lines of you were saying that maybe you were going through a time where you were struggling a bit, and he offered to help. Was it an offering to help based no, on your situation? Literally, no. Literally, well, let's let's be clear. So financially struggling, no. But um, with okay, if we rewind, my parents got divorced. I was in college. I moved to online college just because I could then be there um, physically, emotionally to support my mom and. And um, he, he was kind of there through that time. And then I was like, I have dreams, like I have goals. I was in, I went to the University of Hawaii. I was going to school, I moved back. Parents got divorced. I moved um, from LA back there to help my mom out um, and be of support. And then he was, you know, I was like, well, I can't do ABC anymore. Um, not because I was financially struggling. I mean, it's always been fine. But he was just like, well, can I do this for you? And I'm like, absolutely. Like you were saying, if someone's going to offer you 500 versus 10 grand, I'm going to take the five or the 10. Like, I'm not going to say so. no. So what is his situation like? Does he have, like, family, kids? What is his? And um, he has a business. And I don't want to speak on that because I feel like it okay. could. Here, okay. I, got, I have a couple yeah. more questions. When he does pay you, when he does pay you, typically, how much does he pay you? V various range. Depends. Do you want to know like the least and the most? Sure. So like 200 to like four grand at once. Okay. Um, if you had to estimate, I don't know if you keep track of this, how much total has he paid you? <laughs> I, I don't know. All right. well, More I mean, than I would keep track of at this point. Um, how much has he paid you this year? I don't want to answer it. Sorry. But, a, but a, a good amount, 10, a good amount of money. 10,000, more than, okay. Do you more think, than 10 grand, for sure. This year? This year. Do you, okay, total, do you think it's more than 100,000? No, no chance. Do you think it's between 50 and 100,000? You're really going to work at no, this. No, I'm, huh? I'm not going to. Okay, devil's, ad, devil's well, advocate here. Well, do you think it's in that range? I'm going to stop there. That's all I have to say. I'm, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say anything else. But this year it's more than 10,000, correct? Yes. Okay, so. <clears throat> We can, okay, you've known him for four point, let's say it's over 50,000. Let's just say that. I'm just gonna assume that. <laughs> Why would that. we say can I that? say something? Yes, please. So typically what I see with men, um, 
And how old is he roughly? Like you know. I also know. don't want to say that it's not fair. Okay. To, yeah. I'm guessing. I, I'll talk on my well, on my house. Well, he's He seems to have yes. a good a, yeah. a good business. I'm guessing. I just want to say in their 40s. So I'm guessing this man probably had a family at some point in his life. I don't know if they're still together. But if you're scared to speak on it, I'm going to guess. That he never had a family. Um, well, he never had kids. I'm going to say that. Okay, so there was a relationship at some point in his life, and the fact that he is giving you money to kind of listen to him talk about things that he's passionate about um, leads me to believe that the woman in his life was not interested in hearing him out ever. So he's willing to give money just to have somebody to have somebody listen to him and that's a common theme i see um amongst a lot of men and it's 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 really sad loneliness a lot yeah, uh, yeah it's loneliness wait am i am i a victim is uh, do i play the victim role or am i like i'm no you're actually you know, extremely I mean, privileged but um then uh so my thought and i didn't want to comment until everybody answered on this but Sorry, I just, yeah. this is exactly how women have dating on easy mode no, 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 you guys no, no. that's dating. right, no, you, ha- you guys no. have dating and on, frankly life on easy mode. We do. It like, does, yes, I agree. You guys yes. don't have to sleep uh-huh. with any of these men and they're throwing thousands of dollars at you every month just for existing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Now there are, there are sugar mamas, there are sugar mamas out there, but it's exceedingly rare. rare. And I doubt that they are supporting their their sugar babies to the same degree as how a lot of men will support their sugar babies. Um, I almost feel like sugar mamas probably do it in almost a begrudging way. Like begr- like it's a begrudging dynamic. I can agree with that. I, I, I can I never suspect. see myself doing that. Um, <laughs> I would never. In any, in any would case, never either, never. in any case, y'all have dating and honestly life on easy mode because I think it's just like, I wouldn't say but I also have a lot of respect you for men. You have dating on easy like, mode. It's, no. it's, yeah, women have, I mean, if you we do, girl, we do. You, you have up? to admit that. that just, like, you you, you have to admit it's easier so for us. Thanks no, for saying it out loud. Wait, get you a feel, date. What do you mean? If I, wait, let them go. Guys, please stop the crosstalk. Go ahead. I was going to say, I just don't see it really for dating, to be honest. Like, are you saying, like, we can get any guy we want? Is that that's, what you're That's not what I'm saying. Okay, then what are have, you saying? Well, I'll, I'll explain it after she goes. Okay. Go ahead. What did you have to say? Yeah, you saying that we have life and dating on easy mode. We really do. I could be oh. scrubbing yes. dishes again. But no, I yes. sit in my bed. <laughs> yes! <laughs> all right, there we go. Okay, all right. She agrees with me, I guess. Um, yeah, y'all kind of got... I agree. On easy to mode. A, mm-hmm. 100%. Okay, wow, okay, I'm surprised. Thank you she, for validating my I validate awful mindset. I your... Mm-hmm. Recruit mode difficulty on okay. Um, so okay, so you asked why it's yeah. Like elaborate a little bit more on the dating. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever you were in, you're currently in college, right? Yeah. Um, think about high school. So I want everybody here to picture. I'm sure all of you have had a situation where you've had a group project, right? Mm-hmm. Remember like group no. projects in high school or group projects in college. Now, I don't know where you fell in that group dynamic, but typically in those scenarios, there's gonna be one, two, uh, let's say it's four people, right? There's gonna be at least one person that doesn't do jack shit in the group project. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yes. That's kind of like how dating is between men and women. Y'all don't do jack shit. I can shit agree with that. At the beginning, right? I think later on, Not you guys start doing thing. a little more. We audition first, they audition we, second. Yeah. yeah. Yes. We yeah. basically have to carry, mm-hmm. and this is also, I mean, I've made this video game analogy. There's a term in video games called carrying, where one person sucks at the video game. Mm-hmm. You backpack them. Yeah, you backpack yeah. them. You're yeah. like, you're carrying them mm-hmm. to the victory. Yeah. I think that's kind of how dating is mm-hmm. typically, because men, we have to, okay, we have to take all the initiative. The, bur- the burn of performance is on us. The burn of initiative is on us. We have to... If, if we're meeting, let's say we're on a dating app, we have to send the first message, we have to plan the first date, we have to set up the date, we have to pay for the date, we have to make... Not Bumble. Well, okay, the thing with Bumble, though, the thing with yeah. Bumble, it's a very token level of initiative because the women will send the first message and typically it's not very That's creative. the only way you can it's connect hey. with them. It's, it's, hey. it's hey. It's a verbal they, they, swipe. They'll say hey. It's such a... Like, Bumble is such a joke because <laughs> the girl says hey and then they sh- immediately shift the conversational duty and burden onto the man. Because if I just respond, hey, back. Ew. That's it. Like, the girl's not going to, even though she has to send the first message, it's, again, it's very token. So what you just said, you just said. Sorry, Sorry, you go. 
go ahead. Oh, well, okay. And then just, just to finish this, off, this, is, this is her point, so I want to let her finish Just to finish this. off my point really quick. And then when it comes to a, uh, moving things forward, the guy's going to have to close the, the physical distance gap. He's going to have to go for the first kiss. He's going to have to move things forward sexually. He's going to, okay, how can I smoothly, like, hey, you want to come back to my place, that sort of thing, escalate <laughs> things towards sex. Oh, I if she's not down, it. okay, cool. Um, and then r wash, rinse, repeat, second date, move things forward sexually. And, you know, depends on how things go, but he's going to have to initiate on all those steps. Go ahead. A little different, though. I just, with I, with my first boyfriend, I made the move on him. I kissed him because he was a little bit of a weenie. So I feel sure. like I had to make the first move. I, I wanted I would, anything to go for. I would say, actually, that, and it's, this is interesting, and I don't know, maybe I some people like might I, disagree. Hold on, let me just finish really quick on this point. Is I think with, like, younger relationships, when the obviously the girl's going to encounter a guy who he himself, like, we're talking, like, high school relationships or maybe, like, for, uh, college, like, first first encounter with dating sex relationships uh the guy might be a little he doesn't have the requisite experience if you're Reserved. dating a guy who's your age he might mm. not have the requisite experience of having dated other women so in, i think in those scenarios the women might actually be take a bit more initiative but once so i think you've had enough experience like women really aren't initiating i feel like i am you just don't know me. okay <laughs> yeah. what you what you just said about um i'm trying to remember exactly what it was oh you said you're gonna say hey if he says hey back well ew, especially if right? there is um you have your little like cards in there that describe you and no, i understand like one of them but he said, has them too yeah and you didn't use those so here's what i'm saying no you i said, don't say hey you, though you said hey. so uh, whatever it is it's a simple hello you you are now permitted to talk to me okay mm. And now the man has to come up with something else. If it's not creative, if it's not stimulating, you're like, ew, no. Because you have a million other options waiting for you right there on the app. The guy sends hey, you send hey back, he's gonna be like, oh, okay, so like, what do I say now? He's still thinking about what's next in the conversation. He's not icked out by the fact that you just said hey back. He expects it, because he knows that he has to be the one who's that impressing is... you up front. This is why we're saying early in the dating process, women have it on easy mode. Mm -hmm. We have to do everything. Would you yeah, guys wait? So I, I completely agree. I'm on that exact same page. But would you guys have it any other way? Like, if you could, what way would it be? Well, it's kind of. You kind of yeah. like it. That's no, kind of your I, vibe. Well, I actually think so. The the leverage that women have early on is insane. Okay. So I mean, you would would I have would I have it any other way? Just so basically, like if we were to flip roles, like women just wanted to. Fuck no, do you me, just want it like down. even playing field? So like, like I mean? could ask you to go to bed, or you could ask me, or like I could ask you to dinner and spend a bunch of money, and that would be like status quo, or what? Oh, so like like what? What way would you guys have it? I don't know, because I agree with what you're saying, but like, I, what, okay, so, what's well, your mindset on I'll it? I'll let you come in. Just sure. let me just respond to her. So my view is is that you take an average woman. So women have far greater sexual optionality than men do. Correct. So you can take basically like an average or even below average looking girl and she has the equivalent sexual optionality of an A-list celebrity. So I'm talking musician, <laughs> I'm talking actor, I'm talking professional athlete. This has been proven in like like experiments on dating apps, statistically, by the way. Yeah. I think it's also just I like I, common I mean, sense. I had a like any, app for a few I wanna, months, I, yeah, Well, any, so. any girl can, if you Sorry. were so inclined, you, you could hop on a dating app, you could go to the club, you could go to a bar, mm -hmm. you could go to Anywhere, a party. Anywhere, gas station. And like f fuck a dude, you could fuck three dudes a day. Ew. The oh. amount of men who could sure. sleep with three new women a day is like, it's not, it's not even 1%, it's like 0.01%. An average, so an average woman has the sexual optionality of again, like the top tier of men, but you just have to basically exist. Hmm. So really no, I know, but so how would you it. have it? Okay, those are the stats, I can respect those. How would you have it? What I'll, would be your- I'll tell you exactly how we would have it. Well, <clears throat> it, well oh, I, sorry, want to hear, sorry, I want to hear both of you. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, it's I, not I that we would want it to be different, we just want women to be completely comprehending the fact that that is the reality. A lot of girls, don't see it as like men are putting in all this work. Okay. Men see it as they they see it as like oh you, oh you like paid for my meal oh you set the date you're doing like the you should do that you're doing the bare thing. minimum like that that's just the bare minimum you're always oh, looking okay. for more. Right. This is not a matter of doing more or less. It's a matter of men and women both understanding that we as humans have our own mating dance. Yes. Like this is just how it works. So, but Brian always talks about how men shouldn't have to be should should not be paying on dates nowadays. 
You know why there's we accept, there's a few exceptions. A few exceptions. Yes. But for the most part, one of the big reasons why we don't do it is one because of the abundant not just the abundance of options that women have, but the access to those options that they now Absolutely. have. Absolutely. Okay. And on top of that, the fact that you now make money. In fact, young women, which are the ones who are mostly in the dating market, most older women are out of the dating right. market. Minus you my guys mom, are matching mom. men or outperforming men mm -hmm. in most markets in terms of your income. Okay, so why should we have to pay for the date and toll out a bunch of money when you guys could do that? Why should we have to? Good point. So you're saying because actually, it's in your male masculine, correct? There are a is lot that, of ways that, that a man can court really? you without mm -hmm. having to spend a bunch Absolutely. of money on no, you. Absolutely, no, I agree. Right? But so what is the answer to the question you're asking, or is it rhetorical? Well, no. You, well, no. What you said was, would you have it any other way? What I would say is, okay. women need to just see this as this is the way that it works, and they need to. Just accept Appreciate. the fact that like this that like this is an audition for men and we are sitting we know we know that we are sitting amongst amongst a bunch of different options. Right. We know that we're not the only guy that you're talking to right now. Mm -hmm. We know that. So if we're not gonna be going all in on the first date or all in on the second date, there's a reason for that. We're trying to play this game of like we're doing just a little bit of the beginning of the mating dance to see if you return the favor of that mating mm -hmm. dance. But most women won't return the favor because they think that, oh, he just did the bare minimum. He didn't go above and beyond. He didn't make himself stand out. There's an early part. There's, there's a very early part of that attraction mating dance that just needs to be accepted. I think that's what ahead, I ahead, think yeah. is what, what I'm literally hearing is right now men are waiting. Women are in this mindset that they need the dates paid for. Like I kind of said this earlier. They need all the dates paid for. They need everything given to them. And the bare minimum is literally being picked up like no if a man doesn't have a car he can't pick you up don't be dumb but at the same time I think men are waiting for women to be out of that cliche like you have to do all this for me because in the 19 or in the 1870s in 13th colony um New England that's how it was like uh -huh. no Wait, which colony? <laughs> like the thirteenth colonies, like New England type, like shit. Like that's how it was. Like the men Dating did in everything. The colonies. Like the men did everything, and now they're expecting. Like what was that's the why they expect to do so the much Mayfl for women. The Mayflower. There that's the why they feel so obligated to do so much for women, and now they're trying to find what, someone. Where who, did they land? Where did they land? The Plymouth Rock. Rock. Plymouth New York. Rock. Dude, shit, hookup culture was fucking crazy during Plymouth Rock days. Dude, Mormonism was like the Fuck. shit. <laughs> Dude, these bitches they were during loving Plymouth life. Rock days were fucking Y'all talk about cheating until y'all meet Mormons. Until y'all meet hey. the old Mormons. Whoa, hey, I will, I will not stand for the Mormon disrespect. I love Mormons. I went to a private uh, school with a bunch of them. Oh, but word? I mean, I mean, Me some, too. it's a different My type of Christi Christianity. Mormon. If they, if those men can have 13 wives. Hey, we don't do that anymore. Wait, what? We, I'm we so don't, confused. We don't do that anymore. That was old, old thing. Yeah, I know. I said old, the old Mormonism. I said that. Oh. Yeah. yeah. We don't do that anymore, though. But it was a thing, and it was normalized. Wait, what was a the thing? They would have multiple wives. Men could have multiple wives? They yes. Don't. Not anymore. No. no, they could. They could, but they don't anymore. Yeah. That's not true, Some actually. Some of them do. Like, yes, it is. Most... In Mormonism? Yes, mm -hmm. it yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Oh, more, okay. You're saying Mormonism. Yeah. Not Christianity. Like, okay. not full, like, yeah, I was about Catholicism. Well, Mormonism is a, Well, first off, Mormonism start, did not start in Plymouth Rock. It started no, it didn't. in, like, what, the 1700s in Utah? Yes. Mm -hmm. Or the, was it the 1800s or the 1700s? I think it's 1700s. Or is it the 16? I don't know the I history of Mormonism. Yeah, so I don't like get into then. it like that. But in I've broader history, I mean, most of the Western world was Christian, and yes. you cannot have multiple wives in Christianity. No, I know, no, but Mormons can yeah. classify themselves as Christians as well. So. Right, but Mormonism is a much newer invention than uh, Christianity. Yeah. Yes, it is, yeah, but it conceived from Christianity. But you, in Christianity, you can't have multiple wives. Well, I don't. Then I don't know why Mormons existed at that point. If you're saying that, well, so now there yeah, we go. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> it's something no, you really can't debate. I'm so confused. It's something you really can't debate. I'm so confused. I really can't debate. Debate. I'm so confused. <laughs> I really get that. Anyway. Soaking. Good times. Um, <laughs> hey, it is good times. Don't good knock time. it till you try it. It's kind of okay. This girl. Uh, <laughs> So okay, the the original point, you guys were all talking about sugar daddies, um, and I said, hey, y'all have dating life on easy mode, um, opportunities just for existing. So, yeah. valid. Disagree. You're right. I know you're right. Know. Okay, I'll make further it's points. For women. I, I think 100. <laughs> it's I feel much like easier for, for women, women than men, than and we sure. can get behind for that. Sure. It is easy. Here, like, I could I could tackle this from a couple different perspectives. Maybe I just like like lame dudes. I don't. Okay, know. Okay, if we're at a concert and he wants to get backstage, or I want to get backstage, 
You're getting backstage. We're getting backstage. No, that's a fair point. What about you know the what rejection? I mean? Like, so when it comes to something that's difficult, wouldn't we all agree? Like, if you have a higher likelihood of dealing with, like, nobody likes dealing with rejection, right? Um, who gets rejected more, men or women? Men. 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 Yeah. men. Like, more often than not, are you rejecting men or are they rejecting you? We're well, rejecting men. Sometimes women don't understand that they're getting rejected. They keep trying and trying, and the men keep well, kind that, of allowing okay, it. Okay, so that, that is I an interesting thing. I get rejected all like, the time. So men get rejected on the front end. <laughs> women will typically get rejected on the and back end. And they don't end. understand because they don't accept no as an answer. In any case, though, men face more, I would say men face more rejection than yeah. do And you can't women. fathom yeah, a world in which a And this all comes down to feminism you. and how men correct. have been projected as like correct. these negative images in our lives and... Um, that men are like some evil source of like, I don't know, and they're so aggressive and they're mean. And this is what it comes down to, this whole stigma. But if you're like a logical human who can like think with both sides of their brain, like you, you know that that's not true. And like men shouldn't be, but they are naturally rejected more. So um, to add to her point, not really to add to Go her ahead. point, but as a feminist, I don't mm. think of men as evil or anything. I actually Wait, love whoa, whoa, men. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Earlier on in the conversation, you said, I am against men. Yeah, yeah just to piss you guys off. Um, so what does feminism yeah, okay, mean okay. to you? Back like, what does it mean? Back equality. Track, track. Equity. Okay. Equity. Equity. Actually, equity. Women equity make more, more money than, than men. So equity so more are than equality. Equal. Because Wait, everybody oh, has... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, no, I'm just saying that some people... This is going to get good. Some people... You finish, please. Some people okay. have different we'll needs, and I think we need to be able to provide for the people that have different needs. Um, That's right. I think we need affirmative action for college so that we can equalize, because there's way more women going to college and getting yeah. degrees. So I think men we, really need our help. We need affirmative action for men when it comes to university enrollment. Yeah. And, right. and degree <laughs> that's, that's actually like statistically very true I've no, read right. about that too women, I think women, women, women but I women, think women. in certain fields there needs to be more women representation like tech I would say tech is one of them I no, more women, women make, would, make like, more money than when, men that's they when just girls don't want to admit so to it yeah. I think that's when so girls need to grow up seeing like women in tech women in like STEM you know but I agree in that but I do agree that men aren't like getting college degrees as much as women but when it comes to like more women in tech could it also be the case that just when it comes to interests, women are just genuinely yes. like less interested in those kind of fields i would yes. say absolutely but i've noticed the ones that do are very discouraged and i only knew that i only know that because i was in like it's women not, in business at ucsb and we what get that, that case that's, 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 okay. that's part yeah. of stem i feel like they yeah, tend to take that? they so will tend to hire are, men yeah, exactly. more because they're like oh well they're seen as like oh men are more reliable men are like there's they don't see that they see your worth ethic they see the worth ethic that you put in i'm just saying that there's like i'm not saying they are but let me just put that question out there. No, I'm are just men saying. more reliable? Just putting that question out there. I don't know. Do you know. think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I think do you feel down. like you That's don't have neutral the neutral? Okay. I've had here. some men let me down, but I would say go. I would say just like out there, they're like, oh, men are more reliable. They're less emotional. They have well, there's like well, this whole I, thing. They're more speaking, logical. Well, they're more just logical. Just purely on statistics here, without making any definitive definitive statements, they've analyzed uh, they've analyzed the data on this. Men are much less likely to take six. Excuse me. They're much less likely to take sick days. They're much, much yes. less likely to take leave. They're much less likely to be late for work. Maternity so, leave. I mean, think about that. Women want to have babies. Yeah, so without making a definitive yeah, yeah. statement, but it does seem to be the case that men are less likely to take sick leave. Anyways. And personal days. Um, Just saying. Do you yeah, feel as we, a feminist, I when you're love done, I men. Ask. I respect men. I don't, don't think of myself as... Um, what is it? Superior to men? Just, I wouldn't. Just be honest. I don't. You're a so, so what is that? So I'm not. What does it mean that you're a to feminist? Me, f literally, equality. That's but what that's I want. Not, I want, want equity. Want, okay, wait. So, do you not? Do you not? Do you not feel no, like? Do you not feel like? Okay, equality. I personally, I feel like I have the exact same opportunity as any man, and genuinely, as a female. I probably have a little more of an advantage oh. simply by being a female. Congratulations, we live in America. But exactly. <laughs> so wait, so then what do you mean feminism, like, equality? I, think I can vote, I can do all of the things. What do you mean that we're not? I think feminism is like a thing whenever when like we couldn't vote. Slaves 
and stuff in other countries and i oh. you know i in other countries you just yeah, said and we're I, in america wait, wait, wait. yeah we're i said congratulations we're in america we have those privileges in a lot of countries and a lot of third world countries there isn't so that. go fight in those countries yeah. Girl, yeah. I just and, and enlist in the here, war right? like we're we force men to do but women don't do it exactly exactly women aren't even allowed to be in the front line in the first place yeah they actually are that's not true that's not true at all my whole that's not true i came from a very military family every single adult in my family even my brothers are in the military and i could tell you right now all the women they love are frontline women so it is so you can be a frontline yes you can it depends on decide to and the only reason why women are deemed not reliable is because those women who are getting deemed not reliable showed up to that interview unreliable they showed up and just completely bombed that interview they blew it yeah, yeah, and if, you, if your that. first impression was so bad enough to where you think that you're not going to make enough money, get this role or anything, you did yeah. poorly. Here, here's my issue with what yes. you're saying. You're saying that people are denying women jobs because of things that they're thinking about women. It's a completely unfalsifiable exactly. claim. It could happen to How a man. How can you prove that? How can you possibly prove that about the person doing the interview? It's completely unfalsifiable. Let's look and at actual reasons. And you can sue every company reasons. that does that because that he is He made illegal. a decision to hire someone who wasn't her. The reasons he thought they were more qualified for the position. Not because because she's a female. Because people are interested in making money when they hire somebody. They're going to hire the best. I'm also a feminist because... (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, I'm also a feminist because I think that we need... uh, That's two things to do. What's it called? We need... What do we need? Tell us what we need. We need help. We need, we need help. Need help um, because there's laws going against, first off, abortion. I don't want to bring up abortion because I don't want to get into that. But that, I think I'm a feminist for that reason. I'm a feminist because I want to I've had three abortions in my life, and in no way, shape, or form do I feel like I'm in to a different state or that we don't legal. have enough rights I never said anything. we were. I never said we were in... So, but, but feminism is advocating specifically heavily for female rights, can, right? Can we do a contest at the table to see who's had the most abortions? Can we not do that, oh, sorry, actually? My bad. That was... My bad. Eh. Yeah, well, I mean, you I said just you think had there's three. a lot of. I thought you were. There's also no, a, lot, a lot of violence. Like, like, yeah, there's also a lot of violence. That's, that's, that's not like a feminist a quality. Listen, dude, you're, you're it's no, just something what? that happened. Crazy. No. That's crazy to say that. I. Do you what? think that's a flex, dude? No, that is no I'm, not, I'm just. No I'm just curious. Okay, run it back. Shut that down really quick. Anyways, there's a lot of violence against women. Am I being extra? There's a lot of violence against men. More violence against women. No, there isn't. No, there isn't. Statistically speaking, men are way more likely to be shot, to be stabbed. And to commit to be suicide assaulted. And you know what women are more likely to be? They're more likely to be stalked. More, no, they're more likely to be. Uh, you know essayed. why? Let's also, they're more essayed. likely to be essayed, and they're more likely to be stalked, and they're only more likely to be essayed if you don't count the prison population. Okay, statistically. So there are yeah. some things where women are more likely to be. Men do than not men. speak up about but those things because then they it makes them feel weird. And, and, and then because they have to suppress their it's emotions. Other men, it's other men yes. that are. It's other men that are that are making other well, men feel like they can't. Uh, that they can't. It's speak other up. men. That's are, yes, what you said. It is. It's toxic masculinity. No such why thing. don't men? No other, such thing. Why don't about. men? Shh. So Why don't men want to speak up? Because they're afraid of getting judged by other men. My mom no, used to be. Yes, yeah. they yeah. are. Yeah, not, yes, they are. They're afraid of being judged by women. Exactly. No, and her I would never yes. judge a man if he got assaulted. If he I got would assaulted, never came that. back crying to you. No, oh, like, how is yeah, that? Yeah, you, yeah, you would never judge okay. him. You, you wouldn't I wouldn't him. judge him. I've, I've been in that position. I've been in that position where I've been assaulted. I'm so sorry. I've been in that position. Why would I ever go and turn the tables and be like, you're whatever, you're worthless, you deserve that? Why would I ever do that I'd be there. Uh, I'm a good person, no. and for you to make that assumption is fucking terrible. This is the thing where she's you depending. Do not make that no, no. Again, about remember my thing earlier about how women are depending on my own benevolence to ignore the point. Very this is what they do. That. Okay, second, this is what they do. No, how I, dare you make that assumption n- about me? Sir? How dare no. you? You deserve yeah. a lot more. I'm wait, so sorry. That uh, but wait a second. What I'm are you? So what, sorry, but but, but what are you assuming? You're assuming that I don't care. That I'm saying you don't care about that person. No, no I'm saying you're you're una- you would be right unattracted to him no. as a man. Yes. No, I wouldn't. And here you go making another assumption, sir. Here well, you go making so another assumption. Basically, yeah, basically. I would never. Uh, I would never. I, excuse me, you're interrupting a woman, you sexist. Hold on. Okay, yeah. we're, okay, so. A woman is speaking. She's saying it's basically women are getting more abuse than men. My mother used to beat me every day until I was removed from the home. So women do cause a lot of assault. They really do. They do. And blaming it straight on men, saying that women have no rights, well, then why didn't my mom do, do that? Do you know which children are most likely to be abused? Um, single mother children. She wasn't a single mom. My dad yeah. just had PTSD. But, but she but didn't my know point how to control being, it. Single motherhood child abuse is actually happens at a higher rate than two family households. And I had, I'm the seventh kid. Yeah, and, and 
uh, single father households. I am it's where most kid. of the child abuse occurs. Yeah, but they, I mean, just saying that uh, pushing all these problems onto men, th that's actually what's wrong with society. Yeah. I think everything is an equal thing. Everything should be completely equal. There, uh, we have every single right that a man does. And logistically, yeah. we are getting paid like 49 cents more than men in every single job. Actually, like office jobs. We are getting paid more than men. We have so many rights because well, we fought for so long. They really are. Like, and I don't, don't want to say that. If I, I, I don't think that there's a wage gap, but I don't know. We have the spreadsheet. There is. Oh. is really? Wait, we Women? have the no. spreadsheet no. on the phone. No, oh, I could, no. Okay. Ready, ready for this? That's true. That's okay. true. Okay. This, is, this is a really good stat. We talked about this at dinner. Okay, okay. So, the, so the actual wage gap, the actual wage gap in, in I believe it's North America. It's either North America or the United States. As of 2020 is uh, 17 cents. Women make 83 cents to that of men. That's all men and women. Mm -hmm. If you look specifically at men and women under the age of 30 who work full who work full time jobs, uh, it's 93 cents. And in most of the major metro areas where women are complaining the loudest about the wage, which gap, are predominantly liberal, they out gain mm -hmm. men. Yes. Okay. In New York, women I believe make 101 percent. They're complaining of what about working 12 hour shifts. That is insane. But my point is the wage gap. But when we say the whole the wage gap is a myth. That whole thing. There, first of all, there's a reason the wage gap exists, and there's also a reason why it gets higher the older you get, because women decide to do things like take leave to take care, to take care of children. Maternity. You can't take mm -hmm. three, four years off from work, come back, and be like, I can't believe the guy who was making the same amount as me four years ago is now making more than me. Huh? Like you yeah. can't make that complaint. You yeah. can't do that. So. Most of the women who complain the loudest, which are young females in major mm -hmm. metro areas, they have literally nothing to complain about. Mm -hmm. Nothing. To your point, They're they are exactly, they have the same degree of equality as men do. They have access to everything that men do. Everything that you say about what men think about women or what higher menders think about women is what you think they think is completely unfalsifiable. Mm -hmm. I completely yeah. agree with all and of that. By the way, I know I'm kind of like shouting this at you. I'm, I'm shouting out of agreement. It's just... <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. Oh, I'm just I know very you don't nonchalant. Disagree with me on this. I'm very nonchalant, but I, it's feminism. I I don't like saying oh, that's a bad topic. I mean, if you're a feminist, you're a feminist. You just obviously don't realize how much we far we've gotten in America. That's a stupid story. Or or how they whoa, or how whoa, whoa. they frame feminism now. You're talking now. to a woman right here, okay? Can you stop being sexist, what if please? I'm not a woman. Huh? What if I have a penis right now? Then well, literally, you just I, I would ask you to get therapy <laughs> because all of that in, in between is fine. But I when don't, you're but when you're did, when you crazy. are biologically <laughs> born with a vagina, <laughs> so you're a girl. And when you're uh, born with a born with a penis, I, I'm out of here. You're I'm not gonna sit whoa, by here. Wait, no, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, that's fucking transphobic as. Fuck. Wait, what? Fuck you for that. Doing her best wait, Kiko. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Wait, what? Wait, who? What did you say? She said she didn't like transphobic comments. No, that's not what she said. <laughs> she said that she hates trans people. If you're, if you're, no, she said that. No, no, no. Dude, no, no, no. It is said amazing. if you're biologically born it's with a vagina, you're a girl. How you can just if you're be biologically losing. born with a penis, wow. you're a man. God, you, God, she made like yeah. um, four I don't points about that feminism. I'm going to put... She was a man. No, no, no. I'm sorry, Brian. No, no, dude, she's gone. Just stay, just stay, just stay. Just. No, just uh, the show must go on. The show must go on. No, she's good. She's good. The yeah, show must go on. She, off. she blew no off. She blew up. Don't trip. She's good. She's good. Trust. Yo, Madison, you're going to sit right here, okay? okay. You're going to sit over there. No, no, she's just no, doing her best. She was doing her best Kiko impression. Am right. I not allowed to sit there because my nipples? What? No. Is that <laughs> Can I not sit next to my roommate? I'm kidding. I don't care. No, um, I don't care at all. <laughs> actually, you know what? Yeah, you, you scoot over. Madison will sit there. Uh, put the seat boosters over there. I though. mean. All right. That was our first bangs walk off. I don't even. I wasn't wow. really like super oh, wait, tuned wait. in. Dude, no, the moment really that. You told us not to not be tuned in. <laughs> Come on. She, she made like a, she made, like, a trans allowed. statement. Allowed. And like, I get it. Like, you know, people get yeah. touchy on some topics like that. What? I still think it was funny. But why? Wasn't she making the point that right? men she was the one aren't who was like, more emotional okay than women? Or, 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 or that women aren't more emotional than men? What you're saying? I'm not arguing. Yo, 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 yeah, yo, yeah. Stop, stop, stop. Fun. One at a time, please. I've repeated myself multiple times on this. One person speaking at a time. It's very like simple. So Go ahead. No, I feel like um, there's just a certain, I'm not this way, but I respect people that are this way. They just believe in things really strongly and get emotional and upset. And I think that... 
she probably just, you know, the yeah. worst words about trans. Yeah. I, I was it's trolling, like, but, you know. I yeah. am so completely and utterly repulsed by the way that you live your life. Did it's I, so hot. Did I storm off That's the set? That's a bit set. mean. <laughs> No, but did, did, so I, did, did I storm off the set? Are you, like, Jeez. trying to make me horny right now? No, but I she likes bet to be it's working. Be right. careful. Yeah. Be careful. She's been soaking pretty much. The seat is getting kind of Yikes. slippery. Okay, good to know. We're going to have to disinfect that. What happened um, while I was gone? Were you not I, at the table? No, you're, I was in the dude, bathroom. Dude, you're always gone. I, said like a, I was like, what if I'm trans? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to explain to her. But Madison, you are always gone when the shit goes I know. down. It was Rage Quit hell? Kiko. No, I, I made a joke. I was like, what oh. if I have a dick right now? And wait, she, she was like, I would on. be repulsed by that. And that pissed her off. Wait, wait, like, that was it? No. That's what no. she got upset about? No, no, because no, she no. was like, she no. defined what a man and a woman are. I said, are. if you are biologically born with a vagina, you are a female. And if you're born with a penis, you're a male. That's it? Right? That's, yeah. and that's, and that's what got happened. happened. You said you were being so transphobic. You don't get to decide. I feel like it was a lot of things. I feel like she was already like raging a little bit before from like what you said. It was the topic she of essay. Was Wait, can I ask absolute, what's the hat? I watched these. I'm like, okay, what is it? What's the? Let's not derail the conversation here. Look, no. she was um, getting absolutely <laughs> obliterated later. every single time she brought up a point about feminism. It got debunked by in a, a sentence or less by both men and women. So she was pissed off that she had nothing to back up to back up her belief. She had nothing, and she stormed off because she was looking for an excuse of something to get pissed off about, which was not just I'm getting completely owned on every single subject. You're doing a pussy Wait, move. What? You can't talk shit when someone's not in the room. That's that's. What do you? We're not, he's not talking Wait, shit. No, he's just discussing. Just, I'm explaining no, no, what I'm happened. Just asking what happened. I think the room. way you you phrased it was a little bit negative. I mean, oh, did it make you feel not no, so I good? No, I feel I feel like if I was her and I walked out and then you started being like, well, you know what? She was she was you know, and I'd be like, Dang, or you know, like, or she could have just not stormed out like a child. See, mm-hmm. like that. And she like, could have. Would you say you, that if she was right here? No. What do you mean? Yes. If she comes back, we'll be like, don't storm out like a child again. Yes. Yeah. Do you think it, I would. Yeah, okay. I would call okay. her out. I'd be okay, like, you're being a good friend, but you know, like, okay, it's it's, like, it's upon herself. Would, she had her choice. If you genuinely would, like, cool. But like, if you're gonna like say this here, and then when she's yes, there, be like, I would hey, tell her. Up, I would you? tell like, her you know? to her face. It okay. is childish to storm off just because you're upset. Because Why don't you honestly, call her? I don't even think what you said was that. Like, there's way worse shit you could have said on that topic. Like, if Chase was fucking here and saying, like, we could have talked about, is it like, is it? Okay, I'm not gonna go there. Why don't you call her and tell her this? Cause we've, we've because we've had a right now. Because I don't powwow with the fucking yeah. girls on the panel. Also, because we want okay. adults on the podcast. He told you that he's repulsed by your life, and you sat here and you were like, "Okay, I don't hey. want to put too much on it." I was just, I was just saying, if you, if, if you, if you would put your word like that when she's in front of you, cool. I just didn't know if you're like just talking because she was like. Well, okay. Like, Another so lesson in men and women. Here. Right now, we're 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 live streaming. <laughs> she just stormed out of the studio. Of course, we're gonna like <laughs> have something. Are we just gonna yeah. not yeah. talk about I this? Also, no, no, no. I didn't say. It. It was like, I also asked what happened. So yeah, I, that's yeah. true. She I was yeah. just asked what I just feel like. I mean, if you would say that to her face, like, cool, you know. This said is, said what to her face? This, if you were like acting like a child or something. But send if she, her the if link she for this after. If yes. she wasn't, yeah. I mean, yeah. Send her the link. <laughs> this is interesting. Men tend to speak very, very bluntly about exactly what logically and and you're logically no and you're i have a feeling that this is something that goes through the minds of women like no you shouldn't say that because what if she was here because what if she was here because women i just want to be a good person probably dance around the subject and know that women talk shit behind their backs that's all that's all that's all it is she does not sugarcoat shit with me she'll be like you're crying should i find you a therapist because they're educated in this Uh, (laughs) like she's okay all right so uh let me get a couple chats here yo guys go to twitch.tv slash whatever drop us a follow drop us a prime sub if you have one Nick, 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 Nick. Can you hide, can you move that over? All right, guys, twitch.tv slash whatever. Drops a follow, drops a prime sub if you have one. Yo, Tark, thank for the prime. Johnny, thank for the prime. Johnny Pistol, thank for the prime. Carnivore Wife, thank for the, oh, I think I already thanked you. Twitch.tv slash whatever. Drops a follow, excuse me, drops a prime sub. Let me get a couple of the chats here while we have them. Let me see. Um, okay, hold up. Okay, oh, this one came in a while ago. One sec, guys. We have... Layla, can you read this? Layla, Thank you, someone Fallon. mentioned earlier that you're not much to look at and you don't need me to offend you, to defend you. But you're a solid eight. Though your statement of relaxation by good head is just weird, I'm a 24-year-old virgin, so take that with a grain of salt, obviously. Would you? Valid, but I think that if you're a 24-year-old virgin and like you just had like one of the worst days of your life and I came and like glucked you off insanely, Haram! then... 
honestly, like, you would probably feel better. And I don't think that's too much of a crazy statement to say. I think any man in this room who had a bad day and then received head, and it'd be not so bad of a day. From a, from a woman he actually loves and who actually loves him. But, uh, sure. yeah, but it still works. Not from women, no, uh, every I didn't say, woman I didn't say except I didn't say for that. one. I didn't say from me individually. Your woman could that you love could maybe you know, and you'd be like, oh, thank you, baby. That makes me feel better. Hey What's guys, that thing? Should that? I change the title That's of the video to though. "Bang Storms Off"? Okay, yes. yeah. "Bang Storms Off." Yes. <laughs> the clear <laughs> gonna go I'm not gonna lie. That did take me surprise though. I was like, I thought she was mad at me at first. She's probably she never I'm coming back. I think she was mad about the debate with you. She lost and the she debate. Was That's why I'm saying was it was escalating. Yeah, she, she was ready to walk heated. out. And then the feminism thing didn't just help. Like a, a, a woman telling her that feminism is BS is just not. Gonna she didn't help have It's total her. bullshit. She feminism is literally a fucking fraud. I don't like. I don't know what. You were picking your nails or something. Playing with your nails. It's not. It's not. Feminism shouldn't be a real thing anymore. It's not at this point. So basically, what you're saying is, and, and the she shouldn't have gotten mad at my opinion. Awesome. Hey, I don't agree. Yeah. I, think, I think it's a good thing. I think people that are really, really emotional are probably feminists, but that's not a bad thing. It's okay for someone to feel things really deeply. The most I mean, I thing she said all night. No, she said, I, I, mean, don't. I don't. <laughs> most people who are hyper emotional are probably feminists. You are 100 percent correct. Thank Please you. continue. She's very much true. Yeah. Thank you for acknowledging that. I really. Uh, Katie, you were you expecting so all this tonight? <laughs> no, not that. at all. <laughs> that honestly know, gave she, me so when much. When she walked up, Katie. she was like, She's like I don't what know. the fuck? I'm, I'm like, like very sitting like, here telling <laughs> us like our life is shameful, and I just sat here like, y'all are a really lovely couple. Do you want head? <laughs> like that's all that went through my head. <laughs> we're talking after the show. I have some interesting Wait, things to say to you. So Fally, <laughs> Fally, he's 24 year old virgin. Would you? Um, if I know hot, you're dating yeah, Zerka, would. but would you? He's in Miami. Okay, so it's They're cool. They're not dating this. Yo, Fally, Fally, are oh, you? That sounds can I, sad. Fally, can, can I set you up us? with Layla? Um, send me a picture of him. Okay, I'll pl- send I'm me your STD test. Here. Let's get this going. Okay, you have to send him yours too. Right. Though, just I'm, I've she never had one. Yeah. I get, I get tested every two never. weeks. Never. 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 I've never. Speaking had one. of which, somebody never. at this panel has a dark secret related to. What the hell? Who is it? We're gonna get into that in a little bit after I get through these chats. Okay. Um, can I have you read this one, please? The Mormon <clears throat> husband needs to be put in a chokehold. Maybe after a good sleep, he'll wake up and realize he's getting cucked by someone who does coke and stored rage head in John Zerka, making the rest of us look bad. Mike, is that you? <gasps> Literally, Mike, Wait, is that you? No, it's Mike Pavone. No, that's. Do you know? Do you know Mike Pavone? No, it's their Mike. Also Dan, I appreciate but, um, what you do. Yeah. Cool. But um, also but, like, Dan, that I appreciate me of what you Mike. do. Why? Thank you, Mike. Why? Wait, how, who am I making look bad? I'm confused. Who's the us? Are you Mormon? <laughs> Is Mike Pavone Mormon? No, well, I said this earlier. The Mor- Mormon husband, man, who's married to her, who's currently sleeping with John Zerka and... <laughs> Uh, a lot of other she men. She does porn, too. Um, <laughs> I don't do porn right now because I was with... Well, he's in Miami. It doesn't matter. Yeah, uh, please, dude, if you have any dignity... Oh, Fally's back. I'll get to that in a sec. If you have any dignity, dude, you got to divorce her. I'm sorry, dude. You can't be a Mormon bishop and... He will never divorce me. You cannot be a Mormon bishop and tolerate you will infidelity. Never, I promise Hello? you, though, you will never find pussy as amazing as mine and a throat as amazing as mine in your entire, in your entire life. You Wait, you never, can actually say that. Are you talking like you're comparing no, okay. you, Jessica oh. Rose, I can, I can Riley Rose? Come on. I can show you my vagina and no, you'll be like, No, I don't wow. want to see your vagina. Okay. I'm okay. Literally, literally no. I'll pass on the vagina. I'm a fan of vaginas, but I'm going to pass on You'd be like, whoa. I'm going to pass on you the most beautiful vagina. Like, that's, that's how I blew up so fast and important. Like, you would be that's shocked. From, that's fantastic. That's not You're how you blew up. Like, he Congratulations. Loves me. He loves me a lot. That's great. He does. Uh, wait, but he loves you. She's but got he a, will did, never by the way, did anyone hear like, she has a beautiful anything pussy? I want? Did no. you hear what she said? <laughs> I know. She's really good at sucking dick. Did you hear that part? I just did, did sit you? here and I live. No, I'm, I'm good. Um, thank, thank you, though. That's a very generous offer of you to fillet me. I love giving my friends head. It's like, you know. Just a casual. Your friends? See, this is. A, I think this is yeah. the problem. With Your sex. friends. <laughs> like, oh. if he was my friend and we were out, and he'd be like, "Damn, I wish I had some head." I'd be like, "Yo, bro, I got you." Have you ever had a friend is, out and be bro, like, "Damn, I wish I had some head." I have never send had a male do that. Maybe send, they'd like send the nuke. imply that they wanted to hit on me, but they would I'm never like, literally look at me and be like, "Damn, tension? I wish I had some head." Like, I hold myself more. Pardon? Like you've never had like sexual tension with no. your friends? No. No, or they wouldn't be friends. Girl, yeah. no. I think yeah. some I of my mean, friends are well, sexy. I mean, let's be real. I have um someone that like I I call a friend, but we've 
we oh. we are more intimate than the women. Like, yeah, oh, yeah, you were gonna say, but we like yeah. no, but if someone that I'm now That's emotionally connected to, no. maybe in a certain way. But I no, I'm never friends. gonna have a friend. And like, if, if I make friends with her, she's never gonna look at me and be like, I really wish I had if some you cross that. I can also say with your friends, like you're not friends. I mean, it's I, weird I afterwards. Well, for me, no, because so I maybe it's what you're getting off, get like giving off energetically rather than like. I want to come. I think you're my best friend. Makes you come. I'm like, fuck yeah, like it's a good friend thing to do. To make each other give tongue. head, you don't have to give to head. Your fuck. You can, no, like, no, no, that is. That, and and like, I, I'm, I'm gonna say right now, I respect you. I do. I, get, I, get I don't respect what, what you do or how you do it, but I respect yeah. you as a human, human, human. But that's bullshit. And 98% yeah. of people bullshit. are gonna. Yeah. Sorry, am I not supposed to say that word? No, we, no, we can are gonna look friends. at you and be like, you're telling us right table? now that what? getting giving head to your friends is normal. We be friends. We're never fucking. No, that's fine. I don't care how bone your pussy is. I don't care how good. We will never fuck. Do not make this. You would have to pay me. Is this a mission? Is this a mission? Huh? What? You you want to bet? No, I don't even want to be You want to bet that you will never fuck me? I will never fuck you. Are you sure? Not. All right. I don't want to. Shake on it. What the? Bro, no, 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 no. Shake. Uh, See? See? No, okay, fine. You want a fucking handshake? Are you? Can you, you, can you sanitize your hands? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I will never fuck you. I will shake. Hold on. That is disgusting. That is disgusting. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, guys, stop. Okay. I will shake your hand, but I ask that you sanitize it first, okay? I just wash my hands and got Can you? Can you sanitize your hand? Brian's just yeah, a germaphobe. I'm a ger- that's all. I'm a germaphobe. He's just a germaphobe. Get, get that chick some fucking. Uh, <laughs> give me Nick. some. Give me some, please. Alcohol. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Vodka. No. You're, you're shaking right now. I'm saying that you will never fuck. I will never fuck you. Swear on something. Yeah, bro. This shit's easy as fuck. I believe it. It's very easy. I believe it. Wait, are you thinking I don't think you realize how easy you? of a commitment that is. Yeah. Okay. I, I know yeah, you're wait, surrounded. Are you thinking, wait, are you I, thinking he's gonna hold fuck on, hold you? Hold on. I know you're surrounded by a bunch of de- degenerate, no. sex-hungry okay, men. Hey, but like, it's week, not that then, hard to not to fuck me. a chick. Okay. Bro, unless you're like, are you gonna like stalk me like outside no. my house? No. Brian, please fuck me right now. No. Like, what the fuck? Like, no, it's gonna be, almost yeah. be easier for you. No, that's fine. To, Same to, thing. To because not I your don't away agree with you, but huh? it's okay. Shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna prove all of y'all yeah. wrong. And when I fuck you, I'm gonna come on stream, and it's gonna be the funniest thing ever. And you should talk about the weather. You should change. It's gonna be so funny. It's really nice outside. I'm gonna be like, every time we have an argument, I'm gonna be like, is that how you acquire the people you fuck? Just by like they don't want to fuck you, so you take them down. You like the chase, huh? Yeah, um, but when I do fuck you, I'm gonna like when they say no, you're gonna be my bitch, and it's gonna be like. You can never argue with me. Again. Are you into BDSM? No, S&M? but t- tell me this. That's you what it sounded like. Me on this. Okay, if, as soon as you fuck your boyfriend in the ass, they can never argue with you. Wait, again. wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. So are you pegging you your boyfriend? Yeah, wait, did and more than guy. The you t- yeah. They yeah, took yeah, it in the ass. No, I did not. I did not. <laughs> I did not yeah, fuck she did, ass. dude. He would never. He's so dominant. Actually, he's like, oh my god, it's so daddy yeah, daughter. Yeah, is he dominant while you're pegging him in the butt? Is that no, daddy daughter. You're not into daddy. Good girl. Daddy daughter. Like good girl. Like that's wait, my good girl. Wait. Oh, is that what daddy daughter is? I mean, yeah, like DDG. Like Oh hmm. wow. Like, I mean, girl, I don't know it's like not my daddy. profession. Yo, look, don't yeah. get me wrong. Uh, second thoughts about the industry? Um, well, no, no <laughs> one's ever forced me into do anything and again I don't have men on there and it's not anything lewd or anything like that. I I'm just oh my God. lingerie is pretty to me. I think it's pretty. Get off I'm the, shook. Get off the, the, the fact that you, you are so logical for the most part and, and working Again, I want to have a stable family. For so someone I don't else, have to yeah. I love that you car. say that. Like you respect me before. Uh, so I don't no, I do. But and I'll say it over and over again because I mean no genuine no, disrespect. But I'm like you, the stupidity is yeah. beyond me, and and I think that person. I can't believe you are. Why so enabling, going? supporting, working just because for you can't do when it you're so doesn't logical. mean you can't believe it. Well, I can't do it. So well, that's I'm fair. Say, like, I can't. I would never allow myself. Y'all might think like this is like bad, but to be honest, my mental health was so bad. She said I threw my phone on the floor. I've quite literally slammed my phone against my head till it shattered. Oh. She got me out of all of those awful mindsets of. So now you feel indebted to her to the point oh, that you she, need to help I'm her with this shit. Oh God no! She. God no! Wait, I was like, I told her. I told her that I was gonna make her Uber here because I was like. Um, well, my mental health's a little iffy today. I don't think I'm going to shout uh, to this podcast. She's a good friend. Today. She's a genuine she like, person no, to you. I, I can respect it. the it's fuck really out good. of that. It was a great yeah. decision. 
And no, she. I just have weird I would genuinely not sex. be out here yeah. if it wasn't no, for her. No, that's true. Yeah. You know what I think yeah. it is? I think she not, actually just wants okay. to sleep with you. Because that's no. what she wants to do with everybody. No, come on. Yeah. I do that not That made do my heart drop. No, but here's the thing. What's, it, what's interesting? What, what's, you can look me up, and I have the awfulest gay remarks. Like, if that transcript is strong, I'm going to step away from There's so many conversations going on. What's interesting about this? Give me a counsel for saying I don't like gay people. I'm as straight as I am flat. There's going to be a point. If Dan just said something that outlandish, there is a point. I don't know where he's going. What is it? I don't know. <laughs> but usually there is a point. No, is he going? The, the point is this. There's one difference between friends and a person that you would consider yourself to be in a relationship She's with. She's like my sex. sister. Okay? Yeah, she really that is. is. That is the only thing that makes it different. Okay. The way that you go about your life, you're just like, I just love sex. I want to fuck this guy. They're oh, like, what about this guy? Ew. Like, oh, I just want to fuck. I just want to fuck. What about this guy? Oh, I could fuck him. That would be fun. That would be. There's nothing like meaningful well, about your relationship. I love it. With anybody. I have so much fun. She's. Yeah, and what's the meaning behind that? You're and just getting I, into and pleasure Jer- constantly. And is like my best friend. Like, he really is like, like my free best friend. No, or no, or like he has amazing sex fun? with me. And he is my best friend. I love hanging out with him. We have the funniest laughs. Like, he's a great guy. Like, he's my best friend. Like, for real. So stop doing porn. Quit that. I don't did. Date, I stopped doing don't, porn don't for date him. Any, don't, don't, don't date anybody the else. The thing was that I stopped doing porn Stop, for stop offering like him a, a blowjob on a live stream. It's been a good month. <laughs> Be an actual girlfriend to somebody. Actually, uh, have, have, When I'm 30, yeah. No. No. But, no. Do, you, do you realize what you're doing to yourself right now? You're completely fucking up the way that your mind works. It's already been fucked up. Right. And if you can admit that, why wouldn't you change it? Because I like it. You like how really? fucked up you are. I like you it. are literally satanic. Honestly, it turns me on that you say that. <laughs> Tell me I'm satanic and you, again. No, and do you realize that She's you're probably? But why are you making it sexual? Like, let's have like I, I, know, like, I know you have a little I, bit more logic than, than how that. you're like coming across. Guys, she's strong. I know you have a little bit more no. logic than how you're coming Billy. across. I get that you're like, oh, like you're turning me on. That's your like no that's defense valid. mechanism. Like whatever, it is turning you on. Okay, but like logically, what are you saying logically, to you? Like, Okay, There's no meaning it. to any relationship wait, that you have. If I was There's Billy no right now, I would be pissed. What, that's type, just of, like, except what type of guy do you want to end up with at 30? I mean, my, my, my mans that I'm with right now <laughs> will be the one that has my kids when I'm 30. So the one you're but married to. Your, your but, husband? The one you're married I don't to? Think, I'm, I'm I don't think Zerka will oh, ever, like, shit. he's such a party guy and everything, and, like, but me hanging out with him and, like, getting to fuck and, like, getting to be, like, oh, you're mine, like, cute, like, I like that. But, like, and that is meaningful to me, and it feels real to me because I'm crazy, and it feels real and genuine to me. Are you seeking Even therapy? Not, are, you, are you seeking therapy? Why does it mean I, you plan on divorce. I think that's, I think that's the stupid. Mormon? I think, like... So you just you just want to be crazy. You're happy with being crazy. Like yeah. oh, I've gotten therapy. I've gotten therapy. I like my parents how I got live. divorced. I was like, ooh, I can't emotionally deal with this. I'm gonna no, do. I'm gonna act some way if I do that. So yeah. are you getting help? No, I I love my life so much, and I have so much fun doing. So do you think that's I from do. a crazy perspective? Do you love people judge me and the money when right? people judge? No, not even that. <laughs> Fuck the money is amazing, but when people judge me it just makes me realize i'm so much more unique than them and oh. i Yo, is this an you know, like that's just how i feel it's, it's right? not an i think you guys all. just have a big that. difference you can look at any clip i've ever been on i am the exact same way on every single me, clip i've ever been on i'm not a by your own definition this is, this is what, this is what, you don't think that you're fucked up you think that you're I'm crazy. the right one. I'm crazy. You think that you think that you're the one who is better than other people you think other people should change i think yeah, like if you're that judgmental, I don't think they should change. If your you life can't must handle be her, don't insert yourself into her Here. life. That's go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, all I'm saying is I think you guys have very different morals, but I think it is so disrespectful that you are looking at him and saying you turned me on with Billy sitting right there. I know she. Wait, Billy? It, yeah, where's Billy? Okay, okay I know she doesn't no, feel valid. threatened. It's, of course she doesn't feel threatened. It. I mean it as a joke, <laughs> but it's <laughs> also like if bad. my boyfriend was sitting right next to me and some girl was like, "You're turning me on," I would be. So live it. Wait till we leave. No, I'm I kidding, know, I'm just kidding. think it's funny. I feel like really? it's, I do think it's funny. And I, know, I know you're not I think I could get that back from you, but honestly, like, like honestly, like I would stop if it was her. her. No, she was, I, I wish like it was funny. Was I'm just gonna end it with I know you're not threatened, but I would be so pissed and I'd you're be like being it's very kind graceful of just right like now. Disgusting. If, if, yeah. Wait, what yeah. would you do? What would you do? Would you me slap a bitch? <laughs> no, I'm not that person, but I would Can you be say that with your chest? Very confrontational because that's Damn. so Wait, disrespectful. Would you, would you, Is Wayne Brady going to I'm okay with you feeling disrespectful. Would you choke a bitch? Disrespect towards oh me. God. I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, but you I'm telling you if this was Allison right now and someone at this table said this to Allison, I would absolutely, yes, I would probably... I would probably That's handle valid. it. You can not that. verbally. I would say. On, on so if Billy was Billy's a mature how, person. Who Allison is to me. Sorry, I'm not talking you like. Would, you would fight on behalf of your friend's honor. 
Oh, 100%. I'll fight probably for it. I also feel like you're of giving... I think... 4.2 million people, but absolutely. I think... Absolutely. Wait, I, I feel like you're we, also giving... I think Billy doesn't give a fuck Can we take wagers on who's going to win in the boxing match that we're no, going to set I'm, up? Go ahead, Billy. I'm, 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 oh, my God. Down. When, I was, when I was younger and, like, maybe past relationship relationships, if somebody would have said this, maybe I would have felt threatened back then, but I... She doesn't is like the last. She doesn't feel threatened because so it's someone who's brainwashed and crazy I, saying this no, stuff to me. I met her today. I met her today. I'm, I'm, I don't know her. I'm trying, I'm trying to rationalize why I'm not like. I don't it's because you know how much you're secure. Probably, Billy. I just think it's because it's like he's never going to ever look at a girl. It's because you know she's dating a man of principle. Also, Zerka would never let me cheat on him. You know, she's secure in her relationships, but like he would never. You sit. Okay, but. I'll make jokes, and I and I know the day whenever we're done, I'm going to make every single one of those moves. You just. Hold on. You just said that Zerka would never let you cheat on him, but he. You. Earlier on in the conversation, you said, well, when he's in Miami, I can fuck other guys. That's true. He's in Miami. That's cheat. I'm well, also you're just not gonna dating. point out that there well, was a comment. Back, we're gonna be back yeah. together. You see, there's no. Me- I, I made this point when you walked She's... away. There's no meaning. I'm fucked up, but I'm better than everybody else. Uh, oh my like, god. Like, like I, I'm just like very cocky. Like I feel like other people are boring, but I'm also really uh, fucked up. And somehow I'm, I'm repulsed by myself. Ryan I love Atlas. that you're repulsed. Like, there's not. There's <laughs> nothing to this. Nothing, I love it. Nothing she says. Has I love meaning. that you can't there's understand n- it. I, I also love that don't you can't wrap your mind around it. I don't mean to attack you, but there was a comment on the screen that was like. It's not just me. It's but terrible. I everybody we're not at this gonna, table. And, I, and that's honestly anywhere. probably everyone in the world okay, probably. Okay, we're not going to get through to her. I'm going to move things on. We have Fally here with e, with a message. Um, Madison, can you read it? Surprised she stayed as long as she did. Every time multiple people disagreed with her, her facial expressions alone told me she's refusing to listen, going to keep her position even if it's wrong in the public eye. People like her are the reason feminists get hate. Sally, thank can I add to that? Emotional. I What's just up? feel like... There oh, was wait. also another comment, and it was like... One sec, really quick. No. Madison, can you read this really quick? Then I'll have you come in. Going to try to make this my last donation for tonight. I do this way too often, but charity is fun for me. The happy reactions are worth it. I have a friend Thank who you, I Sally. might recommend to you, but I'm saving myself for the one if I ever find it. Thanks, though. Aww. Good for you. Who I might recommend to you, you said, like do you to want watch our show? No. Thank you, Fally. Appreciate it. Have a good night. No, you one. wanted to hook him up together. Yeah. Remember? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give me oh, your friend, right. babe. Okay. Give me your All friend. Right. Okay. Go ahead. I was just going to say that's not the first person that said, like, you guys are giving feminists a bad rap. And, like, you're claiming to be a feminist, and then you're, like, disrespecting the shit out of Billy, like, saying that shit to her boyfriend. I didn't like, that's not very girl's girl, girl feminist. Claims. I don't no. think she claims feminist. Okay. I mean, I, I, I never, like, go women, but, like, I don't know, like, women. go closer, women. Closer to the mic. Okay. I'm, I'm like, go women, but I'm, not like. not woke in that sense. Yeah, no. I don't really give too many like that but I mean go women I think like, she you know, want cool. to throw what do you give a fuck about Billy, can I ask right? you straight up well, what do you give a fuck about it's not right it's not like, right but at the same like, time what, like, what, like, what topic what do you think what would you do, like, what do you you were, I'm Billy, saying anything guys 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 stop stop what would you do if you were in Billy's position right now my hope is that I would handle myself just as gracefully and probably no I can sense energy let's say it was your hood rat days when you were in I didn't have hood rat days there were no hood rat days I don't think I've ever is Wayne Brady gonna have to choke a bitch I wouldn't I wouldn't do that no I can I can sense energy and I would just feel heated at all but I feel unsettled and I would definitely have to be like hey Valid. What the fuck? No, and, so and, I and I would back off. Let's do a role play. You're Billy, Billy Ray. You're um, a, a patriarchy supporter. That's good. I love that. Professional, professional. patriarchy <laughs> supporter. Um, Dan's your boyfriend. She okay, just wait, said the ready? shit she said. I can, we can, re- we can Here, reenact it. pretend to be Billy. Go. Wait, can you pretend oh to be, <laughs> to be <laughs> Ben, right? No, well, you, have, just, you have to do it oh first. You have to do it first. Wait, who's doing it first so that she can react to I want to suck your cock. Oh my god. <laughs> no, just do it. Be I'm sorry, I didn't know what to say. I, um, I think you're so disrespectful for saying that with me right here. Like, that's I don't valid. Know, I wouldn't be that and feisty. I, that's I would call her out at least. And I would like, say that's yeah, valid. Really I take my statement face. back and I'll back off. No, no, you're right. You're totally correct, yeah. but I'm going to continue doing it. <laughs> All right, let me get some chats here. Uh, Madison, can you read this? Or did, no, no, we read this. I we read this. Uh, did we do this one? No. Madison. No. Hypothetic- hypothetical. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> You've okay. been seeing someone and now they're your boyfriend slash girlfriend. Who pays when you go out to dinner? 50-50? Does it change if you're living together? Don't give a PCA answer. How do you really feel it should be? Can I say something this time? Related to this or? I wanted. To, I just want to give my sure. last response. Sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. If I did say something, 
Imagine how the chat would react saying how insecure I was. No, okay. Actually, I think they'd back you to be. They would all I have really your back. Don't they love you, Billy. Like so I think it would be. Don't I worry. think it would be. She's so, look at her. She's so insecure. She honestly. I think fuck what they think. Fuck what they think. You're good. Can I have a say <laughs> on that comment? Right. Yeah, I also. We'll, go, we'll go around the table on this. Uh, so here's the chat. Why don't you go first? We'll go all the way around the table. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. You start. Go ahead. Okay. Um, no, if I'm with a man, like, my whole thing is I'll never Wait, be with a, sorry, um, I'll never be with a man that makes less than me, so, like, obviously pay for my dinner, like, duh, I'm never gonna be like, yeah, let me pull out my, let me get my Apple Pay real quick, like, you know, I'm with, I'm with enough red pill guys that they're gonna pay for my dinner. Feel, you don't feel, feel good feels, having someone, like, to pay for someone like to, like, response. give it back? Well, like, Every with the guys, like, the type of guys that I guys, date are winning. all so, like, red pill. Like, they're gonna, they're, it's <laughs> Into, never gonna like, be a question. Into, like, porn stars and, like, having to do everything. I, I can, I can, you know, I got my little moves. I'd be like, baby, okay. I'll put porn for you, you know? And then okay. I do for a little bit. Okay. For a little bit. <laughs> I like putting in the exact same amount of effort the man puts into me. I will cook for them even if they do not cook for me. But I enjoy giving. It's very nice to make other people smile. That's why I love customer service. Okay, nice. Why not make someone customer else's day good? Service. Who pays when we go out to dinner? I'd prefer the guy to pay. I wouldn't really mind paying 50-50. Uh, does it change if we live together? Not really. I think... Um, when I first started dating my boyfriend, he felt a pressure to like pay for everything. But now that we're like living together, we do really like 50-50 and he'll take me on a date, he'll pay for everything, but also like he'll have a bad day. I'll surprise him, I'll be like, hey, I brought sushi for us. Like I like to also I'm give. Sorry. Do things in yeah. return. <laughs> yeah, I like to give too. And it's like my love language, gift giving. So mm -hmm. I'm constantly like bringing stuff. Yes. Yeah. Um, my boyfriend, he usually pays when we go out to eat. We don't normally go out to eat. Um, we like to cook in and stuff, and when that happens, I always make the food. He sucks at cooking, but it's yeah, you're he good cooking he, though. He, he, normally, he normally pays, and that's hot. <laughs> he normally pays. When Love we go a out. man that can't cook. <laughs> yeah. uh, me, um, I'm super big on like I'm very fifty fifty. Unless like if it's, if it's his birthday, like I for sure want to spoil you. I want to buy you gifts. I want to buy you dinner um, on Christmas. Like whatever happens, happens. Sure. I I don't know. Okay. I mean, we live together. He, <laughs> we have like. Uh, I mean, I mean, listen. The, there are times where. No, let her, let her. Well, where she, where she would go to, she would go to pay for things, and I'd be like, no, like you don't need to do this for me. And she says, like. I want to. Like, 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 I want she, 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 she says, she says, how much rent did I pay this month? Because she moved into my into my place. Yeah, I don't pay any. Rent. Yeah, she, she doesn't like like Girl. I've been I've been covering. I've been I, right now. Like, but, but, no, but no, but she but she comes in and and she like she'll she'll buy groceries. She'll she'll take me out to dinner Here's sometime. The setup. So she'll fifty fifty. Things. Even if it's not financially, setup, it's, it's effort wise. The setup like, is I have a beautiful waterfront apartment that I look out at every day and I'm very happy with. And Dan gets organic farm fresh meat that's beautifully that seasoned. <laughs> and all the house is decorated, and I pay for that. She buys every single piece of supplies that we need for a good beach day. And so like, you think it works out that way? 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. So he yeah. puts the yeah. roof but over the head, like and I make it we're pretty. Splitting the bill. We're yeah. putting both of our cards I don't think that's down. what 50 no. yeah. is about She just said all. it best. I put the roof over our head, and she makes it pretty. So that's let's, just, like. let's just ask, that's though, like. because what the, I think some of the table's argument is like, oh, but I have so much money that, like, or these people have so much. So let's just say he was a multi- like Jeff Bezos billionaire, would you still do the same thing? Um, well, yeah, because I feel I'm like the sweating. way I do it now is just I make his life optimal. Yes, he provides. So yes. What I, I would do, do the same thing. The home. Yes. Yeah, what I That's do like the... I make sure that all the food going into his body is like the best quality Good. stuff we can yes. get. I make sure that the area that he's living in is organized and beautiful. So if it was Jeff Bezos, I'd do the same exact thing. I mean, I'm well, sure he has yeah. a personal chef. This is such chef, a like, particular scenario because Jeff Bezos is one of those okay, wait, wealthy people. So it's like your life would be so inconceivably different if you were involved with Jeff Bezos. It's just like... <laughs> but would she still show her true colors and be that person and still do the same things? And she's I'm just, qualifying I'm as yes. I'm just curious, like, what, like, 
if you're because if you're married to Jeff Bezos, you're not cooking. I would never. You're not I would, cleaning up. I would absolutely like, no. I would absolutely you, cl- cook and clean yeah, one day. Maybe you. maybe you I know have, you have. I like, wouldn't right, and I would thing. take it upon myself <laughs> to say no. I want to cook for you tonight. I know no, no, she no. cooks great all week. I want to cook for you. There's probably like if you're married to Jeff Bezos, he has like a professional <laughs> chef preparing the meals. There's probably a fucking food taste tester. I hate that. Like, that's hate how that. fucking yeah, rich but it takes, Jeff Bezos. But let's be real. You get what we're asking, right? Like, would would you still show up as the same human in the same, uh, you know, like attitude, personality? Yeah, like if he's in a different tax bracket, would you still show that same love? Because I think what they're looking at is she's like, I'm never gonna pay because he has so much money. I'm like, no, I, no, it no, doesn't no, take no, away no, from no. my character because the other male or the male has so much money. Like I still want to make you dinner every now and again. Wait, but I don't, I don't think that. I think it's the type of guys I fuck with are so red pill. They, they would never think it's cool. We're going cool. backwards. I no, I was just asked. thinking. I, I just think asked. I'm just correcting you Is because your Mormon husband they would never think. I'm gonna <laughs> continue, but they would never think that it's okay for me to pay. They just wouldn't. They would feel like, they'd be like, no, you're a woman. What and you, so you wouldn't you tell them like, no, I, I want to pay for you. Like, I, mean, I appreciate I, I, I you. I want to like pay. That. I can be like that, but they're going to be like, no, like you're a woman. I'm going to pay. Like, you know, they're just, I, I feel like some people are just red pill um, quality so actually. Maybe it's not. Pay. I mean, yeah. I think it is. I have had a man, <laughs> 25 year old, Pay, tell me I am not allowed to drive myself anywhere when I'm with him. I'm not allowed uh, to pay for Mike any of my Davis own. Mike donated on, hold on, hold on. $100. Yo, thank you, Mike Davis. Mexico, her face is busted and now she's gone. You're off I pretty screen. much ended that grease ball MLD's career. Mike Davis has that precision and knows how to cut right through Third the soul. Person. Which low life should I end next chat? Mike um, Davis. Which low life should you end next? Yeah, Mike Davis. Low life, so don't look at me. Mike Davis, you need to so end. You can who's, end mine. Yeah. Who's annoying <laughs> on social media right now? Who's annoying? Logan Paul's kind of annoying. Um, I haven't no, heard of him for a while. Um, did you see that? Dylan Dennis reposted our video. No, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh shit! I didn't see that. Wait, we're yeah. talking about talking about him and Nina. Yeah. What would y'all say? Was it bad? Yeah. Well, it was on the uh, the Make Me a Sandwich podcast. It was what podcast. Dan was saying. Go ahead and check it out. <laughs> Uh, no, but I basically just made the point that there's no way that that relationship is not currently on the rocks. Obviously. There's no way that it's not. You can't marry that anymore. Well, have you seen some of their mm-hmm. clips? Like, they're, they did a podcast together, and the yeah, way she PR. talks to him is, like, I have yeah. it. super aggressive. No, but it's post weird. that. They've had interviews post that, mm. and I just think that's a PR. Oh, they've had, they've had interviews post all the shit that's come out? I think there was one where they were saying that, or no, maybe it was just Logan saying, like, of course I've been laughing at it. Like, we sit down together and laugh there's at no it way. at night. There's no way. There's he, no he's, way. He's dying inside. Yeah. <laughs> that is I ins- love, insane here, to I love Leonardo DiCaprio, but the moment, like, if a girl who I'm trying to pursue, if I know she fucked Leonardo DiCaprio, I feel like that's kind of a rap, you know? Not to say that I'm <laughs> like, it. Not are you say, insecure, so sexy. Well, it's not, here's the thing though, it's not like, honestly, Leo's bagging some really, some pretty hot babes. So I, I'm not sure if I too. could get the girls he's Probably getting. Probably because of his wealth, attractive? though. Huh? He doesn't do think, think they're attractive. Don't ever talk yourself down like that. No, do you think Nina, do you think Nina's attractive? Because personally, in the amount of guys everyone she's thinks she's attractive. She's a beautiful the, the, the woman, physically? of course. Who? But like, no, she's afterwards, not a porn no, star. like, like knowing, like knowing that she did all that. Who is this? She's I mean, got that kind of even. like. Logan Paul's. Season. I'm not Beyonce. sure if she's attractive. Model. Like, look. like knowing, you know what I but mean? like knowing that she fucked all those guys and is with Logan. Like, what, like, do you think he thinks she's still attractive now? Are you talking? Yeah, he's marrying her. I don't just think well, he, he didn't. He, wasn't, he, he doesn't. He didn't know all that though. Is, now he does. Look, like, your woman is supposed to be I a think, reflection of you as a man. If that's the reflection of you, you're not. I too do good not believe so you that any. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say I don't point. believe that any so. relationship prior to the one that you are in now has anything to do with your relationship. Like that you're having now. Actually, well, no, like being, you like, were based up until now. No, no, not even that. Not you like so that. Based. You I'm were saying, so good. You're so based. No, the people they've been with. I'm not saying so. Um, whoa, whoa, wait. Okay, um, are you going to go wait, back wait, wait, to your wait, wait. ex? Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. They've had sex with wait, these people. Wait, let me ask you a question. So, let's say you're pursuing a guy. Is there a girl that a guy could have gotten with that would make you like turned off because he got with her? Was I his girl? Yeah. At the time? No, no, no. no you, but Valid. in his past, he like. Some okay, chick was that, that was that was I with him at that time? No, no that's not my business. I wasn't in his life okay, at that okay. point. Here, here, let me let me try to think of. I'm a sorry, good I'm not example. immature. If a girl, I'm trying to think of a guy that would like totally put me off of wanting to be with a girl. If a girl fucked seal, what's wrong with seal? That what, you would you would stay with her? I mean, no, I feel like well, he's no, no, but 
Please like, pack that, that one song from the 90s is kind of a bang. And no, sex it, is, it, like, yeah, so there, appealing to people, then they need to get their, like, how's it go? Can you sing it? Sing it for us. No, I don't even know what you're going to sing. Can you sing it? Like, I've had sex with plenty of people. Has he even made any music? It's been a minute. He had one hit in the 90s. Okay. I've had sex with plenty of people. I would never... But that's not something I bring up to my... Freaking lover. If someone yeah. fucked uh, Uzi too, that's oh who? fuck. Okay, I'm gonna get. I don't know famous people. I don't care for. <laughs> I don't insert my life like that. If like, who is that? We don't know who that is over here. No, 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 no. I don't Wait, know Uzi. famous people. That's the problem. I do not. I'm sorry, waste Fuzzy my too, time going on social media just, like that. I, I swear to God, G7 knows, shit, I don't even leave my room. I don't play video games. I don't do anything. Social media is not all to life. I go to the beach and I read. I have a charcuterie board or a bonfire. Like, there's more to life than. Okay, that's cool, socials. but I, maybe this is something that's more pronounced in men. Like, as a guy, if you know a girl fucked a certain dude and you, like, you don't have they're either insecure. respect they have for small it. I totally get or that. Or they're insecure. Yeah. Well, it's like if, what, you, if they fucked your it, brother, what, like, what is it? What does Sorry. that have to do with anything? Because they're yeah. probably thinking, oh, he probably did really good on her, and that's icky. Or, or, no, or it could be not I, necessarily. that guy's an icky person in general, and you've been with him, so gross. I don't like no, you. No, it's either it's she clearly liked him enough to do that and mm -hmm. therefore he she is bonded to that guy which makes her less inclined to bond to me as quickly as I would like her to oh and the fact that she was bonded to him at one point and is now trying to bond with me no. there's a chance that that bond could be broken again see I understand that but some people leave their exes for a reason and choose not to go back and want to rebond with someone else they don't right, want but to what be if they have a pattern? Ex. Well, then that's their problem. They need to get themselves fixed. Right, but you're that's saying it doesn't matter. It's none of your business yes. what they did in the past. If, they, if they're really upset about it, I'm not going to get upset with them. Like, oh, you fucked her? Cool. You're with me now. Nah, but what if it's like your best friend or like your brother fucked your girl? Like, no, I would be like, I would straight up like not. You know, I feel like it doesn't have to be someone you're like really close to. Like, there's a few people where I'm like, yeah, it could if be like. If I heard that he had been with her before, I'd be like really turned off. Like, I'd ask like, about it. I'd be like, me? like I'd ask what you know? felt, or I just wouldn't act upon I like. You. <laughs> the only time I ever did care is when I was so insecure about the way I looked that I was like, oh, he's been with her. Like, why does he want me? I don't. I don't like him anymore. Like, he likes. He likes fucking bitches. Like, no. Now I'm like, okay, well, he's with me for a reason, and I'm not going to think myself into such a negative mindset that he doesn't want to be with me anymore. Just Are we just dialing I've never looked like in who that they've had sex with or what like, they've done. Like, guys, with, if you've, like, general, ran the streets no, it and, could like, be ran in through every no, girl, like, of people. course the guy's going to be I've never looked in that direction. Like, oh, if she was really like, pretty, like, I'm intimidated. Like, was there ever a girl that you, like, really hated in high school? Yes, I'm just thinking of one specific girl who has, like... Who literally said, <laughs> yeah, and if a guy to was my like two-year relationship you boyfriend after. on his birthday, yeah. I hated that girl. But I, I was, I was a teen. I was so young and so stupid and living with him that I didn't realize I could have walked out of that man's life at any given moment. I think maybe this is a difference between men and women. But if there's, I almost wonder if women are more inclined to fuck a guy who has slept with uh, a woman that they hate because it's almost like some sort of yeah. power like revenge yeah, yeah, thing. Yeah, I hate that. Whereas yeah. for men, if you fucked a guy we hate, that is like the biggest fucking turn off. Or, <laughs> uh, or a guy we really like. It's not just personal preference. Like, like, one, yes. of my bo like one of my yeah. boys, oh my God, the moment that my, like I could be incredibly interested in a girl. Like potentially, oh my God, our vibe was great. She's like the future love of my life. She might be the one. The moment that she dates one of my friends, there is a switch in my head that goes, Never. That's There's good. a difference Literally between homie hopping drops. and then going with someone like random, random. If they're no, like I'm not, not saying friends. it's out of friendship. Sorry. I'm, oh really? Like, important. That's not out of friendship. It's literally just ingrained in my head. She's no longer attractive. That's the it's same thing. It's not out of respect to my friends. I'm not gonna friends. go with the guys that I don't want to be her Eskimo sister. I want to be her sister. Like, ew. yeah. Oh, that's here's gross. a good one. If if a girl fucked a guy with a bunch of face tattoos, for some reason that I'm like, you're done. <laughs> No, I that's can't. Valid. I, I don't love care. Okay, wait, what about Post Malone? Would, would that? I have 32 that, tattoos. I mean, I wouldn't, but I'm like, no, come on, he's so it's sweet. He's really? So sweet. Tattoos are amazing. I have 32. No, I face I would, tattoos? I think I would want to. Yeah, I, I, will, I literally have always wanted like a little rose like right have, here have on the side. I'm, I'm going to give you, you a guy with, don't do it. With like face, <laughs> blasted with face tattoos. Not blasted with face tattoos. But he's got a couple. Just a couple. SoundCloud rapper. Just a couple. I'm sorry, you're done. Cute little broken heart. A little Zan moment. I haven't. Am I on the table? Yeah, if my boyfriend yeah. like dated the female equivalent of yes. that like before me, I'd be like, Ugh. like that's mm. a big turn off. Yeah. Like, for face tattoos, very unattractive. Just like I think I'm a piece of walking kind of art. vibe. That's the only reason I, I get know. tattoos. Wait, can Not we ask the, exact the chat? Face tattoos. Wait, let's ask the chat, Nick. If you can pull up the chat really quick, yo, chat. 
what kind of girl would, or sorry, what kind of guy would a girl have to sleep with? You can give us some details, descriptive uh, terms. What kind of guy would a girl, Jesus, I can't think of my words right now. What kind of guy would be, if a girl hooked up with him, would it just be a no-go for you to pursue the girl? Rappers, Flavor Flav, a vegan, <laughs> a vegan, a, vegan, a felon, yeah, my father. Okay. Yeah, that's a good example. Like if she... F- yeah, my father, that's, that's awful. That's disgusting. Wait, question. If I... F- uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I don't care. You just say it. Just say it. Like if me and your mom got down. My mom's a slut. Yes, go for it. You, oh, but would you would you date me if I had just got? Oh with your no, mom? no. Oh my god. Um, I just would... think you're a little old for that, so obviously no. Like I'm in I'm the real, I'm in a wait. good mindset. No, so. but anyone, I'm, anyone well, that fucks. Oh, your mom. anyone that, that has sex with my mom, I don't. I'm not gonna like them regardless because they talked to my mother. Yeah, that's weird. Why would that's I like so you? I feel like so mom is such mom? like a bad mom, example. I do. Not. I don't that fuck with my mom. So the, I guess the point all, I'm trying to make publicly. though. Like I don't fuck with my mom publicly. When she, She's a piece of shit. Like, for sure. Knows what she does. No, we have really shitty parents. You can't say that. We have really I'm shitty parents. I'm putting your kid in a car whenever she's 14. I, don't, I haven't spoke to my dad so, in years, but I'm not going to come out and publicly fuck But, like, our shit parents, like, That's a level of respect. Really awful. Okay, okay, see, what okay. we do different right. things for work, for life, and that's maybe like where the divide CPS is. 30 CPS cases but, but I, don't know. I would yeah. never speak negatively yeah. about my parents on a platform. Yeah. I don't even consider them parents. They yeah, are But I, under, really I understand awful. where you're coming from. I lived with my grandma my entire life, too. Yeah, I would never talk shit about my grandma. The people who raised me, no. Okay, we get it. It's not even sad. None of this makes me sad. It's all a learning lesson. That makes me sad. It makes me sad that, that you guys lesson. are willing to talk That's why I have I daddy and that. men. My values lay in a different place, but that's okay. I respect you know, everyone it. grows up a lot differently than others. and that's 100%. That's the yes. whole reason why we all act the way we do. Mm. That's why I don't get upset with like, That's why I'm not yes, anything. in the same One. industry as you. Yes. Okay. I have a chat here from... Wait, let me read this before I pull it up. Um, <laughs> Layla, can you read this? Oh, wait, hold course, on. It's going to come in just a sec. The hell is feminism? That word is not even in my vocabulary. Also, Layla, I'm a guess you and Zerka do coke together every other night, so no wonder you have like 20 brain cells, but don't worry, so does he. Sobriety From rolls. Zerka's coke supplier, what's up? Sobriety <laughs> Me and Zerka do <laughs> not do cocaine that. together, <laughs> and every time that we get off to go to the bathroom, it's because we genuinely have to pee. Based. Your nation's awesome. Okay. Um, <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. I had some more stuff here. Uh, let me see. Let me pull up my notes. So, uh, let's see. You you don't do OF, correct? No OF. Liter- never. never. Okay. Okay. Never. Um, you say you can cons- you consider yourself more like conservative, traditional. Yes, correct. But so you said that in your notes to us, you had a sugar daddy while I had a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. And this is the sugar daddy. This is the same before, person. Before. Yes, so we're Have to. you ever had any other sugar daddies? Never in my life. This is the only one. Yeah. Okay. By the book, I would call it that. So no, no blurred lines between sure. prostitution and whatever. Yes. Word. But you, you did have a sugar daddy. And my boyfriend was completely okay with it. Oh, he knew. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, he, I, he was under the. He, he did say like, I don't want at this time. We're not together anymore. I don't want anyone else to know. Because naturally, society is going to blur the lines, which I agree. But well, yes, no, hundred percent. That's a fact. What you're, it's not bad what you're saying. You're literally saying this man who took like was my friend noticed that I could use a little bit of help, help and he in whatever way took yeah. me under his wing and helped me. I don't think that is that's bad at all. It's all platonic. You're not giving him sex. You're not kissing him. You're not telling him that you love him. Nothing in like, even close to that. Yeah. And so I, it's, at that point, it's not really even sugar babying. It's actually literally just a but really, really definition. good friend. No, because you're not, it you're is not in love definition. with him. Look you're, at you're not, yes. you're not convincing him that <laughs> you love okay. him. Sugar baby. I'm not, all right. I don't oh, think it's like bad what different. you do. Like no, I'm not, not shaming you, like do your own thing. But I personally would see it like I'm giving another man my attention. You know, it would just be like a personal thing. It's not attention. But if you're, you said it's all platonic, so I don't see any type of like love coming from you. It doesn't have to be like flirting and stuff. During that period of time, there's, there's like, yeah, more than but like, there is no mother. there's but, yeah. no like it's the same way I would talk to like you as if you were my friend or Allison if she's my friend but what we talk about is strictly business not strictly business I'll take that out um, we talk about business we talk about um, life like where he's at in life where I'm at in life with no sexual anything attached yeah. so let's not I think turn as long it that as way that yeah, man, like really knows nice. that he doesn't no, have a chance he, he's like, very ever, much so like, on the same page he cares about me as if I was like his 
Um, He's a big uncle, right? Yeah, like okay. I was his niece. Like he he genuinely was like, "Are you good? Like, are you okay?" That he's never implied any sexual tendencies or anything in between. But attention wise, now if I'm telling him like I'm sending him photos or I'm like being like, "Oh, I'm into you," like so send me something. That's never what it's been. It's genuinely like as if you were talking to. And I can't speak on your family, but um, like your uncle, your family, and they were like, "Let me help you." Valid. But that Life is by definition now a sugar baby. Z mode. Okay, so <laughs> uh, you also said in your pre-show notes to us that you had to convince a guy to take the clap no! pill wait, by by lying. Yes. And okay. Saying wait. It was so this else. is. Sorry. What did you say? Wait. I didn't what? hear any of that. I didn't either. Me either. Wait, Brian, can we not do that one again? Actually, can we? Can we? Can we no, can we not? But you I'm said, asking you, you said in the notes, you said you convincing oh, wait, a guy you to do take. It? Okay, let's go. To, you, to take oh, wait, the I'm clap excited. pill by lying this and saying something. This is a good one. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's fucking do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do me. Wait, read that again, Brian. What? Yeah, what did you say? I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear it either. Don't worry about it. Well, if it's going to be on that podcast, I'm going to worry about it. Oh, my God. You should have been listening the first two Are times. I was. Heard you. None of us I'm could hear. There were so many people talking so over each other. I literally couldn't hear. Okay. Women it? unite. So in your pre-show notes to us. Can I say said, it? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Tell the story. Okay. So this isn't a personal story of mine, but. Um, oh. Okay. It was a friend. Wait. You asked specifically okay. any interesting uh, uh, stories. Of course, of course. And I said, I've got plenty. <laughs> Okay, what is it? I'm so interested. Um, okay, so someone convincing someone else to take um, <laughs> a pill for the clap. A what? Chlamydia, which is technically not the clap. Okay. Chlamydia, are we all on the same page now? Wait, they convinced yeah. him to take a pill for it? Well, let me speak. And then sorry, okay, sorry. Some, convincing someone to take a pill for the clap by telling them that it's a different pill. It's not this. Why didn't they want to take it? They didn't want to. Sorry, sorry, sorry. They didn't want to tell them that they had chlamydia. Wow. So, but but what are your views? What were you, what are your views? Do you agree with that? Well, wait, hold on. You need to tell the full pill. story. Okay. okay, wait. So, because everyone's asking fucking questions. Okay. And I'm not close to the mic. But, okay, I'm so. Well, you asked okay. us a question. Let, so. me, let me try to clarify. In the pre-show message, I don't know if it's you. I don't know if it's a friend of yours. Convincing a guy to take the, the pill, the antibiotics for chl chlamydia <laughs> by lying and saying it was something else. Yes. What, so, yes. okay. What, what's the component of oh, I understand saying exactly. it was something else? It's okay. Like, so, let's let's play it out okay so you find out you have chlamydia you want to tell someone this is I'll, I'll play it as if it was me it was not me um and i find out my boy like i have chlamydia now my boyfriend has chlamydia without me knowing or with, without oh. him knowing and so someone literally said um like i get bb like my vagina like is thrown off by um ph so like okay. you coming inside me whatever and said take this pill it'll <laughs> No, not on me. No, that's that's smart. But like, no, it's on. terrible. But yes, and and um, no, yeah, lied to them like, and yeah. just said like my pH is off, so you have to take this pill. It'll balance it out, and wow. they like they fully took it. What? That's crazy. Oh, that's that. not how that. I'm not works. gonna lie. Wait, no, it is. It is. It is. It is. No, that is. Hold on. Boric you're acid. Tell, you're telling me that that's there's a real a thing pill that can just get rid of chlamydia. Boric acid is a suppository. What? That a girl takes. That a girl takes. But you made you convinced him to take it like a pill. No, 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 not boric. Acid. No, no, I know, but you no, called no, it boric no. acid. That's hilarious. I didn't convince anyone to do this. Oh, yeah, I, I didn't. But you're playing the part. You're playing the part. Not this friend. Yeah, you point not me. this friend. No. Do not point to her on like camera. Said, no. So you, told you have him? you have a fr friend. A really good friend. I think you know who this person is. Too, is it yes. Rara? I'm not fucking disclosing it. No, it's not Rara. No. Wait, I know who it is. Anyways, move on. No, no. What was your question before? Can Can you whisper it to me? I won't. I won't say it. Just whisper. No. Yeah, after the show. Not right now. Okay. So you said, look, and, and let me okay, like okay. defend let me, myself. You let said me. any interesting stories, and I'm like, well, this is what I have to offer. That's a That's really beautiful. Story. Okay, no, so if I can, let me just reiterate so I make sure we under, all understand. You had a friend who I suppose she cheated on her boyfriend or some shit. No, she got. She was having sex, got into a relationship with someone, wasn't STD checked. And then okay, so she, yes. she was sleeping with multiple no. guys, got into a relationship. Yes, Turns correct. out she has the clap, she has chlamydia. So yeah. she's dating a guy, and she assumes that she <laughs> gave the new guy. She chlamydia. found out, yes, yes. Okay, and so what she did was instead of just saying, "Hey, listen, I." Yes. 
got I got fucking <laughs> She's like, VD. here, take this pill. I got VD. She was she was ashamed. She was ashamed. She Did was embarrassed because it? it's not something No, no, she literally said But so, how does he know it worked? Oh my god. What do you mean? How does he know it? Because sometimes it doesn't work. Yeah. How do what you doesn't work? The pill. the pill. Sometimes it doesn't work. Well, I don't know. I guess so sorry. I'm just like, I mean, you don't have sex for seven days. For and then. Okay. Oh my God. So, <laughs> the friend gave the guy I don't know some antibiotic. Told him it was something else. A hundred percent. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's a f- felony, but okay. That's why you're saying whisper it right now. I'm like, not on camera. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, you can't be giving is people it? fucking pills and. I would assume that that's them. like it's illegal. Be somehow, somehow I would. It has to be. Yeah. So I would mean, you do that? What would you do? What would you do in your circumstance? I think you should just tell them. I definitely wouldn't like lie to them and say, "Hey, <laughs> here's a fucking vitamin," but it's actually a fucking antibiotic that you might vitamin be allergic to and die from. But okay. No, yeah. I die would, from? Yeah, some people I'm die from. You, you could be allergic by to certain medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I mean, so it's, messed up it, on so many. I suppose. Okay. It's, <laughs> no. I suppose it's one step better than you hear stories of people like crushing up pills and secretly putting it in food yeah that's valid <laughs> at least yeah. you said here's a pill but I, don't know. Like, I don't even think there's still, no, i don't think there's any at least that's a that's, yikes that's, crazy. that's a yikes <laughs> okay um, is it though is it that what would your experience i i heard this and i was like well i mean if you're not gonna tell him it's rather it's better than him no you gotta living tell him. On no because you should, they should have informed obviously there's consent. a right yes obviously well of course it's informed wrong. consent to have stds of course it's wrong you to give someone them. a pill of course tell them of it's course. something else yes of course it's also wrong to. but what would you have done if you were in the if you were in that reciprocated position where you were like I'm i wouldn't have been a coward and tried he probably would have came to clean like yeah. every other sane person i would have been i would not i would i don't know i you, probably yeah. would have done that look but honestly it was a girl right did she know she had hold on, it was hold a on, female on, it was on. a female it Jesus was a female fuck. okay it was a girl right yeah okay i mean you're not you don't have to convince me like i know what the no, right thing what, to do was here, but. this would have been like the play look what she could have done she would have come clean she would have been like hey listen i mean if she wanted to I don't advocate for lying, but like she could have at least in an effort to be transparent about the pill that she was trying to give him, she could have said, hey, listen, um, I've been asymptomatic with this for a long time. I just went and got tested. Maybe you fucking gave it to me. I don't know. You, you should it back on him. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? That was lying. Come on. Come on. That's why it's it very been. controversial. It's very controversial. Well, it no. it could have been, been, no, been him. No, very why, yeah. firm, but that's but not. That's, that's, I'm not saying that that's the best thing you could have done, but it's better than like here, like lying, lying about what medicine What's they're about quote? to take. It's like um, two rights don't make a wrong or like same, same, but different. So I think you, she could have looked. The, the, if on. she wanted to do a little white lie, she could have been like, look, I've been asymptomatic with this. You're the, you're the only guy. You gave I've it been to me. With. Take it. <laughs> no, it's just she could have been like, look, I, I was with a guy before you. I've been asymptomatic. This clears up really quick. Here's a pill like. She should have. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, you should have been upfront yeah. about that shit. Yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah. Well, but I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy though. That's like why I've never heard that. That is a yikes. Um, let's see. You have some more stories from us for for us. Me. Bro- Wait, broke up, me. Broke up with six-year boyfriend. I'm gonna. You wait. said you're making a comeback right now. What does that mean? Yeah, she was like big. You're uh, starting to like rock them back. Okay. <laughs> mine are good. Mine. He asked me what are good stories. I'm like, here, I got a lot. Okay, you broke up with your six-year boyfriend to fuck the guy you lost your virginity yes, to. Yes, that is a fact. At a yes. young age. At a young um, age. Yes, hundred percent. So I still shout out to the. Hopefully that guy's still listening to this. No, I absolutely did that. I was. Are you asking me? Or? Wait, the five to six-year one. That's not the most recent one. Correct? No. Okay. No. No. But this so is you when I was broke younger. up with your six-year boyfriend. Five to six. Yes. To fuck the guy, you lost your virginity to. Yeah, to, to fuck is very vulgar, a vulgar way to put it. But yes, no, I was going to Sweden to visit him, and I was with a guy, and um, I, I genuinely what? Nothing. Oh, what? She's no. just reacting. Oh. Yeah, Sweden. oh, I thought you said cool. something. I'm like, what? Wait, why were you visiting him when you Sweden had a boyfriend oh. at the time? Wait, just I had. Clear. Well, yeah, um, we'll get really clear. Wait, it's so, okay. You had a five to six year boyfriend. Just a point of clarification. You were going to visit the guy who you lost your virginity to in Sweden. Yes. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Who, who had I been good friends with for a long time? And I told the guy that I was with, I said, I don't want to be with you. I'm going to visit this guy. Also, it oh. ties into, I have um, the guy that I was having sex with when right. I was young, has a best friend who's also one of my best friends. So I was going to see her. So you, but okay, you broke up with him before. Yes. 
Yes. But okay, be honest though. When you were still in the relationship, were you communicating and planning this fuck rendezvous with Sweden man? No. No. I'll say that with my chest. No. But you said you were still close friends with him and like talking yeah. to him. Yeah, but we weren't communicating any fuck rendezvous or whatever you want to call it. Absolutely yeah. not. <laughs> Do you think no. you can just be friends with the guy that you fucked before when you're in a relationship with someone else? You know what? I, I do think when I was younger, I thought that. Now, I would say absolutely not. I think that once I learned these yourself. lessons and did these things, now I'm like, ooh. <laughs> now I'm like, no, absolutely not. Only Because you like proved yourself wrong in part a of way. Me? Do you feel like you proved yourself wrong? 100%. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. I mean, like, if I hadn't learned that lesson that way, I would have never, I would have never known. I disagree. Agreed. We already went you can fuck yeah. people that are not I your think, friends. I think we oh, know what she said, thinks. You, I thought you said, can you, or wait. wait. What? Yeah, wait, you can but fuck, I'm you a, can, you fuck can. Fuck people that are your friends. Yeah, we're saying you can you still be friends. No, we're saying you opposite, can't be yeah. friends with someone that you've already fucked. Wait, but I'm a little have, confused. I mean, Hold I mean, on. You know, I Hold on. Just I'm just I, little, I don't think you can. I think it too many ties. I'm just a little confused here because in your pre-show message you said broke up with six-year boyfriend to mm -hmm. f the guy I lost my virginity to. Mm -hmm. So that makes it sound like okay. Wait, you also broke you asked and I very boyfriend. frequently like wrote it back to you. So if you're gonna put it like verbatim for what I said, it's yeah, very no, vulgar. But is, no, no, absolutely. Yeah, okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, I'm not upset with the language. Would you used what I'm trying to point no, out? I don't is, think you are. I'm, but cool. you, you mentioned the you're you're making it about the the word fuck. You said broke up what? with six year boyfriend to fuck the so like it's just just for that. So I'm asking. Okay, no, that's I'm asking, yeah, so that's you unclear. Broke, the, the reason you broke up with your boyfriend was to fuck. No, so yeah, that's unclear and no. So why did you break up with your boyfriend? Because I knew I was going to see this person and I knew I was going to see them and visit them. So <laughs> and wait, probably so, I mean, so, I'm gonna have dinner with them. So you broke up with him for them. to go. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. No, you were bored with the relationship. <laughs> you wanted out. You wanted out of that relationship for yeah, sure. Yeah, so maybe they I used it as a crutch. I used it as a crutch, yeah, to be like, I'm going. But you but you knew you were leaving and you wanted some fun or whatever, but like that relationship was dead and gone. But it wasn't for the, yeah, absolutely. That relationship was dead. Was it? Though it yes. wasn't, yes. it was wait, it, it wasn't. probably but you just, or it was. was. What are you saying it was to? You're confusing <laughs> us. Can I try to summarize? Please, no. Well, unless it, as long as we're gonna have like a eye to eye respectful thing, but yeah, no, be disrespectful. You're, you're, you're afraid of me disagreeing? No, disagree. not at all. Disagree. Please okay. disagree with me. No. Disagree. So, you dated a guy for six years, five Cle to six, yes. clearly, it was like fading, there were, yes. there were feelings lost. How long did you know that the feelings were faded before you actually broke up with him? Mm, I don't know. I was too young to decide that. It was a total learning lesson. I'm when did sure. you start talking to the guy in Sweden? I far before I ever dated the guy for six years when I was twelve. When and I was thirteen. Continued during to talk the relationship. To him during the relationship. Wait, sorry, what? And continued to talk to him during the relationship. Did you talk to Sweden man the whole time you were yeah. dating this guy yes. for five oh, years? Yeah. Okay. But but not talked like as like just. And then. Did the boyfriend know? <laughs> Yes. And then while you yeah. were dating... And he was uncomfortable with it. And I was like, no, we're friends. And then I, it was very clear, like, yeah. that's and how we learn the guy. lesson. And you then, can't talk to people you guy. had sex okay. with. And then while you were dating him, you dating the six-year-long relationship guy, mm -hmm. you planned a trip to Sweden to see, my to, best to friend see your best friend. Yeah. And then as that date was approaching, you realized, I'm probably going to sleep with this guy. Or somebody, mm. or or somebody. Or some <laughs> so before, so before I go on this trip, I need to end this relationship so I'm not technically cheating. Uh, well, wait, you guys were breaking up. You, you guys know, were wait, on the and way off you're saying it. You guys were on sound, and off it's, it's on very, the like, It was it was gosh, very much that's not over. how it happened, but yes, it was very much over. But then you were going on this trip, and I think you were like really the trip just gave me the, the, the excuse ties. out. I, yeah. I was having a hard time. I'm like, oh my god, I'm in love with this guy. I love this guy. I don't want to leave you. This trip gave me the out. I'm like, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna be with my best friend Ida. I'm gonna see this guy. Um, there's a likely chance that I'm gonna have interest in him. I'm gonna use this as the out. Okay. So, so I'm gonna break so, out with so him, break the, up with him. So, right. so, the is, so what you said is accurate. So prior to the breakup, you what knew you're gonna meet gonna up. Fucking? What do you mean? Okay, I have a couple questions. So okay, um, was this like a summer trip? It was during the summer. Yes. Okay. So how how uh, sorry, I'm trying to gather the words for this. Sorry, I'm, I'm trying to. I, well, I'm trying to figure out how to articulate this. 
okay, when, okay, how much time you broke up with him and then did you leave the next day to no, go to Sweden? No. How much time before you left uh, for the trip? A week, I mean, I couldn't say exact. I'd say like three months. Three months, okay, okay. Three months before the trip, yeah. you broke up. Well, I mean, how like okay. you book a flight early, and then you're like, "Well, I'm not feeling you this lost anymore." You feelings beforehand. I was you, very you checked were out. out. You I didn't were know out of that relationship. Yeah, I didn't know how. It was to. off and on. You knew each other at that point. Yeah. Oh, years before. Yeah. Okay. I okay. didn't know how that's, to end it. I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna." That's a, you know, this is a little bit redeeming because the way I was thinking is like you broke up a week before you and left. And then the next day she goes out. Awesome. Within yeah, three no, days no, of being in Sweden, like you fucked another guy. No. I, that's, that's not how it no. happened, no. No. But you did okay. say that your motivation, uh, the, cool. the out, as you said it, was the fact that you knew that you were going to potentially be intimate with the guy in Sweden. Um, not intimacy that I was into, but not intimacy. No. I think just being but I still had in interest. General. Yeah, like I just still wanted to go and like be a hot not. girl summer. I mean, you wanted, <laughs> you wanted, you wanted a single summer. Hot girl summer. Can we like? You wanted but, to cut the ties. But is it, is it that's from your opinion? Say what you're saying, because you're trying to sum my shit up and make it like whatever. What is your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Like no, I'm. It, no, it, it's 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 clarifying what Brian was asking you. You. Yeah, you might have been out of the relationship mentally, but the reason you ended it was because of another guy. Mm, wrong. I, you know what? I actually like the way she's explained it, assuming everything wrong. checks out. Uh, I mean, I don't think people like have to be chained. Like if it just the relationship wasn't working out. I, it's better than if she stayed in the relationship, went on this Euro trip and like cheated on him. Right. So I mean like Valid. in that last year you were not I mean like it like, was a genuine thought process. I was like I'm not into it. Like I've 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 been with this guy. I'm not going there to fuck him. Like I've 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 I have intimacy in the past with this guy. I'm still I'm still in communication. I'm interested in this person. I happen to fuck him, yes, or have sex with him, however we want to put it. But it wasn't in no ill intention or ill will to hurt anyone. It was a learning lesson. It was how I learned like, I'm not meant to be with this guy. I have this interest. I booked this flight. Like, here. Yeah, I mean, I think it's not the worst. I mean, how often do we tell people who cheat or want to cheat, how hard is it to just look? If you want break to up. be with someone else, just break up, end the relationship. You did that. So, <laughs> right. I think yeah. the three, it was three months from the time you I would say up minimum, time, yeah, minimum, minimum, yeah. Cause it, but if, you didn't you didn't end it to go to Sweden to go have sex. sex. No, that relationship no. needed it, to end valid? for a long, long time. No, 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 no I'm, I'm just trying to fill in. Uh, no, I'm not saying that you did anything. I'm, I'm not saying you did anything wrong here. Okay, I think it, first of all, it's a very, very, it's a very, very common thing that girls will stay in relationships and sort of plan the breakup. Yeah. Right? They start to market well, themselves. I'm not going to impulsively leave someone if it if it might work out. They, and there's they, feelings that are still there too. They linger. I but mean, you, but they, you but you start to market yourself to other men before you pull the trigger on a breakup. Sorry, what, what was that? I'm you sorry. market yourself to other men before you actually pull the trigger on a breakup. Well, I wasn't marketing this myself. Is, it was just time? in my head. Well, look, you were technically marketing yourself to this so guy. So you've dated you someone in. and you've never been like, oh, this relationship just needs to end. I'm not thinking about anything else. Is I think what you're saying. No, 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 absolutely. Dan, isn't it the case, though, when, when women are starting to angle for ending a relationship that not always, but there's usually some other guy that 100%. They're, they're looking Every at? Every time? Yes. No. Women are never single. That's 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 basically the same. They're never single. You always you <laughs> always you always, you always, always, have, another you always have another guy. You always have another guy that's ready. I mean, I get no, what you're I saying. No, I don't agree that with that. I could see why, but no. <laughs> Wait, I not get, me. I get what so you're funny. saying, and I think talk about that later I'll be here all night. Oh, oh my god. god. No. Ryan, you're getting rubbed in. No, <laughs> again, I want to make crystal clear. I'm not saying that the way that you went about it was wrong. I'm saying that you said in the earlier description that the actual catalyst for the official breaking of ties with the guy in the six-year relationship was the fact that you knew you had feelings for the guy in Sweden and were going to visit him. So by definition, maybe you didn't break up with him to fuck this other guy, but you broke up with him because of this other guy. There were other like, reasons. So. There but were even if, I don't think that's the case, but even if it was, wouldn't you find that respectful that I was like, I'm gonna end with you because I'm having other thoughts? No, that's what I just said. I said, I don't think you're doing anything wrong. What I'm saying oh, is I think, that the, I think that this was accurate the way that you previously described it. You said, 
I, it was on the outs. Yeah. I really wasn't feeling it. But then there was this other guy that I realized I had feelings for, so I officially ended Not that it. I realized I had feelings for, that I'd had connection with him in the past and that yes come okay. up, came I mean up to add to that I, I too a, oh go uh, ahead Madison then you were in contact with the Sweden guy the whole relationship totally. the and whole, during the whole time totally. you had your relationship knowing knew. knowing knowing your boyfriend was uncomfortable with it though um, that's what you said yeah. that's what you said yeah 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 but me knowing that the whole time wasn't a fact okay I, I didn't know that the whole time until he made it a point but yes I want to. I want to give some advice to the the men watching. If there's any young men watching, <laughs> no, three don't things. Hurt them. Three things. Um, under absolutely no circumstance, especially if it's like a high school relationship, gotcha. and you're both going away to different colleges, under no circumstance should you do long distance. Absolutely Never. not. If your girlfriend, I don't care what age you are, but this is, you typically see this in like college relationships, your girlfriend's going to do a study abroad program in Italy or Spain for fucking four months. Sorry, Nick. Um, <laughs> you break up with Nick. her if she like it's done. It's done, dude. Don't first. It's all, obviously it's long distance, bro. Unless it's you done, really, you break really up with her. her. I mean, if you have to be That's pretty so. fucking sure on on the girl, but she's gonna get yeah, it. Yeah, unless with, you're with really fucking, sure. What, what's an Italian name? Um, for Lorenzo, I don't know what the fuck uh, you're gonna get it. Like <laughs> Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Luigi. I don't know fucking I'm Lu Mario. Mario. Um, third Mike thing, Davis I'll get to after Mike Davis here. Dollars. Mm. This low life has oh three abortions God. and she's conservatives. Oof. Can't one hundred percent pinpoint, but something is wrong with her in the head. Her dad is a good citizen to disown her. Oh my her tombstone goodness. will say from the streets she did emerge and to the streets she will return. Okay, That's poet. Do you have a response? Do you have a response? I could just Rose like back. never have it in me to be that rude or mean. He's, and you have no poetry? you have no insight onto like my <laughs> the poetry pre abortion. Uh, and I am very conservative <laughs> and I am Republican it. and um, I still stand by that. So. Wait, quit. Okay, I, hold on. I got to push back a little bit here. Please. When you got the three, were you. Did you consider yourself conservative at the time? Yeah, that's never changed. But aren't conservatives pro-life? Pro or sorry, pro-life. Pro excuse me. Pro-life. Yes, they are. Well, you How don't do you have just because that? all of them are pro-life doesn't mean. Wait, are you, they is all that have serious? Like, do you guys not thing? understand that? Like, like being not, conservative doesn't mean like, everyone has the same. I was not core in the position. Values. The babies weren't safe. I wasn't safe. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna bring a kid in for. Does wait? Does that not just make sense? You're, just because you're conservative doesn't mean you agree with everything. I feel like it's so divided. Like if you're conservative, wait, or it wasn't liberal, safe. You have to agree I wasn't 100 financially stable. on both. Yeah, but I mean, conservatives are naturally pro-life. Would you ever consider like a surrogate or adoption? A surrogate is when you choose. I couldn't okay. have given the baby to adoption. someone. She, like, just what? adoption. So you're pro Would I consider adopting? Adoption. No, no, adoption. Carrying out, oh. carrying out the pregnancy. Oh. Pro choice. Like, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I, I could do that. I don't know if that's like if that. Well, really that's checks. selfish. I think, yeah. But are you pro choice point. conservative? Yeah. I would have to call that selfish if you wouldn't consider adoption. Yeah. But you yeah. chose to abort the baby. Well, and that makes me selfish. I'm still conservative, and yes, I had three abortions. I, I get it sometimes. I, whenever there's like a. But you're pro life. Like, um, because I know some women can't oh. do pregnancy. Okay, with, like, actually, their body, wait, like, like, physically like physically can't. can't but, but I think that's well, I, I've never ever been through that, so I can't say much. But I think that would take such a long like thought process on like abortion or like adoption sorry didn't take me much <laughs> it didn't yeah no it, yeah, no you know it, like i feel like that's a, such a hard like decision but like it never crossed your mind like ever what like to like adoption that Maybe. didn't cross my mind it did yeah, yeah. absolutely but it, you said it didn't take much thought no no i i just, had my mind i had my mind made up i would had, stand by that with my chest but out isn't a pretty back. like one of the central pillars of conservatism is more so traditionality and i would say tradition rather than yeah well i mean like if you're a cons like if you're i went against that and i still consider myself curv so conservative you I don't consider, wait, do, you consider, but, do you consider look, yourself pro-life i i don't want to answer that question wait. based on my if personal pro experiences i can't i can't answer that I don't think you have to fit into a box. That's what I'm saying. Like, like as long as you're owning up, like white. I'm not pro. I think there's, I think there's certain white. morals in each group. Side. Yeah. I yeah. think there's certain yeah. morals in each group. That I, I just think, think though, if you have conservative no. values, no. you're more naturally gonna be pro-life. I, well, I get what you're saying, but yeah. like, 
it's, it's, like, it's per issue, too. I mean, you don't have to agree with everything a conservative agrees on or everything a liberal conser- or agrees on. Look, here's the thing. Know? Conservatives believe in a, right to, in a right to life and a right to self-preservation. That's a big mm-hmm. reason why we're huge Second Amendment supporters, okay? We believe the most important thing is property and life. And the pro-life versus pro-choice argument comes down to whether or not you think the thing inside of you is a life. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. I mean, does it live with me to this day? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, but my 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 point is, like the conservative. I'll use the term doctrine for lack of a better term, but the conservative doctrine is one that protects life, doesn't destroy it. That's why he's confused at the fact. And so, what would you say if I if I told you right now it wasn't it wasn't up to me? Who was it? Would you believe that it wasn't that that wasn't true, or what would? You? We're getting into a very okay. Okay, so very then so then we're speaking on something we don't have details debate on. That goes deep, and I don't know if Brian necessarily wants us to go. I do. I us. definitely don't want to, but okay. I'm just saying. I think I, I get just where you're coming the, from. The, just wise. sure, sure. And I mean, look, I I suppose it's certainly plausible. Maybe. What, well, I think I already asked. You said you. Even, what, geez, I can't speak. It's getting late. Uh, <laughs> You were cons- you considered yourself conservative I still am. when you no you still are but because because someone could in their past maybe have been a bit more liberal when it came to the abortion topic but after the fact maybe they had a change of heart I mean even I think the original woman who was involved in the Roe v Wade case she actually like later on in life she actually became a staunch pro uh, life person even though she was like the one that. That type like, of thing a lot. Uh, what? I, like, I, that's a big question. Yeah, yeah, that's like you can't. Not something really I feel like I just have a lot of sympathy for you because it's kind of yeah. hard when like pieces of your mm-hmm. identity don't align because you're past, but you still like identify as conservative. Like personally, like I'm Christian. Like I have an amazing relationship with God. Am I liberal? Absolutely. You don't hear that much, but it's hard when your pieces of your identity do not <laughs> well, let's talk about that <laughs> but I'm, just right saying, right yeah. I'm just saying don't feel bad it's hard me. when the it's pieces okay. of your identity but I can see where you guys click. are coming from but so I like am sorry because you feel like you have to be in a but box it's, it didn't you can't be a I, I am experience. truly sorry though because I know things like that are really hard oh my God, to go let's through not do pity part, but I do appreciate that yeah you. but let's well let's move yeah 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 okay so before before Mike Davis came in and uh said his do you want to roast him back really quick or are you over it no, I, I don't. I, I don't have you the energy or the okay. mindset to she do that. She called him rude. That was that was yeah. Enough. You're mean. Mike Davis, you are okay. Um, Wait, is that one of the guys that comments a lot? Yeah, he's. he's mm-hmm. Oh my god, I was always guy. a supporter of your comments until it was to me. Wow, Damn Mike it. Davis, she she. <laughs> loved I liked you. you. She liked you, Mike <laughs> Davis, <laughs> and now you've ruined it. <laughs> no, it's okay. I'll forgive you. I'll never forgive you. meet your heroes. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right, no. so the th- I was going to say three things. So I said no long distance, no Euro, like if there's Euro trips, break up. Um, and then the third thing related to your previous story is you do not date women who are friends with their ex-boyfriends or friends with people they previously fucked. Hmm. Who like, are you talking to? A, l- a little advice for some men there. Oh, who's like, dating? Huh? I thought you was asking questions. Yeah, if a girl, no, he's if you're f- friends with a guy who you fucked before, you are not girlfriend material. Mm-mm. Goodbye. That's yes. Not, okay. That one. That's of, valid. Of I mean, all you the know, three, that is the most valid. What I was saying about that earlier was if you, okay, if they're not talking anymore, they haven't blocked on everything and you still bring it up. That's Wait. what, that's why no. it's like weird. Or, no, but she was Wait. homies. She was like still tight with no, the no, dude No, no, yeah, that's whatever. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's not acceptable. That's an assumption. We are still friends, but yes, you're right. You're right. Well, you it's not down the wrong alley. You're, the you're, homies yeah. is fine though. I, mean, I think you can fuck anyone you want and be friends with everyone you want. What the fuck? See, but see, 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 well, I get with you. See that I don't agree with that, but yeah, what n- now it sounds like mm-hmm. I'm crossing paths though because I was still in communication with Women someone. are emotionally stimulated. If they still talk Correct. to somebody, Correct. they have an emotional bond to them Correct. that arouses them, that stimulates them, 100%. that means that they're still going to have a chance yes. to fall in love with them. It's still gonna, they're still going to want to fuck them, and if they want to fuck somebody else, they're not actually in love with you. See, that was I never absolutely disagreed me. with that. that. Was I, meant, I, I just blocked on everything. To everybody. 100%. <laughs> you, do you disagree with what he's saying? Like, a little bit, because I do love, I do love, but I love a lot. Yeah, yeah. but, yeah, but, yeah, like but if you, you love a lot, a lot that means different. love is just your equilibrium. I'm a right? loving person. That means that you don't so love much people love. more. I have so much love that I just have to give it, I just have to fuck it out with 20 million people I feel a day. like you have very different forms of love, though. Right. 
Yeah, for sure, for sure. What? Like you love yeah. your husband, but you also love your friends. You know I what I mean? Yes. Like I keep hearing you say love, like it's such a like a, like a no, broad. No, I love. Like, that's what I said. There's, there's no meaning to the yeah. words that you Partners, exactly. Those are different types. And I yeah. love. love. I love my yeah. my love language is like I love sex, her. For sure. But oh, is I that love one of the love languages. <laughs> my boyfriend yeah, it differently. Is. You know, it's not the same type. Like I love like. Like I Physical. have so much love for like, She's right. Her words friends, don't have meaning. Like, yeah. Not at all. Your words don't yeah. have meaning. That's to my her. biggest issue. For, they me, do, well, but for to me, us, my love language is sex. But no, she so loves everybody. So she, so she loves nobody. <laughs> but you know, see, see what I'm saying? There's different versions of love. I don't love everybody, you know? But the ones I do love, I do want to fuck because that's my love language. Hmm. You know? Friends and But so after yeah. you fuck your friends, like... How is it? How's the dynamic? We're after homies. This? Like, like we're it's homies. it's normal. Literally, like, That's I would. Okay, not so her like, friends. I would be when I'm at Panda's house. She's getting house, attention. You see, you see. No. Anyways, when I would be at Panda's house, like I I'm naked there 24 seven, and it's a house full of like six guys, and none of them try to fuck me except like I mean I was fucking Zerk or whatever. But when I'm at the house, like he doesn't even like he doesn't get all up on me because I'm naked. Like I can just walk around naked and like sit on them and like cuddle with them and like. Do whatever. I couldn't do that. Yeah. I couldn't do that yeah. with my friends. I mean, I just, just, I just do. I don't know why. I just feel like, like I'm like a naked cat. I just want to go sit on people's laps. <laughs> Again, they're not her friends. They're but just they, men. They are okay. my like, friends. If I, they're if I told friends. you right now, then you should reconsider the quality of your friends. Would you take it to heart and maybe well, like reflect my, on that? Why do you think they're not good friends? They don't fuck me. I mean, they, like they I, love me. I have friends that I'm. I can guarantee some of them might want to initially have sex with me, but. I what mean, about, but they respect me on a friendship level. They care about, about me way more than what they can do or get from me. And um, they wouldn't sleep with me genuinely because they care about me my, as a human. So most of them don't sleep with me. I just fuck Zerka. But how do you feel about, like, nudists and exhibitionists? Like, do you think me being naked at a house is weird? Like, I just like to be yeah. naked. A like, little bit. Especially <laughs> if you have a boyfriend. It's <laughs> hard not shit. to, like, but have stare. you ever, have you ever not met someone? Like, um, that what? just like have you ever gone to like a house party or something and there's just a girl that's naked there like no. everyone in the room including me is like what the fuck is this bitch really? doing here you yeah. go to I've, very yes. I've just never been in that party. situation yes. I have no. and it's that's awful not, it's like I mean, what it's in the, yeah I'm usually the, naked like 24 7 when I'm at houses like and I just think that like I'm Nick, honestly get, I'm so Nick, like I don't give a fuck what people think and if someone wasn't comfortable with it I'd just be like bro leave the room like I'm gonna be naked like it's not a big deal everyone has a body so you want the entire and I'm also, party to I'm leave. also a porn star and like I'm naked on camera so much that I don't feel like I You're don't feel weird when it. I'm naked, You're you know? I feel normal when I'm naked. What are we even talking about? Because there's, like, so many people in the no room, like, how filming. We got here. And, like, here, you let know, me read some chats. Let me re Actually, Layla, can you read talk, these? Go ahead. Um, do you want me to read no. this? No. Just go ahead. Okay. Go. The girl with the three abortions who accepts money from a lonely old man is being overly judgmental. Ma'am, you are in no moral position to judge someone doing... I'm guessing point. You killed three kids, and that couple is trying too hard to reject a perfect image. Okay. And that, wait, what does the last part say? Um, that couple is trying I too hard to present a perfect image. They're talking about me and Billy. All right, well, you can say whatever the fuck you want about me, but they're not doing anything other than being they themselves, are a perfect so couple. fuck off. <laughs> And also, you're mean. Be fucking nicer. Come on. I and you donated them. money, they're so thank you. They're a great couple. Go ahead, Layla. I'm going back on my own word to do this one. Last time, but listening to Dan talk, I don't want to keep it to myself. He is so monotone, but I relate to him so heavily with his thought processes and generally how he tries right. and succeeds to be logical. Yeah. Props, bro. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. Yeah. Last time. That's nice. Appreciate that. What's, this, what's going on? <laughs> what? What? What's that about? By the way, you're like the first guy who's told me that I'm monotonic. Usually people are like, you're way too like up and down with the way you speak. No, I think you're I think even monotonic. Yeah. Yeah. Relax, you're too relax, you're too intense. You were so, you able actually, to Actually, when we first started Sally? dating, I did tell Dan he was too intense. It was actually a major <laughs> ick. <laughs> really? I, I did have the ick. And then like notice it. how despite the ick, I didn't change and eventually she Wait, respected you had the, the fact ick that for I don't. What? I had the ick when I met Dan. What because was your response back to that because when she told you? I thought he was too intense. She never told me. Because oh, he, his never, like voice, his tone was too energetic it? or something. This is what women do. No, women he knows that. women he will knows. test men. They're gonna say, they're gonna say things like that gives me the ick. And guess what? If he stops doing that, they're gonna be like, "You're that that's easy not, to control." Yeah. Done. <laughs> Shit tests are so easy. I hate your shoe. This girl cannot stand the fact that I wear Vans. Oh it's a God, it's a great shoe for dirty. It's a great dirty. it's a great shoe for lifting. It's a great shoe for just slipping on and taking a casual if walk. If they were clean. And I'm, a, and I'm a tall guy. Little ankle exposure does wonders for my look. 
know, but, on top, but, but imagine if she was, it's a, but, 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 sure. but imagine but imagine if she was just like oh my god those shoes are so ugly and I went oh my god I'm so sorry she'd be like Ew, well yeah. yeah not that Done. but like do you do you like appreciate her input on like 100 percent yeah and then I buy them new shoes <laughs> if she and had, then you wear them and then it's all good yeah, yeah. oh okay. It, if, okay and by the way if he she, still wears the pants though but <laughs> and by the way if she ever said something to me that she legitimately thought. I think you need to change this. I love you, and because I love you, I'm noticing something that can dramatically improve your own life and your own self-image. She'd probably come to me in a much more serious way than yeah. just, oh my God, yeah. she's going to be the ick. You know what I mean? So. It's, about, it's, different. it's different. That's how you know he's word, the one. Word, word. When even okay, the uh, I think we're all caught up on chats here. Uh, I'm trying to think what else we had to uh, to do. Uh, wait, What's there's... chat saying? Can we see Negative. Um, I don't know where the not. fuck we were. Oh, there was. I think there was one last thing here. Then we'll we'll do a brief after show, and then we're gonna wrap. Okay. So is is your friend okay? Is she good? She's probably pissing. She's uh, okay. She's been in. Been there. In she ran to her car real quick. Oh, oh yeah, she, wait. She's okay. Oh, Nick, did she have to go to her car? Yeah. She might be gone. She might have to answer a phone call. No, she's coming back. I spoke to her. She's oh, just dealing well, with something small. She'll be there's back. There's no way to get her. Okay. Well. Uh, we'll have to have someone go down and get her, I guess. Maybe we'll have Madison do that. Two minutes later, she's shouting from um, Oh, but the, she doesn't know which door to get. She does, okay. Um, uh, all right. So, <laughs> sorry, guys. Some girl just fucking walked off the podcast. She's out. Of, I don't know what happened. Um, let's see. So, this is for Rachel. Modern dating is effed, effed up in all sorts of ways. You said something about... Porn double standards. What did you mean by that? Porn double standards. Only fans. Oh shit! Sorry. Um, what what is the double? Wait, are we standard? still responding? Oh, to is Moose? she in the bathroom? Yeah, she was. Are we still responding to Moose? She's coming Second, back, and there's a much higher control chance control. you won't be able to have. No, she's here. They said yeah, birth control is free. Um, Wait, what? What am I answering? Who's the chat? You. You, you said something. Modern dating you, is fucked up. Yeah, I think that the... Um, and porn double standards. That was the other thing that you yeah, said. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, there's plenty of them. <laughs> I think Give I've already them. voiced some. Um, I just think modern dating is, like, very fucked up based on the way society says, like, it comes into feminism, porn, OnlyFans, um, everything in between. Sure. I forget, what else did I write you can on? Okay, but you, you said right? uh, the, the adult content double standards. What do you mean by that? Um, like the um, a like male the, a male that takes like a conservative Christian whatever um, perspective and um, so some men will be like oh I would never date a porn star and then like you're jerking off to porn on oh, God well hold on okay oh, I have a, I have a rebuttal to that I mean I would love to hear it because I I need I need an no, eye opener because it and like it offended me in my past like okay. someone's like so, oh I would never date a porn star and then I'm like, I, but you're okay. jacking off to porn okay. I like to watch football. Me too. I have no interest in playing professional football. That does not make me a hypocrite. Uh, okay. No, that's a valid. But 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 fuck. Oh, sorry. But fuck. We're talking about like the sex industry, which a lot of us are saying, or some of us are saying and debating, that it is very vulgar, maybe volatile, um, exposes people, and some of the words we can't use. We all know that there's those ties to it as well. Um, Wait, which ones? But the wait, words we the, I think use. the way you originally phrased it was men not wanting to date a woman who or or does or women content. not wanting to date a male that's in it. I mean, I could never date a porn star. Wait, I know so that for okay, a fact. So just let me, I hear that let a me lot. hold on. Let me try to I could articulate never. your argument. I can either. You're saying that if you consume porn, <coughs> it would be hypocritical of you to not want to date somebody in that industry. Is that what you're saying? Um, I guess that's kind of what I said, but no, I would say that you're like, um, that would like for me, like when I'm saying, I like think that there's like no logic in your job. That's fine. Um, I'm not that. said like, no, you're right. I, I don't have to think, I don't have to think hard to do my job. I wouldn't say the, hypocritical what? to date somebody, but hypocritical yeah. to point the finger and be like, what you're doing is bad, but you're feeding into the that's profession. the double standard. Yeah. I think, like you can't those, be like, really yeah, I don't want to date them. Football that's, into it is no. very like football porn, you're just we love it. you're pulling for that, which I'm, I get. I'm what you're saying, it's still a streaming service. No, okay, it, you make sense, but you're still it's streaming not, something. It's not the same thing, and let's be real, like yeah. no, you're but okay, plotting. if your argument is, and perhaps I misunderstood, if your argument is, it is wrong to consume a product but not want to. In, in this case, if you consume porn. It is wrong that you would not want to date or be otherwise romantically involved with a woman who does porn. 
That doesn't make you hypocritical. Okay, so I'm calling it a double standard, not hypocritical. Wait, what what's the double standard? That's what hypocriticism is. I feel like okay, you don't want to literally the fact that you're the you don't, okay, you, the, you okay don't. wait, like no, your boyfriend comes to you is like okay, let's say I, you're my boyfriend and I'm like, Hey, I wanna do OnlyFans and you're like, Absolutely not, I'm not gonna date an OnlyFans but star. Subscribed, so okay. Only that that's not a that's not a cohe a coherent argument. No, it's not. It's That's not. not coherent. That, so that doesn't make sense. My opinion. If your so boyfriend. You, so you, are you allowed to have the opinion that you wouldn't date a porn star? Well, of course, certainly I am. You but okay. So, so, so just, I'm allowed to have the opinion that it's a double standard if my significant other was to say, or or, or, or anyone for perhaps was to say, I don't, I would never date a porn star, but I'm going to consume porn. The logic. There's I don't no like, way the in shape or form Hold that on. that makes sense. Let me, let me try to address this. So the double standard would be if your boyfriend watches porn and he had an issue with you watching porn, that's a double standard. Him watching porn while in a relationship, which you may very well object to. However, that's not... I mean, the, I don't that's a, specifically. Okay. That's not what we're talking about, though. Exactly. You, if your boyfriend watches porn in a relationship, that's very different than his significant other being involved in producing mm. porn. Yeah. You think so? Here's the thing. Here's yes, I, 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 I do not my mind. follow, I I do not no, follow the logic. Please open my I've mind. I don't, just, I I've just articulated disagree. The double standard, you, the, it, it doesn't follow. The double standard would what be... Would, what would a double standard I've, be then? No. I'll artic- let me just say... Not with a football reference. Yes, you I will articulate it. it once again. The double standard would be if your boyfriend watches porn and... Okay, if your boyfriend watches porn... Okay. And... Okay, if your boyfriend watches okay. porn, yeah, I know, it's late, dude. Let me say, your boyfriend no, 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 watches no, no, hold porn. On, hold on. If your boyfriend watches porn, he and he had an issue with you watching porn, That's a that would standard. be a double standard. Okay, yeah, I get that. But saying like just because okay. Okay. Can, can, I, can I? Can I? I can. Okay. Okay. Here, here's the issue. Touche. If That's a man, a so what you said about men watching porn and supporting it, if he thought that. That's the double standard I'm talking about. If he about, thought so. that porn was objectively a bad thing that should not exist and should not be supported, should not be paid for, and was paying for it, that would be illogical. Like if he held the belief, like, oh my god, porn is so bad for society. That's what I was just I, thinking. Yeah, mm-hmm. I can't. I can't believe that men actually actually do this stuff. Like, or the, like the, the world, the, the world would be the world would be a better place if people just stopped watching porn and then went ahead and did it. Then he would be a hypocrite. But so that's the but standard. if you but it's not the same to say you, you can think that porn is allowed to exist and consume porn for whatever reasons you decide to consume porn and si- and simultaneously <laughs> and simultaneously sorry. hold the opinion that. You, you don't, date that you don't want to star. date that type of person. Yes, yes. Because I, you're, you're consuming because you're consuming it as entertainment, right? Like I watch movies, but I wouldn't want to date an actress. You know, like like that would be the same thing. And I'm not saying that that's that mm. that's true, by the way. I'm saying that that is, but but that that's the equivalent. You're saying that. I don't know. That, that no, is, she, she, okay, but but don't let her I, shift. I, don't I, like, hold on, hold on. I agree, stop, 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 but stop, stop, like stop. I don't agree. For some reason, I'm like that's still a fucking double standard no, for you to be like. Okay, so but let's not shift the goalposts on her behalf. Her position, as stated very clearly... Ooh, take it away. <laughs> yeah, her, your position, as stated very clearly, it would be either hypocritical or a double yeah, standard. Yeah, I, I still think that. I still uh, stand be, by yes, that. Yes, you still... 100%. Okay. And so, I think a lot of people would. <laughs> let me finish. I actually just got my argument. She, she thinks, it. she but thinks you, but it's you're a, right. Yes. She thinks it's a double standard for a guy who watches porn to have any objections to his girlfriend being involved in the porn industry. Do they that realize, is her position. You need to I, realize I really these do. porn stars are getting... Like, yeah, I would... That doesn't... Like, like for, do if you're... If so I live... No, I, no, I do. I live with like, a porn star. I would, and maybe that's like we're saying. Men but, are more logical. Women are more emotional. But if my boyfriend is going to be like, I would never date a porn star. Like, I don't appreciate porn. I don't believe in what they're okay, doing. Okay, well, listen. And then I is live going with a porn star. So it doesn't fucking add up. I do not understand the logic. I do not understand. If I didn't want to date an... If I didn't want to date an actress... Who's getting railed by... Yeah, but that's hold on, wait a second. Wait a second. Take, 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 take it up. If I didn't, if, football player. No, hold on. If actress. I did, no, no. Hold on. If I didn't want to date an actress, Who's but I still thought. I mean, this all comes down to. Opinion, but I still but. thought films and cinema should be allowed to be made. Is that allowed? I don't. I would never. I did, mean, that's your opinion. I would wait, never date an actress, hold, hold. but I still think movies should be. I got made. some more. I got some more. Do you? <laughs> My opinion. I got some more. Do okay. you? Uh, do you Give ever get me. fast food? 
Do you ever Not get that often. too? <laughs> but but I, let's say yes. Let's say let's say think of like a very high powered woman. Like let's say an attorney. Is she obliged to date a minimum wage worker at McDonald's because she eats McDonald's? Well, that's really mm -hmm. far off. Come on. Well, that's no, literally that's what I think you can Actually, say that it's point, wrong. I think it's just not a double valid. standard. Okay. My, my point is very valid. Yeah. Maybe we could shake up and She's talk it up to the game, but no, I, I see it as one. Well, you're saying that it's because it's they're the fast food thing. They're it's buying. Okay, the they're buying. Is, they are buying the porn. Yes, they are. Okay, but does that we mean don't even have to the stop person? Buying. But okay, they're watching okay, it. They don't have to buy. They're consuming it. Regardless, I'm gonna finish my statement. Sorry, but it's just like. He doesn't want to date a woman who is get, having sex with random people every yes. single film. That yes. is the only reason why he's saying I can watch porn, but I do not want to date a porn star. Or if like he can watch an he can watch a film, but not want to date that actress who is making out with new people on set for every single film. You don't want that intimacy to be shared with someone Doesn't else. Doesn't add up for me, but I that's can exactly agree. Agree. Yeah, it, that. it sounds like consensus is you guys all agree with that. I don't. I'm so confused. I don't agree. I don't. No, if you, no, I don't agree. If you just that's take why it up. I said you. What is, so, so what is, uh, sorry, I can't say the, the, P, the P It's word. a preference. Like P word. Are you uh because uh, you want me to agree? P, P word ography, cool. right? It's videos. It's film, right? Adult you can call film. yourself a performer, right? I don't right. know where we're going. I call so, a mattress actress. I think it has a I don't know. You picked on it. So you would consider yourself a. on it. A mattress actress is trash made by trash people. Blank is trash made by trash people hammered in Munich right now for Oktoberfest. Fuck yeah. Oktoberfest. Yo, Mr. Love Meatball. For Mr. Mr. Meatball. Danke, Danke Schein. Is that oh, how you say gosh. thank you in German? Um, but that is definitely clear. Okay. Oh, is it really? Dunkenschein? Yeah. The real Meatball. Schein? Again. Isn't that thank you, I think? I'm, I'm using the, I'm using the okay. film slash videography or cinema, whatever example you want to use, just because I'm literally taking it up one level. I'm going from sexual actor to non-sexual non actor. Okay? I can watch this and not want to date the person doing that profession. Same way that I can watch a movie and enjoy a movie and not want to date the people in that profession. It's the same. Okay, but what thing about strings attached? No, I what about watch the dolphins? What about yeah, you're not <laughs> and not want to fuck a dolphin? Wait, so I can make you horny, but you're not gonna hope not. I dolphins fucking hope are not. fucking dope, but I ain't trying to fuck a dolphin. But you know what I mean? Watch By the way, whatever also podcast, not. but not want to fuck Brian. Oh. Whoa! But, respect. Like, <laughs> I that's that's like not the same. I am. First <laughs> off, anybody who watches exactly my podcast, it. man or woman, who doesn't want to fuck me, I'm deeply offended. But listen, you should be. Oh, really? Then, Even uh, straight I hope you're men very offended at that point. <laughs> I mean, but you don't want to fuck me. All right. You're Here. blushing. We'll give you you're a little bit of red. attention. We're, you're uh, literally getting red. We've given you some attention. No, you're literally getting okay. red. I'm looking at you. The attention. You're looking at me, and this is tension, and you're getting. Bro, red I just have this. a red face. No, right look, here. you're getting red, like right here. You're okay, literally here. getting. Am I blushing? A little rosacea. <laughs> a little rosacea. No, I just. Uh, I'm about to win this bet. Bro, I'm just getting heated because I'm talking about dolphin fucking son. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like your mind's on fucking. Whoa, what the fuck? Okay, look. dolphin fucking. I don't, don't know how to, we can explain this to you because mm -hmm. it's just not like, <laughs> is the word tenuous? I don't know what the, uh, it's like a, it's a tenuous heated, position. Tedious? Hold, but. I don't know. No, that's in detail. That's, yeah, I mean, it's in, we're not talking about tedious. I just, it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I how is it a double stand? Like, I don't see how it's a double standard to, if you watch something. Well, you don't see it. I don't know. That's how I see it. <laughs> and no, this it's genuinely been an double argument standard with my word. boyfriend's She thinks it's the illogical. Past. She thinks so it doesn't maybe. add up. She thinks it's hypocritical. Yeah, I she doesn't think, think it's a double like, standard. Okay, you don't, you don't, you that's a double standard. Porn, hypocr porn hypocrisy. Porn hypocrisy. Porn hypocrisy. Porn hypocrisy. 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 Will you logically break that down And then you're going to watch it. I'm like, come on. No, no, but stop shifting the goalposts. I'm not. I'm telling you what I'm saying by what you asked me. No, okay. First, let's differentiate the two different arguments. So I agree with you on one. If you're like up on your high horse and you're saying porn is so bad, people shouldn't watch porn. Porn is contributing to the degeneracy of society. There you go. And yes. you consume it, you pay for it, et cetera, et cetera. That yes, that would make you hypocritical. However, if when it comes to your dating preferences, if you watch <laughs> porn and you don't want to date a woman who does porn, that is not a double standard or hypocritical. I mean, yeah. it makes sense. You're probably right, but I, if, yeah. No, but he, he is can right. You be, can you be friends with sure. someone that is porn and not Pardon? date them? Can you be Could friends instead of dating someone? Like, can you be friends with someone where, that does porn? What is, where, what's that? Uh, not even like, is that, I mean, what is, is that, that an issue? Rob is one of my friends and she does porn, yeah. It's a different type, different type of relationship. 
Some people are like, I hate porn so much, it's so bad. I don't want to be friends with you. Wait, you can't see in any way, shape, or form, and then we can watch God. this, how it's a double standard. Can we just, like, agree to disagree yeah. with yeah. her no, on this topic? Like, yeah. it's Let's not a double action. standard, but you can yeah. be it's wrong. It's a preference. It's all literally... Yeah. 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 She wears the hat. She gets to do Good deal. Moving on. Next. Okay, here. This is... Look. This is a double standard. Your boyfriend watches porn. I'll say it for the fucking third time if I can even articulate it because I can't speak tonight. Your boyfriend watches porn. Okay. It would be hypocritical or a double standard for him to have an issue with you watching porn. Or anybody yeah. watching porn. Yeah. yeah. Because he is watching porn exactly. himself. But he is not dating the porn star. But just because you okay, consume yes. a pro yes. just because you consume a product does not mean that in your dating life you are obliged to date a person who no, participates. No, not in any way, shape, or form. No, you're not obliged, I watch, not obliged, obliged that, to date, obviously. but obliged to have emotions. What, for what this do you world. watch, Ryan? I watch <laughs> The Walking Dead. There's a bunch of fucking zombies in that shit. I'm not trying to fuck a zombie, son. But like you watch <laughs> okay, porn and it makes you're not you horny. Off to the Walking yeah, Dead, are you? You're getting off to it. <laughs> like you know, like I make you horny, but you won't date me. Are you getting? That's <laughs> now you can understand where we're coming through. He's the, getting like, red. You're not getting off to The Walking Dead. You can't compare it to that. A football team, whatever. You're not getting off to that. It's a very different um, thing to be watching yeah, like, than something you're jacking off no, to. No, I reject off this to. idea that just because something is sexual in nature that you you are obligated to have emotion to to date somebody in that profession. No, or I'm not, not saying obligated. you're obligated okay, to date someone. You're if you saying that it's a porn. double standard to not date somebody in that profession. No, no. That's, <laughs> bro, said be against oh, dating. Somebody. Exactly. Just so we get this clear. Move exactly. On, but <laughs> yes. To yeah. say you wouldn't, and then you watch it. It's like, well, then... We can rephrase this money, as it would be a double standard yeah. if Why your boyfriend was this? to <laughs> not appreciate porn, but still watch it. Okay. No, 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 no. That's shifting the goalposts. I never... That is shifting the goalposts. Yeah, I know. I think I stated it pretty clearly. Lesson, it's, yeah. it's shifting Lesson. the goalposts. I'm not going to learn it's anything stuff. No, it's because it's the terminology. It's hypocrisy versus double standard. We'll explain it later. Okay. But it's not even a double standard, though. Is it's, not a double standard. it's not a double okay. standard. Okay. Agree, disagree. Yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. No, but like, we're being a okay, I, it just yeah. blows yeah. my mind that we, you can like it's it's not logically consistent. To, oh God, do I have to reiterate? No, no, no. no you don't. Okay. No, no, okay. I'm no. asking you to. Right. <laughs> I, I've tried. I've tried, guys. I've tried. Um, it's not working out. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. Last note here. I have. I don't know if we have time for. We might have a little bit of time. You said significant others having crazy parents effing his best friend, so you effed. No, I didn't. I didn't. Do we? So you're also when you're reading this off, you're playing me as if like I wasn't just answering. You said any crazy stories, and I list all of these things, and I put slashes yes, in between all you, of them. I, yeah. Well, we usually so ask it's if not it's like any personal crazy stories, yeah. like yeah, 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 yes, personal. Wait, what? Like, from like you, when we're asking life, you, like, do you have any crazy stories? Like, right do you have any yeah, personal but does that crazy mean me stories? Personally, like, I was involved, but it wasn't me personally. Yeah, because like, yes, uh, yeah. that is what I'm answering. So when we approach it, and now we can't read it. What was? Do you have any I don't know. He's just getting himself a little bit of water. Checking on, checking on a couple of things. Yeah. Of what? What did you ask? The the. The crazy parents fucking oh, best yes, friends. Oh, yes, yes, um, So any, what was the question, though? If, was that number nine? You're just telling it? it, yeah, you're just telling us about it. That's it. No, but there was number nine. It was a question of what he asked. Um, but crazy, so dating stories, yeah, I have crazy. My ex-boyfriend's parents are fucking crazy. Um, so are their aunt and uncles, and they're still messaging me two months later. Really? Um, For yeah. what reason? They get, with, get back with him? No, because they think I stole things from his home. But, um, oh, that's weird. Yeah, wait. Effing his best friend. What's the story there? Okay, wait. Th so this is no story based on me. Is this, wait, is this number nine or number 10 right. when you said how is it? Do you want to just tell the story yes or no? Just read it. I don't have a story. Yeah, yeah, just read, read what, it. what she says. The you question. Literally said, it's a valid question. I don't have the question in front of me. The, it's typically something like, it. okay, we have, there's three there separate questions. There's nine and 10. Yeah. Okay. Nine, number, n number nine is something like, do you have any crazy dating related stories or anecdotes? Number 10 is typically, is there anything on the show dating related, any topics that you would, that like, you to talk about. would like to talk about? Yes, and then the his best 11th friend. is any hot takes related to da I, dating. I yeah. Modern dating. Yes, 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 okay. yes. So, so, whichever one that was, yes. Correct. Do you want to just tell the story? And like, anyway. I don't have a story behind it. If you so said, is it, it a hot wait, take wait, or a conversation, that's what I would bring okay, up. Okay, there's something about effing his best friend. Is but that what you? Happened? What happened? 
Did you ever bang one of your one of your yeah, boyfriends? Literally best never. Friends? Literally like, never. Really? Yeah. That's a hot take that I'm curious teeth, about. I definitely have. Pulling teeth. I'm right. not For what? I feel like most girls For have. what? No. It's like pulling teeth. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, you don't want to talk about that one. Okay. Um, I don't have. Yeah. No. In your pre-show information that you provided to us when we asked you these questions yes, that you sir. wanted, that you said that you wanted to talk about on the show, one of them is being the hottest friend. Okay, that's also a hot take we have. What is, can I bring that up? Is it, does it have to be a personal story? Am I ending the conversation? Like, let's I talk know. about it. Let's just talk about it. Why? Friend, right? You asked me a question. I answered them honestly. Anything I would want to talk about. They, they, I, I didn't know what Yeah, so we're asking you. No, that's why we're asking, asking, asking you to talk about it. Yeah, I'm so, literally so that's a conversation you, of topic. You don't, if, I don't have a input. Wait, what? Stop. Okay. Yeah, like the whole panel. I mean, I don't know. No, these what are directed for me. I'm she literally. You provided pre-show. Were you just talking about? Stop! 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 Guys, <laughs> stop! Stop! Let me please just get through this. You provided pre-show information to us. Okay, I'm. Yes. I'm giving you a layup. I'm giving you a prompt. You don't need to be like. Brian, do you want me to talk about that? How about just talk about it? Can you just talk about it if I bring it up? Is it, Wait, Brian, but it was, it was genuinely, it? okay, I, I understand where you're coming from. From the bottom of my heart, it's more of like a Sorry, panel. No, what will we all there, say about, this is like, that was heavy. No, but do, really you, heavy. do you have an actual story that like Relating to, to you, me personally, or are you fucking talking, someone's best friend? No, or no? You, did you just want us to bring up the concept of that? Exactly. She thought it was a, it was a table talk. That's I thought I was, you were asking me what we would talk about. what did you want to talk about being the hottest friend? It, Wait, does that confuse you? Does any uh, anyone else have that? Like, I don't friend. think you can Email? control She's being the hottest friend. friend. Okay, just what do you mean? But what do you, the, like, these what? are words that you wrote. What do I you know mean they are. by I'm the words that you wrote? I'm not taking them back. I feel like you're interpreting them you and putting them out. Just, you just you just generally <laughs> want the whole panel Ryan's, to talk about the concept. Ryan's of rage quitting. He asked, he asked. He literally asked. Absolutely. Yeah. Brian just yeah. raged quit. Well, <laughs> he's out here. He needs water. Yeah, he, he needs to cool down. Parched. So like if I had, so if I had he's DM'd a him. He's from all that. <laughs> Wait, what are you going to say? So, so, so like if Bangs had been like, I want to talk about feminism. Oh, no. Sorry. You're, you're, I would have loved to you're, talk you're, about you're, it. Your yes. subject is, I want to talk about being Wait, the hottest I friend. I think we just need some. You're um, not getting the whole story. We I just need a little bit like of context. Like, what do you want to talk about being the hottest friend? What's your thesis? <laughs> What's your thesis? What's your thesis? No, no, no. Everything that I said is like, he's like, oh, what would you talk about on this podcast? I'm like, if oh I had those God. ideas, that Are would be it. Are we fucking having a five minute conversation? Well, move about, on then. You keep like, asking I'm me. Get, I'm trying to. No, we want to talk about it. We just don't okay. have the context. But literally, address the well, words. I don't either. It was if you had a concept, what would you talk about? Like that's what I. What wrote. do you want? Yeah, to talk but about I think that's what we're saying. So we have the concept. What do we talk about? I don't think the concept. I've ever been this What's the context of it? Like, we want to understand the concept. With me? Yeah. Like, what? What does it mean, being the hottest friend? What does that mean to you? What is the concept? No, 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 please. Do not, just let her speak. What does it mean to you to be. Do you, well, I'm not saying I need a fucking am, stress ball. Okay. Can you get somebody give me a stress ball? You can use <laughs> Do you think See, that being the hottest friend? That would distress you? No. I'm trying to, no, no, I'm no, trying to roll into this, okay? Jesus okay, Christ. I have a question about that. No, 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 no. Watch, watch. Check this out. I'm gonna ask a question. Every, everyone's gonna be silent. She's gonna answer. When you say being the hottest friend, what do you mean? Well, I'm not saying I am, but being the hottest friend is being the best looking friend. Like you want being to be the most, being the best looking friend. Is that confusing? Do you think that you? being the hottest friend, like? Well, I'm not asking. I think. It, I think. It, uh, yes. I think that. I think that there's a lot of concepts and <laughs> conversations that could I'm go on about it. But if you're yeah, can you mind trying to bring up a question, conversation? Like, Brian's getting out. You're the one that's on. supposed to guide me, right? Like I said these things in assumption like that you're going you out would. With your well, no, we put you on the podcast hoping you didn't need to be guided. Hit on like at the bars and stuff. Is that what you mean? I mean, that could be one avenue for sure. Yeah. yeah. What do you yeah, think like your friends are Your other friends you? don't get I as don't much attention the because friend. they're not the this hottest my friend. friend sitting next to me. I, I know. She's quite frankly beautiful. Yeah. She's just saying in uh, general. I think that this is something that comes up in dating as being the hottest friend and especially with my past best friendship. But I mean, what does that mean? It means no, being like, the hottest friend. I, I think if you take like, if I am fucking a guy and then I meet his friends and there's a hotter friend in the group, I'm like, damn. That sucks. That could be one right there. Bend to the event that could be one right there. Yes. <laughs> Rain's about to clock out Rain. for the week. Aww. Yeah. Out of zero. Yeah. <laughs> Tuesday show. Out of zero. Holy fuck. Um, 
But yeah, I think that that's anything else. Yeah, it sucks if you're not the hottest friend. Yeah, right. Because I'm. Gonna, that's a fact. I'm, yeah, I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Like, you know, yeah. What else? Happens to be that way. I love having hot friends. Also yeah. me. They're I awesome. Having hot friends. Yeah. yeah. Who doesn't? This I mean, is like, great. Can we talk about hot friends at the bachelorette parties? Very specific. Like he asked me, and I answered. The only one who could never be the hottest friend would bring up that she's the hottest friend. So Wait, I wasn't okay. saying I Here's was the hottest question. friend. Were you referring at all? to yourself? Never, no. Oh, okay. All right. I'm Jeez. sitting next to the hottest friend in our friend group, oh but uh, Brian. Yeah. Dan and I have um, noticed a hottest friend theory actually. When we were living in Nashville for a couple months, we saw a lot of bachelorette parties. And if you look at the way bachelorette parties are orga- are organized when they're walking down the street, it's always the hottest friends in the front, and they progressively get uglier. Valid. That's Valid. So true. And we were wondering the more confidence why that is. Is it a marketing? No, are they trying the to hide yeah. the ugly friends? Is it a marketing? I think tactic? they yeah. know that they're hot, and I think that when hot guys are in a group with ugly guys, they're going to be more confident. Like it, it's always the morbidly obese ones at the back i mean because you can you can act a fool if you're hot and you can be in the front and be crazy but if you're ugly and acting a fool it's just not good i've had her bring like a guy over who had a friend that wanted to be with me but i was with the guy i'm with now and he thought that the person who was also there with us one of our other friends wasn't attractive enough to like be with so they completely just flat out left so being a hot friend actually does mean a lot to to some people yeah they just blatantly left saying that they were gonna go buy stuff it was Valid. like Ryan, 2 a.m. you still hate this topic, huh? I'm going deeper into my cave. This I'm, found, so I'm finding my power animal. Okay. <laughs> Brian, what's your take on being an hottest friend? Okay, all right. You can, you I can, you, whatever your natural response is, or what, what do you really think? I don't. I thought you had some anecdote related. I didn't. I'm sorry that I didn't. It no, is a, well, I didn't. It was a good conversation. The, that was, that I was, was genuine. Like, he's asking you dope. about a dating up. podcast topic. All right, topics. here, moving on, moving on. Let me see. You're okay. not, an- not going to answer? Eh, no, I'm good. Okay. I'm all right. Thanks for at least giving me that. Uh, okay, so last question. Actually, we'll do it during the, we're going to just start the after hours. We're going to do 20 minute after hours, then we're going to wrap up. Nick, can you hit the lights? Ooh, is there like a disco ball? Wait, uh, okay, body count. We're going to talk about body count. We're going to hit up. Uh, oh, also, guys, uh, the the minimum, I'm going to lower the minimum uh, read to 20, and then TTS is set to 69 from here on out. So TTS is 69, read is 20, both Super Chat and Streamlabs donations. Um, okay, so really quick, uh, <clears throat> body count. Does body count matter? I we always talk about this. I have a really high body count, so I usually lie about it. I usually <laughs> lie about my body count, but I don't think it matters for a guy because, like, I mean, as long what? as you're as long as you're just clean. I because I know people with tiny body counts have had STDs, and I've never had Wait, one. The mic I have is, high. Pull the mic all the way close to you. Go ahead. There we go. Like that. Yeah, that congratulations. Okay, yeah. thank you. Anyways, um, yeah, I think it just depends on like hygiene, really. But like, if their body counts like. 300 like that's a little i'm like okay maybe you're not the one mm-hmm. but i'll still let you hit but like <laughs> mine's not 300 one. but like if someone's was i've met people that have like 300 like body counts i mean i'm like in porn so like how do they not yeah how can they still not? they they can still not damn that is the question you know there's also there's like <laughs> there's just like decline matters. like body count like truly I only mean, matters if honestly if like you're dirty or if you're still in love yeah. with the person who you've been with before or the people or you still have intimate attraction i've mm-hmm. always been a slut so my nope. body count's always been high i mean i try not Warm. to do that <laughs> thank you okay um Moving on. good times uh body count does not matter no not to body me. count doesn't matter madison I do think that body count matters. I feel like I used to think that it didn't, you know? But as I've grown older, I've grown better values. Like so what's too I high? do see. I don't have like a, a, like a range. I don't know. Okay. Probably like anything over 10 is extremely high. But really? Yeah, I agree with that. That's what yeah. I'm really? <laughs> Holy Ireland. shit, I'm a slut. I mean, that's crazy, like, girl. My double, gi- double digits are high. That's hot. Yeah, that's really? High. Girl, I'm like... Damn, I'm up there. Yeah, but that's you, okay. girl. Uh, <laughs> what about you? What do you think? Um, I don't care, like, in my partner, maybe because I haven't been in the place to, like, care or not. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
I will say I'll be transparent that my boyfriend was a little taken back by mine at first, and he got over it very quickly. Okay. So, sure. that's good. Um, I think body count matters. Um, I just think it's unattractive. I don't know. I don't want to be fucking someone that's fucked a lot of girls. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I think body count matters. Yes, it does. Not even, like, morally, but if we look at it from, like, a hormonal factor, mm -hmm. um, you get really fucked up after a certain amount. That's yeah. true. That is true. Yeah, it completely fucks with the way that your, your brain works. The same way that you can do, like, a dopamine detox because your dopamine gets attached to the wrong things, so does your oxytocin and dopamine attached to sex. If you constantly... Mm -hmm have sex with no intention of actually bonding with that person, you're gonna lose the ability to bond with people with that tool. But what if you I have passionate sex that. every now and then? Every like not like hardcore then, fucking, though. but then like, cause you know, there's like fucking and then there's like passion, like you know? Well then that's just beautiful. Yeah, gorgeous. Thank you, right? So wait, like, I feel like okay. another view on like why I think body count matters, like if my boyfriend were to have like a very high body count, I would just be thinking of all the other girls that he's fucked. You know what I mean? Public and you're like everyone around has fucked my boyfriend. Nina, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Logan. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's about. not. It's yeah. <laughs> like I feel like it doesn't matter to me because I never had to be in that place. Like I yeah. never had to think I've, about it. I've never been okay. in a position. Shout to out be Logan like, Paul. Oh, your body counts too high. I, I, I got endometriosis. I, I don't have one. What? <laughs> you have sex like that, girl? Because uh, their round meatball donated sixty nine dollars. Hey, First girl is such a strange combination of fine and slow. Double Thank digits you. isn't bad, but triple digits are bananas. The real Mr. Meatball, that is an amazing compliment. Thank you <laughs> so, so much. You double digits are resume. bad. Fine what if you had 99? Good point. Thank Very good you. point, Anson. And I don't think <laughs> it's triple <laughs> digits point. just yet, but it's Wait, definitely yeah. getting Would up there. Stop it. Get some help. The okay. real Mr. Mr. Meatball is saying uh, it's only so bad. So, you guys all answered about body count. If body count doesn't matter for those of you, you know, what's your body count? I gotta look at my Twitter following. What? I like Do to follow, follow every porn star. Your followers no, I on follow. Twitter? I follow every porn star. I fuck. I actually, I can look well, at what, it and tell you. Just, I mean, but you Let probably fucked like civilians. Oh, there's <laughs> honestly okay before I got into porn. Well, okay. Let me say, my freshman year of college, I had a 40th body count uh, party, so that was. <gasps> Quite a while Wait. ago, Your I already graduated. Your freshman year of college? It was 40, and Wait, then... Wait, hold on, a couple questions there. Uh, how much by your I first... You me. <laughs> was it a semester or quarter? Oh, honestly? It was February, so it was, it was uh, the second semester. Well, how much? Never forget your, in your first body count. Never forget. You never do, it's like a birthday, you know? Yeah. Oh it's my good. God. In your first semester, quarter, whatever it was, like I've always been a slut. Like it's high. It's high. Uh, I just love spreading. Us. This is how I spread my love. Like I fuck. You're my friend. I'm That's gonna fuck you. Like you know. Spreading. Jesus Christ. I've okay. never had an STD in my life ever. I get tested. Stop. I've always Stop. gotten yeah. tested often. I I've never have to take her to go get tested. I I She's get tested every two weeks. I've never had one. I I only fuck like good looking guys. I'm not like a dirty slut. I'm just like a slut. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, back to the body Checks. count. Okay. So you're just, wait, so you're just wait, a slut. So, you fuck an ugly guy, you're so wait, slut. before yeah. hold on. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna ask it's you a different. string of questions. So before you even stepped foot on a college campus, what was your body count? Oh, honestly, not that big. Probably like seven. Okay, so seven going at, ha going into college had seven. Uh, first three weeks of school. Not a lot. I was busy my first, my, in my freshman, my first part, and then my second semester, I was like, this shit's easy. Like, let me start fucking because I started, I started just fucking guys, and I was like, this is so fun. Like, I love fucking you. Like, Wait, this so, is okay. so much fun. So for and it would be a lot of like freshman different. Year, so we, I, we had this contest because it was my best friend was gonna see if she could fuck the entire basketball team. I was gonna try to fuck every frat president. So you know, like, how many frats were there? Like. Yeah, no, that's what we came from a really big college town. It's full of like, there's a whole like, there is a whole that's STD called Raider And then Raider I got Rash. all my friends in these parties. Wait, it was what? worth it. We have an STD called, or we, we don't. There's a Raider college, Rash. It's called Raider Rash. It's like yeah, every a single STD, STD is a big fuck to one. <laughs> I swear to God. It's like bad. It goes around nearly. <laughs> Andrew, hey, what are you doing I here? love him. Okay. I'm, I'm Why did he just send you? Hold on. I got to send this <laughs> Wait, so you went okay. from 7 to 40 in the span of, like, one semester? You said semester? February was the... Yeah. 
in one semester. I was fucking a lot. It was a competition, and honestly, I just like to fuck. And I, I, I like to fuck. Every guy I meet, I like to fuck. Ben to the offender donated $69. Never mind the Grand Canyon comment earlier. She's more like Mariana Trench. I'm sick as fuck. What is that even? <laughs> the Mariana <laughs> Trench, That's the deepest. Are you talking about my yeah. vagina? Let's just say that there's no my vagina's bottom. all like over the internet. Hot dog down a hallway. No, I, I have a very, I have a very, y'all don't understand, like, vaginas always, they snap back, and you can look at my vagina all over, it's all over the internet, and it's very <laughs> tight, so tight that I tear so easily in porn, I have to take breaks. Their round meatball donated $69. We should be friends, but damn, you're gonna be in triple digits. Hey, I don't think I'm in the triple Francis digits yet. Crazy pace. I don't um, think I'm in the triple. I, I might hold be. Hold on, we'll, we'll do the be. math on that. Let me just pull up one more read here. We'll come back to our conversation. Um, GP is about to come up here. GP says, "Welcome back, Madison. Hope you and Frankie are good." Layla, IQ and common decency aside, sorry that it's taking a while to pop up here. One sec, man. Uh, you're still in Layla IQ and common decency aside. You're still a 9.4. If oh, I was term yeah. if I was terminally actually, can you finish reading it? Um, if I was terminally ill with a week left to live, a week l I'm sure you meant life to live, I would totally smash. Imagine it'd be worth the burning sensation in my final days. First of all, no burning sensation, just burning <laughs> powerful love sensations because you're gonna be in love with me after you fuck this. <sighs> Okay. All adamant. right. Um, so, okay. Uh, what about sophomore year of college? Oh, good lord. Um. Ah, uh, sophomore year wasn't too much. Okay, I'm gonna say probably. Probably a year. I think. I think we gotta get it up to like 67 by my junior year. By before I started junior year, probably around 67. Junior Just, year. Sorry. 67. Yeah. yeah. Okay, junior year, senior year? Um, oh my god, senior year, I wasn't fucking a lot because I kind of already fucked Wait, everyone I wanted 20, to fuck. Right? When did you start college? I, I started college, uh, I got kicked out of my house at 16, okay. and I went through this program that graduated school Wait, early. Hold on. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. So you, you had a senior year in college? Yeah, I graduated in May, this May. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold. Okay, so whoa, 16. Wait, 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 hold so, on. So you're saying, whoa, whoa, wait, hold on. I don't know if chat. I don't know if you guys have caught on to this. Yeah, I started 20, college at sixteen. You started college at sixteen. Your My freshman, freshman year, year yeah. of college, you fucked forty dudes. Yes, at sixteen, I fucked forty dudes. I mean, when you're living in a college town, graduating that young, you feel grown. Like I thought it was very. Uh, we come from a different town. It was, very it was kind grown. of normal there. It Feeling was normal. There. Does it was not redneck. It was. It was, it was a redneck town. town. I so it was I, normal. I, mean, I, did, I wasn't doing that. I wasn't having sex like that. Anyways, let me get out of these yeah. um, nasty numbers. Let's get over the eighteen. Ooh. Anyway, so uh, when I, I was. I don't know if you caught that, guys, but. Anyways, yeah, okay. but you know. Um, senior year. Let's talk about senior year. Let's talk about senior year. Okay. Senior year. Oh God, this is a this is taking. I think I stopped counting at senior year. Um, but definitely, okay, I wasn't, 67 okay, so the thing junior. is, I fucked all the guys I wanted to fuck, I'm from a small town, so it kind of stayed, I kind of just started re redoing them, so it kind of stayed count. around 60, it really count, no, okay. it doesn't count, it doesn't, so I kind of stayed around like 60 something, but then, I got into porn, and that was probably another 50 up, okay, so you're, you're over 100, well, triple digits, the math, the math do be mathing, the math, do be math in. But my okay. vagina's amazing. Like, look it up. <laughs> Wait, it's, how old are you right now? I'm 20. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was just wondering. Men, stay I mean, porn, in the house like, and you know, your you're, you're, it's, it's going to go up in porn. Like, any porn star has a high body count. Like, you know, mine just was a little bit earlier. We cannot allow no the Overton window to shift to, it. okay, this kind of thing being acceptable. But, Horrible. okay. Um, okay, so. But, I mean, in porn, like, you're going to have a high body count. Can you Valid. read this? If she Madison. has more than two... Oh, sorry. Who if she's had more that than two bodies, she's for the streets. Who in the blue moon yes. wants to use up... Blank, blank. Blank, blank. That's the so streets, dumb. she's for the city. You agree, don't you, Brian and Dan? I never said I wasn't for the streets. I never um, said I wasn't. That's just I definitely dumb. am. Sorry, that's Wait, just dumb. no, I mean, do you feel free to voice your, your I thoughts I love on the that. streets. Like, who, like, that's Jesus where Christ. The um, I, I love the streets. Yo, I'm Brian for president, I, I can get behind that, I guess. Um, so, okay, total body count over 100. Cool. What about you? Probably 12, if even that. Um, 12, okay. That's it. Maddie. I thought you said only the people that said body count doesn't matter. Oh, uh, well, I answering. mean, you've answered it before, so if you want. It's people, eight. they already know what it it's is. Eight. Okay. 11. 
And I'm in a three-year relationship, so you can kind of do the math. But you said you said that your boyfriend, when you told him, I guess you told him ten. Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> He was surprised. He was like, whoa. It was a little much for him. He has like very high standards for himself, which is like part of the reason I love him. So do you have a higher body count than he does? Yes. Yeah. Wow. What's <laughs> are you his Sorry, first? No, 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 no. He's at like a, either half or a little less than half. Okay. So you're more. So, so yeah, okay. but he got over it. So. Well, props to you. Thank you for answering. Appreciate it. Um, Okay. I'm under 10, for Un sure. Under 10? Yeah, I'm fully not disclosing that. Thank you, though. Plus or minus 100? Not disclosing. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, Billy, I mean, do you want to answer? I think it's crazy to present yourself as a sexual object on a stream to the world. I'm down for it. They're around me for donated hey, my, it's, like, I'm always, it's like my job, too. Yeah. Hold on. The count so, you know. is almost impressive. Did a whole town. Yeah. Two is definitely way too strict. Ten isn't even bad either. Thank you uh, for the validation. Thank you for my impressive goal noticing. Ten's a little iffy. Ten's a little, it's a little iffy, you know? Really? Ten? Two, two is like, look, and, and I did, look, 20? it's just an ideal thing, right? Ideally, the girl has a very low body count or is a virgin. Yeah, but when you're 20, 10 is actually crazy. Like, y'all think that? That's crazy. I would think well, if you're fucking one person a month, it's like not, a different person a month? Not, for yeah, like that's years. crazy. It's not crazy really? anymore. Well, yes. I've had a guy tell me his body count was 76 right after we had sex, and that's that was the most turn off yeah. thing yeah, I have so ever attractive. fucking yeah, attractive. The way I body count does matter. I will it, say well, this. To an extent. Yeah, don't tell okay. me right after we had as sex. As far as all the body counts here, Multiply it by three, and that's the real number. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Oh God! Just throwing it out there. All right, let me do a couple chats. Um, yo, Doc Vanablis, Layla, can you read this? Layla, stop using love and frack synonymous. You do not know love. Look at the term eros, agape, storge, and philia. You might learn something. What you are doing is medic medicating medicating life pain with sex Based. not the same thing as love Word. i Based. genuinely billy and dan are awesome y'all love and love y'all and pray for y'all brian i hope to see chase back sorry i didn't mean to grab my boob man avoid three god that was really fast men avoid 304 <laughs> grifters <laughs> like tank top wait who there's a lot of girls in tank top so i'm Going not sure who this is here i'll pull it up really quick uh, panel, what are the responsibilities of a man and a woman in a relationship? Start with Layla. We're going to have to be really quick with these because we do have to wrap up here pretty soon. Responsibilities of a man and a woman? I mean, uh, I want my really man to Really quick answers if you're going to answer. I want my man to take care of me. Like, you be daddy. Like, I'll be, like, your slut. Send mic, please. Like, I want my man to take care of me. Like, just be daddy. Like, you know? Like, just be Brief daddy. Brief answers. Ten seconds, What guys. was the question? I, I couldn't well, the responsibilities it. of a man oh, and a woman Oh, the responsibilities of a man are to take care of the woman in a way of actually helping progress constantly and not pushing everything to the woman itself or herself oh god be daddy for real not, okay well i would say like that was a little bit of a word salad but okay uh, yeah i like the saying men provide the house women provide the home that's yeah that's, that's exactly, exactly what i was saying that was my i just think as long as you're each other's peace and he's your protector like personally yeah going off what she said that was my answer you support each other mm, loyalty valid Providing the feminine touch, I would say, is a woman's duty. Facts. Word. Protect right. and provide as a man. All right, there you go. Uh, we have Le Layla. Can you read this? Layla, I think your voice is very, se very seductive. It's not weird. It's okay. But that honestly scares me considering the services you offer. It makes me think you're good at mind manipulation. What was the last part? I pray you use it for good. Yeah. Well, there's a power. reason that me and Zerka are such a good couple. So. I got another one for you. <laughs> eh, you know, read it. Read Triple it, read digit it. body count is bad, but three abortions is worse. Thank you, George Reed. Appreciate oh. it. <laughs> They're just coming out your neck, girl. Madison, can you read this one? Oh. Damn, that body count is almost impressive. Oh, did, we already did this one. My bad, my bad. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you, Mr. Meatball. Appreciate it. We have a couple YouTube you, based <laughs> chats here. We have Claudio Rogajan. That Maddie, second to last conversation about double standards was literally the definition oh, of insanity, me. Brian. That's Trying to true. explain something, expecting a different outcome. Though that's most of the conversations on the show now. Hey, it is what it is. You Roasted. know, it is what it is. Maybe, uh, <laughs> I know. 
All right, we got Joshua Goody here. Thank you for the Fort Nam. I appreciate I'm it. Hey, thank you, Josh. Thanks, Lieutenant thanks, donated Josh. $69. Oh, hey, man. Welcome back. She did back. not have a contest with a, her friend. Calling it a contest implies some level of difficulty. What her and her friend did is easy as Brian drinking that glass of water in front of him. That was not a contest. It was an easy activity. So you're calling men well, easy. It was pretty fun. So it's I enjoyed it. Calling those men easy at that point. You well, it's, it's easy for women to get laid. Like it's not. Well, some men like, actually have standards. A lot of those. A lot of those are also just heads. So I guess some of them don't count as body. Well, I mean, men have like morals and standards, just like he does. Like not all men are just down to fuck the first night once you hit him up. A lot of immature but men that are still in college it, are. It, like, yeah, that's true. Well, yeah. if it's if it's the specifically the frat presidents, not all of those frat presidents are down to fuck the same girl. Wait, what? She was saying she had so. a competition. It was a competition. With she was gonna fuck the entire basketball team. I was gonna fuck every frat president. Yeah, that's not. They're saying he's saying that's easy. They're, all those guys are not that. Wait, easy. who won? I think they are. She won. Oh wow. She fucked the who? You was it? You? No, no, no. Uh, it was my. It was a different me. girl. Okay. Yeah, she won. Look, it's she's, just like again, easy mode, like. Only a woman can wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to get laid today yeah. like, with all certainty and have it come true. So okay. um, let me see if we have any other. No, I think we're all caught up on chats. I think the only thing we have left is we had. What was your oh. deepest, darkest? Someone here has a deep, dark secret. Uh, yeah, yeah. What was that about? Who is it? Or you said that someone here had I think we already talked about that. No. no I think we, we talked. We wouldn't be bringing it, it up. I think that was just me amp like amping up the whole... Uh, Oh, you're just trolling yeah. or something? I don't know. I, okay. I don't, I, yeah. Um, wait. So you're you're a Christian? Do we have time for this? Oh yeah, we got we got a couple we got a couple minutes. <laughs> but you're 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 Christian but liberal. Yes. How liberal? How like woke talks. liberal or like kind of normal liberal? There is no woke liberal. I feel like she's kind of normal. I I would say kind of normal. I don't know. Okay. You don't make um, it your personality. You yeah, do shit for yourself. I also am like very baby Christian, so like I'm still like, kind of getting to know, like baby Christian meaning like I'm starting to like go to church more and like build my relationship She's with God. So her. I am like at a starting point, but it is like a weird like feeling with your identity being like okay, like I'm building my rel relationship with God. Like I mm. love this, but also like I have very strong views about pro-choice and civil rights. So it's kind of like conflicting. That's all. I, but I'm also okay. like 22, so. I will change as it goes. You are so well spoken. I love it. Thanks. You're welcome. Sorry, just You're good. You're good. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> okay, last question here. Stifler, ask everyone to rate their looks on a scale of one to ten. Um. Um. <laughs> You see the I don't know. I give my, my now. I give myself an eight. I could have done my hair better, but you know, we're rocking an eight right now. Okay. I think I'm a solid eight. Nine. I always say eight. Stick with my answer. I'm going to say a 9.5. I'm going to say like four or five. I feel like, oh, sorry. Like four or five. Like I never feel like what? I'm like the <laughs> hottest girl in the room, but I never feel like I'm the ugliest girl in the room. I feel like I'm just very average. I think you're gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. But I feel like that's like a very real, I don't know. I'm like, well, if you're a four or five, <laughs> like, no, no, answer honestly, answer but honestly. I don't know. I genuinely I need more time to think about that. I can't answer that. Okay, take a minute to think Come about that. Come back to me. Come back to me, Emma. I mean, there's, okay. Are you going to get the same answer? 6.7. Okay. Well, that's what specific. about you? Yeah. I said solid eight last time. I think I'm more of a seven and a half today, but mm -hmm. yeah, it's around there. Okay. Yeah, I think I I'm give more myself of a six, six today. I give myself a six. I think you're a ten. I think you're like all like this so girl. pretty. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I do think you're higher this than a six, bird. if we're being honest. I do no, genuinely think that. I'm a six. So. I think I'm a six. But it is all depends I think on you're the way 10. you look yourself. Just saying. This girl trying to fucking gas me up so she can fucking give me a BJ. Okay. All right, lady. Is it working? Not at all. Not at all. I'm immune to your then flattery. Then why are you turning red? Even in the this lights are red. Not red. red. He's I'm not red. red. She's just <laughs> yo. This is gaslighting. She is gaslighting me. You're in a blue light me. right now. Not you red. You are light. a gaslighter. Is it uh, working? It's perfect. No. Manipulation. It's flattery. I am immune to flattery. So I can't look me in the eyes when I compliment you. I'm looking at you in the eyes right you now, dork. Wait, I'm I'm dork. Dork. I haven't heard that. In Listen up, dork. <laughs> okay. Um, here. Well, speaking of. Got her there. Oh, go ahead. Did you? What? She's like summoning like a spirit or something. <laughs> 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 uh, 
your rating on the scale of one to ten? I, I would say like, I would say seven point five eight. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, sweet. All right, nobody crazy delusional tonight. All right, um, if what? Bangs was still here though, <laughs> don't, bro, not, I think never, not everything's with intact. She would have said she was a ten. Actually, there's a crazy viral video that. There was a back and forth. It got like 10 million views on TikTok, and I got pretty fucking dragged for All the comments were it. like, Brian's Aww. such a douche. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was kind of clipped unfairly, but yeah, yeah. whatever. I mean, I said what I said. Um, it wasn't bad. I just She said she was a 10. I'm like, you're not a 10. Anyways, um, here, I'll, Madison, can you read this? I have a Actually, strong wait, Layla, feeling. read it. Layla, read it. I have a strong feeling Brian will take Layla up on her earlier offer after the show. Fake news. Because if it was me, I would 100% vote. Thank you so much, Lick. And he definitely will be. And I will definitely be coming back and being like. There's, there's going to be an essay so for that to With happen. a trophy. Uh, so with a that. trophy of nope. cum in my hand. That is. Whoa. I'm just going to. Oh, that's okay. where it goes in your hands. That's kind of disappointing. I mean, if we were to fuck, well, I, gotta, which I, not, I would be like. If it goes in your take hand. Take a little bit. I would swallow free. Don't worry. Oh, okay, well, I'm making a good thanks, time. Thanks, babe. Appreciate it. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> Anyways. This girl. She's kind of funny. I'm not going to lie. She's I, funny. She I think this funny one's about fun. me. Is okay. this a girl? Yeah, if you want to read it, go ahead. White tank top. Do I know? Do you know who this is? But no. I want to just read it. White tank top must have plenty of bodies. Pay attention to her body language and her past acts and the way or her past actions. The way she sat for the majority oh. of the show is fairly masculine. Oh, just the offender. Okay. So meaning like men take a lot of bodies or like, I'm confused. Like you've had a lot of bodies so you act like a man now? Like is that yeah, what that's that's what I'm wondering. A <laughs> lot of confusion tonight. And I, my, my body count's actually I super think, low. I'm just not disclosing it. I do think when your body count it. goes up, you might become more masculine. Yeah. Yeah, but so that that's has nothing true. to do with my There's masculinity if that's what that you're Billy, saying. <laughs> Billy on point as usual. Billy on fleek. Um, w in chat for Billy. Okay, I think we're, we're all caught up. Guys, if you want to get a last minute chat in, do it now. We're about to wrap up. Um, Nick, can you pull up the Twitch really quick? Oh, he's on. Ooh. Me? Nick on it. Okay, yo. <laughs> Guys, go to twitch.tv slash whatever. Drop us a follow. Drop us a prime sub if you have one. Tarko, thank you for the prime. Troll, thank you for the prime. Level, thank you for the prime. Reaper, thank you for the... Reaper Taco, thank you for the prime. Good name. Goody, thank you for the tier one. <laughs> Guys, thank you for all the follows over there on Twitch. Whoa, there's a thousand viewers. We are going to raid a World of Warcraft uh, champion after the show over on Twitch. So, uh, <laughs> Texas Rider, thank you for the prime. Smokeless with the XI, thank you for the prime. I appreciate it. Um, let me see here. Do we have any other chats that came in? No, we're all caught up. All right, cool, cool. Uh, let's see here. Let me just pull up. Anyone final thought while I get the Twitch raid going? My thoughts are done with. Clearly. I just want you. What? What's a button? Hold on, I got this, I got this. I'm a little late with it, but. It's I'm gonna okay. pretend like you need to just make my dick go soft. Okay, there you have it. So it was hard. Oh my God. No, it would. Why would you <laughs> give her a punchline, dude? Like, it had to be Was hard. it a setup? Did I yeah. give her a setup? Basically, you just was hard her. before you press that button. No, it was like, it's, it was flaccid, and it's even more flaccid. I, I'm gonna it's a it. reverse boner. It's like it's gone. In, you know what I mean? Uh, okay. I can't even have her talk tongue? to me about so, that I'm stuff. coping right now. You're right. <laughs> I know. Let's it's see. Okay. It's cute. That, oh, there's a DTS. Fally, the blank trophy. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me re-trigger it. Yo, pub test. Thanks for the gifted five subs, man. Appreciate it. Uh, can you read this? Layla? That trophy <laughs> is the single grossest thing I've ever heard tonight. I need to bleach my eyes. I feel like you would have to bleach your ears or something, right? Because you heard it. You didn't like see it. But whatever worked better. It was pretty fun, though. Word. Hold on, guys. Still, I'm getting this raid going. Anyone, uh, any other thoughts before we uh, wrap up here? No. Do you have any thoughts? Do I have any thoughts? Yeah. I've been speaking all night. I. Pretty. It could be one of your thoughts. <laughs> Dude, I cannot. Brian tried really hard to just go straight face after know, that, but he couldn't. <laughs> Hold on, sorry. I don't know why I can't get this fucking figured out. because you're flustered. No, I'm not flustered, dork. That's uh, a really old dork. dork. That word That's just reminds me of, like, dork like, diaries. Oh, my <laughs> like, God. Oh, my God. Dork, dork diaries? <laughs> Stop. That just brought back so much memories. Dork. dork. Dude, it was, uh, like the, it was like the girl like, version. It was like the girl of version like, of Diary of a Kid. Should we? We're gonna. Oh, I don't fun. know if uh, Asmund Gold. Here, we're gonna raid Asmund Gold over on Twitch. I'll do the start raid. Okay, you, the people on Twitch, you, you might miss. Oh wait, fuck. Wait, wait. Is it? Wait, hold on. 
Wait, I'm not ready to raid, wait. Oh, I have to click the button. Okay, hold on, hold on guys, okay. So, last call guys, hit the like button please on your way out. Thank you for tuning in tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you were here with me, I appreciate that. Thank you to everyone who super chats, donates, supports the show. Thank you so much for your patronage. Thank you to the wonderful, wonderful panel tonight. Thank you to all our chat mods. Any women who want to be on the show, DM at whatever on Instagram. We will be live again Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific. Got a very good show for on Tuesday. Guys, we'll see you next time. Let me send the raid over on Twitch. We'll see you next time. Good night, guys. And uh, 07's in the chat. 07's in the chat. Good night.